March 4th, 2018 was the day I created my first ever PvP Locked Hard Crime and as a part of a viewer challenge video. No one took this account seriously, not even myself. But somehow, this account managed to survive almost two years and become my most popular YouTube series ever. And once I died, more players started making their PvP Locked Hard Crime Men, and there were plenty of them. So many that I could make four episodes of me hunting PvP Locked Hard Crime Men. But as of today, almost one year since I died on my Hard Crime Man, I have decided to create my second attempt of a PvP Locked Hard Crime Man. And since I have the experience of both being the hunted and the hunter, we need to make this more difficult for myself. So at all times, starting from day one, my private will be on. This means if anyone ever wants to start hunting me, you will know if I'm online or offline. Here we are, PvP locked hardcore Iron Man attempt number two. In game name, how much for off? Bounty will be increased 50 mil per episode. And we're gonna start off right here by Fortunato and buy some jug of wine. Easy. Oh my god. Two mistakes straight away from me. First one being. I didn't set up my two-factor authentication system for the account. And secondly, I told the hard crime and Discord I was starting the account today. Shit! After plenty of world hopping, we managed to duke Moxie and get ourselves the 10k. Alright, we got ourselves a Chronicle. Beautiful. When you begin a new PvP locked hard crime, it is very important that you complete a few quests. X marks the spot being my first quest to complete. Boom, X marks the spot have been completed. Why I did this quest is for this antique lamp to be put on hit points and we're gonna gain one hit points level. We're gonna do the client of Corrent as our second quest. There we go, client of Corrent have been completed. We got two antique lamps here, which we're gonna put on hit points. That's 13 HP, 15 HP. I don't think I can get one hit now from level 19. Another completion of the Varrock Museum thing. While we're here, we're gonna buy ourselves a house. We might as well. Blah, 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 blah. For 1k, I think that's worth it. Something that's very important on a fresh new hard crime man is to always have two different teleports unlocked at all time. That way it's not so simple for hunters to predict your next teleport. There he is. He knew, oh, he found, but he can't kill me though. He can't kill me, Moxie. And that is, uh, that is home completed. We got eight construction, but most importantly, we got more teleports. Now we have three options to panic tap in case we get uh, attacked. Welcome to a new area. Um, Soul Wars Island. You can train a lot of skills here. Mining, smithing, hunter, oh my god, fishing, you can't even fish over here. There's so much to do in this island, and uh, as an ex-hunter, I know that- Oh my god, don't go in here. As an ex-hunter, this is a very awful place to go and look for hard crime and send. I can't believe it! Jagex has done it again! Iron Man can't pick up the bird snare. Here we go, bird snare, <clears throat> bird snare. All right, I think I'm happy with the progress so far. 25 Hunter, that is uh, more than enough. All right, let the agility training begin. Classic, we missed the level 30 agility. Let's now start the agility pyramid. Let's make some money. This is potentially my best money making method for a while, to be honest. Oh, what a journey, but we are here. First 10K on the account. I think we got a bank because we're out of food already, uh, but that's more than enough to do the quest I want to do right now. All right, it is time to start Witch's House. Uh, let's see how many HP levels. Yes, yeah, 6k hit points XP. We're now HP 26. Combat 11. Wow, that's a high combat level. And here we are, 15 thieving. We can now thieve ham followers. There are a few items I'm gonna need for diaries and quests, but the biggest reason I'm here is for easy clue scrolls. Oh 
Oh no, he found me. Oh no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Don't you do it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, that's a 21. Oh my god. Luckily for me, I'm pretty sure he can't one-hit me using a dragon fire shield. And the thing is, I know who this is. He's in the hot crime and hunting discord. I just realized I do have a beginner's clue scroll in my bank. And we're gonna get ourselves some... Ah, oh, that's a... Uh, Here it comes. <gasps> oh my god! Oh. oh my goodness, I guess we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> 1 HP! I got 1 HP. I mean, he can't hit a 26. Like, he can't, right? That dragon fire shield got me scared, so I completed Doric's quest for 15. No, I'm joking. 11 mining. Pirate's treasure have been completed. It is time to start doing the RD Diary. We get another teleport method here if we manage to complete it. And that's the biohazard completed. There we go. Antique lamp. Can we put this on it? No, we can't. Oh well. We got the cloak. RD cloak with this. We have another teleport unlocked. The monastery. Is there gonna be anyone here? Oh, there is. We got a beginner's clue scroll. Oh, we got a casket. Oh, wait, wait. All right, we're drinking this tea and we're gonna open the casket in three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh yes! <laughs> Hell yeah, we got some fashion scape. Uh oh, monk's robe tea. All right, that's prayer bonus. Oh no, not again. And there we go. The knight sword have been completed. The 29th smithing. Here it comes. Yeah, we're logging out for a bit. This account you just witnessed on screen is the one and only account that can one hit me. A 10 HP Obi Mahler. However, he can't attack me from a distance, so it's very easy to escape him. And that's the Goblin Diplomacy completed. And that's the Fishing Contest completed. And that's the Murder Mystery completed. It's the Lost Tribe completed. A very important quest for our first Ring of Life. This is a very important level because we are now 22 crafting. We can make ourselves sapphire necklace, which will be our next teleporting method. And that's gonna be the sapphire necklace. And that's gonna be a games necklace. We can now teleport to four new locations. I was in some desperate need for some GP and it took me like 40 minutes to get up here. My first 10k, oh my, I fell. And that's the cook's assistant completed as well. And that's the Missile Mystery completed as well. Romeo and Juliet have been completed. And this is great because now we can actually start Dragon Slayer. It's a quest we're not going to complete, but it's a quest we are going to start for an escape. If a PK follows me to the Chronicle, I can just run in here. And most of the PKs, they don't have this uh, unlocked. And this will be the hunter level we stop at. 38 hunter. We can now bare hand catch gourmet implings, which have a chance of getting our grubby keys. It was a long, heavy grind, but there we go. Level two room crafting. Took me ages. Something you want to do on an early stage PvP locked hard crime is to complete as much quests, favor, skills, and diaries as possible. This will help you a lot once you start gaining combat levels. Okay, the original how much for off name. It's now available. Uh, we're gonna take this because this is the exact words I said when I died on challenges. First and last name change on the account. And there we go. New in-game name. To finish off my grinds, I'm gonna need some money. And there's only one place we can go to. We made it. We got 10k. Oh my, this took 24 minutes. I got lucky. Two pyramids in one trip. And that's the quest completed. Sea slug. We now have 29 fishing. And we got ourselves an easy casket. Can we get lucky with some clue teleports? Never lucky. But that's an upgraded axe. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. This took a while, but here we go. 40 mining. There we go. Big milestone. We can now complete the Karamja easy diary. Very important for this build. Alright, the last thing we need to do is to kill a Joker in Karamia. And I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Level 4 range with 
a short bow and an oak short bow. We started with 1200 iron arrows, so we're now at 1100. Dealt 3 HP or something like that. 4 HP? Big? We're halfway down. Oh, is that the kill? That is the kill. Achievement diary completed. Get the joker bones. And from Jackie the Fruit, we can get ourselves the Karamja gloves. And most importantly, we can get hit points experience for 27 HP. The next thing I really want to complete is the achievement diary for easy in Corrent and Kebos land. With this blessing, we get three teleports every single day. So everything I do now moving forward is requirements to complete the diary. Prince Ali Rescue have been completed for, for the simple reason that I want to do Sorcerer's Garden. Easy peasy, and then we are supposed to grab herbs here. I can only take once. 14 farming, beautiful. And there we go, 12 herb lord, that's all we needed. Let's get out of here. Tower of life completed. We're gonna need 25 construction for the diary. I think I found a new favorite activity here, just mining stars. All right, it's almost done. Oh. We got nothing. While doing the achievement diary, I decided to complete the Queens of Thieves. We get a page for the carrots the memoirs. I think we can... No way. Is this unlimited teleports? No way. Holy shit, this teleport is inc... No, wait. I had... Oh, I just wasted three teleports. It's not unlimited. I thought it was unlimited. We completed another quest, Shield of Arrow. Uh, there we go. Dig site have been completed. Very good quest to complete. I'm gonna show you why this is a great quest to complete. Uh, basically for anyone who is a skilled or hard crime man to begin with. Yeah, if we talk to the historian, I think we should be able to get some XP lamps. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna put this on hit points, gaining us one combat level and one HP level. There are now two different builds that can one hit us. So if you put all your loot in this storage crate here, you have a 1 in 97 chance of getting a unique antique lamp, which will gain you 500 experience in a skill of your choice. Uh, and this is a great way to get HP levels. And if you want to, as a PvP locked out man, you can do this until 40 or 50 HP and you will never die. Another interesting thing, if you complete Merlin's Crystal, you can get an additional XP lamp for 1k uh, from the Varak Museum. Oh, there we go. Beautiful lamp. I think this is the last lamp we need. Now we can actually complete achievement diaries and put those lamps on HP as well. Come on, give us a limp root. Never lucky. We gotta kill another one. We're going to need one limp root to make a strength potion for the achievement diary in Kebos Lowlands. And since I have to get it from a hobgoblin, this is very RNG based and can gain me a lot of combat levels if I am unlucky. Now I believe every hobgoblin is gonna give me one range level, so I hope we get lucky here. Well, are we getting it? We got the limp root. We actually got it. Create a strength potion in the Lovakinj pub. This is the Lovakinj pub. There we go, completed. I had to get myself some quick cash, of course. Another pyramid, let's go. Last thing we need for the Cable's Diary is 25 construction. So here we are. 25 construction, we gotta move our house to Hesidius now. Elise, oh there we go. We found Elise. Let's get our reward, a Radha's Blessing and an Antique Lamp. We gotta put the Antique Lamp on HP. 2500 for two hit points levels. And a very nice blessing because with this one, we can teleport to the current woodland. And we can do this three times every single day. Very close to a bank over here. I might have forgotten something, but we have unlocked at least six different teleporting methods. And, and of course, we now have a total level of 483. We did survive this first episode, meaning the bounty will be increased by 50 mil. And of course, if anyone wants to donate even more money into the bounty, just contact me anywhere on social media and we'll increase the bounty even further. But for now, I am out of membership and I will start playing this account again once this video hits 5,000 likes. After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty 
is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. One quest I completed in the last episode which I kept a secret from you guys was Bone Voyage quest. This quest gave me access to Fossil Island, an island where I'm gonna spend a lot of time in this week. Alright, first thing you always do in the Fossil Island, you build the chest. We need to be able to bank here. 250 construction, thank you very much. There is actually so much content here on Fossil Island, I still need to discover. One of them being Volcanic Ash Mining. Apparently this is 20k GP per hour just by mining here. Alright, and that's 500 volcanic ash. We're gonna sell this to a general store and see how much we make. Usually this volcanic ash is used for farming, but in this case, it's used for simple GP. We can sell these for 80 GP each. Now it's 40 GP, 20 GP. Uh, so yeah, let's just sell all of them. From 30 minutes we made 11k, I think. Another thing we need to start doing in Fossil Island is birdhouse runs. So let's make a workshop, build the workshop. We're gonna make some clockwork mechanism. Clockwork, there we go. Make another one, and another one, and another one. There we go, we got four clockworks now. Birdhouse runs is one of the main things you do here on Fossil Island. It's so simple, but it's so good experience. All right, he's AFK. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's running. He was AFK, a PvP hardcore man. Birdhouse run number two for 39 Hunter. Beautiful. After this birdhouse run, I uploaded my first ever episode to this series, and within just 24 hours, I received plenty of donations, increasing the bounty for killing my hardcore Iron Man to 621 million GP. Alright, this will be the first time I log in since I uploaded the episode. Oh, here comes the spam. Oh my god, look at the spam. Look at all the people typing. Thank you so much. Casket, good luck. Absolutely not. Ooh, Larus. We're having our mining event here. And there's a guy level 18. Level 18 ragger. Just killing us skillers. Our hard crime and skillers. So we gotta be quick. We got 105 stardust. Thank you very much. With the stardust you get from shooting stars, you can actually get four different items, but there are two items which are useful for PvP locked hard crime, and, and those are bag of full gems, crafting experience, and then we have soft clay pack, teleport tablets in the future. You can see that I'm changing activities all the time, and this is pretty necessary for a PvP locked hard crime, and you can't let anyone know what you're doing. And that's gonna be a nice little 35 crafting. We can now make teak birdhouses. I don't really know how this works. Do I just trade this to civilian, right? Oh, it's that easy. 200 difference. Next big grind I'm gonna do right now, I think I'm gonna smash it out straight away, is 43 fishing for aerial fishing with bluegill. This gives me both fishing and hunter experience. And of course, I wanna smash out hunter as quickly as possible one hour and 45 minutes later we got 43 fishing and i'm gonna stay here until i get 53 hunter what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch some blue gills giving us both fishing and hunter experience and i'm gonna stay here until i get 53 hunter uh, for shinchampas which we are eventually gonna move on to quick stop to west rd for 200 difference thank you very much buddy there we go, we took a break from Hunter to complete the quest Eagle's Peak. This allows us to use box traps for Shinshan Pass. And it also unlocks the Eagle transportation system. Alright, this will be my home for the next 1 hour and 20 minutes. Look at this, 224 Hunter experience per lizard. We will be able to hunt Shinshan Pass in no time. the hell was this oh my god he was quick i was looking away i was watching a video i was not expecting that double msb coming in pasca fetisi the classic 10 hp 50 range account with an msb imbued the max hit of a magic shortbow is 28 my hp is 32 so he can't one hit me and the interval between hits is 2.4 seconds meaning if i'm afk for 4.8 seconds and he gets two MSB specs out on me, I can die. An Earth Tiara! 
That's great. We needed that for... Oh my, I'm so lucky. Uh, we actually needed that for the Varrock Diary. Who even... S That's awful. Oh my god! What? It was a scout! There was two of them! Wait... How did they know I was coming here? Was there two of them? I don't know if you noticed, but there were actually two MSBers here in the Wizard's Tower in Malty, but only one of them attacked me. So if the other person also attacked me, I could have died right here. I've realized that now that I only have two teleport to house tablets left, I need to use the plugin menu entry swapper. So that means I can right click my chronicles straight away for an instant teleport. Uh, surely they will have left at this point, right? Okay, there's two scouts outside. I don't really want to use the free to play PvP world too often, but I feel like it's necessary this time. There we go, 10 rune crafting. We can now complete the diary. And there we go, Varrock Easy Diary have been completed. Varrock Diary completed. There we got a new lamp. We're gonna put it straight to hit points, any levels. 33 hit points. And we got some Varrock armor as well. Uh, this will be our new fashion scape. Oh, all right, looking. Whoa, that's a nice looking vest. Looking like a shad. 200 death runes for another kitten. Thank you very much. All right, we've, we found a shooting star here in Fossil Island. What a great event. We do love these shooting stars. Oh my, we got that easy close scroll. Beautiful. We get splash runes. Okay. All right. Another casket. Nothing useful. Do I see that in the sky? Is that a flying bed? I think it's a flying bed. Yep. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. Oh, Hamgard. Iban Blast account 10 HP. I'm not sure about the max hit, but I don't think he can one hit me. Longer main playing, this should be it. Take it, take it. Oh! Triple Sharks! That's a great drop! New best in slot food, let's go, baby! And this is why we need High Hunter, because you never know what you're gonna get. Why, why is there an account? And that is 50 Hunter. Oh, I see rank 1. All right, it is time to start with cutting. We are here. I don't know if you recognize this place at all. Um, this is in the middle of Zaya. Big milestone, 49 wood cutting for 600 total level. All right, this should be the final log. 50 fire making, we can now do winter Todd. Uh, I'm extremely tired. I haven't logged for three hours and 30 minutes, so I'm gonna be quick. Let's do winter Todd until I fall asleep. Hey, we got ourselves a crate. But no one's here. Are we gonna get lucky here? Ooh, a broom, a torch, and burnt pages. Thank God, I'm so tired. I actually got nothing. All right, another crate. For nothing. I think we can complete the the, the desert diary now. Kill a vulture. Have Narda herbalist. Blah blah blah. And this should be uh, the, the Easy Diary completed! 5 strength, we have completed the Easy Diary. Leave the dome. Alright, Achievement Diary completed. Uh, I think we're gonna put this one on the obvious choice. Say it with me. Hit points. For one hit points level, we are now 34 hit points. Ooh, 51 Hunter. We're slowly getting up there. Two more levels and then we can catch in Chompas. 52 Hunter, one level to go. Here's an MSB here. Ah! Ah! I'm out of ray. Oh my god. Step number four of the medium clue scroll. Please be a casket. We got our first ever casket. I know I'm not getting any boots, but some teleports, potentially. I got a bucket helm. Winter Todd is really good passive construction experience. Look at that 30 construction. We're slowly getting to the goal of 50 construction. Can we get some pyromancer pieces? Another Bruma torch. 59 fire making. Are we getting anything? We got a lot of coins. This is the guy who owns the MSB year that tried to kill me at Wizard's Tower. So I'm kind of scared of this man. He's he's a smart man. From the supply crate, 
We get ourselves T clocks. That's great. All right, look at this. Another 200 difference. All right, this should be the level. 53 hunter. We can now catch Shinshan Pass. Here we are mining shooting stars in the PvP world. Only three skiller baby hardcore diamonds. <laughs> After mining that shooting star, we are now at 1.8k stardust. I think I deserve this upgrade. A rune pickaxe, 32k. All right, is this the casket? Yes, we got two caskets. One beginner, and one easy. We start with the beginner's one. Rune scimitar ornament kit. And from the easy casket, we do get ourselves a Ceradomin page. After completing those two clue scrolls, a generous man by the name of Rata donated 430 mil, putting my hard crime and bounty to 1 bill and 51 mil, turning my hard crime man into the rank 1 highest bounty in the game. And that's the Lambridge Cook completed. For recipe for disaster, we are only going to do one sub quest. And it's going to be the dwarf subquest. We came here for one reason and one reason only. To complete mountain dwarf completed. 1000 slayer experience which is what we needed. Alright here I am in lava kenj. If we get 65% we can ride the lava kenj minecart network. And that's 50 mining. Alright we have currently 20% lava kenj favor. I think that's enough for now. We now have the requirements for the forsaken tower but before we start this quest we're going to get ourselves an item which is very needed for the future. Alright so I'm doing the Taibo one I trio quest for a poison spear and we only got one chance of successfully cooking this Karam one. If we fail to cook this one we will have to get ourselves 65 fishing to get ourselves some more Rock around once. Alright, we are in the Hosidius kitchen. We got one chance. I'd rather restart the account and get 65 fishing. So here go, 3, 2, 1. Thank you! Thank you! Yes! And there we have it. We have ourselves the steel spear poisoned. That's all we needed to move forward. And there we go. Forsaken Tower have been completed. This quest granted us 10% Lovakench favor and a new teleporting method. For the Khaderi's Memoir, you can teleport to Lava Kenj, which is just up here north. If you want to play extremely safe, you can get a NPC to just box you while you mine. Uh, this way, players can't really attack you. There we go, 65%. We are done with what we wanted to do here. We can now use and ride the Lava Kenj minecart network. I feel like all PvP hot crime men don't show their transportation and teleporting methods in the game, but I'm gonna be completely transparent when it comes to it. Uh, I'm gonna show you every teleport and every transportation method I do unlock in this series. One of the locations we can transport to is here right east of the Arceus library. Another location is right here south to Piscarellius. Another location we can transport to, Shazian, right here. Did you see that bot? Another one. And the final location to unlock is actually raids. So now I can just transport myself to these five different locations by paying 50 GP at a time. All right, fellas, don't ask why I'm wasting experience by kicking a dummy. Obviously, I could do quests. Uh, uh, I don't think this will affect my gameplay. I'm getting combat eventually and uh, Yep, I'm just wasting combat experience right there. Just boxing a dummy. There we go Five attack. That's all we wanted. Look at the spear. We have unlocked the Karam one spear with the spear I can damage six with poison very very useful with this one, we can kill the quest NPCs and not gaining too much combat experience. There we go, we hit something, it might be poisoned. There we go, took a while, but we got the kill. And now that we have completed Priest in Peril and gotten ourselves 15 combat, it is time to explore a new land. And that land shall be Mauritania. And by the end of this episode, the bounty increased by 100 mil, then 30 mil, and then I Like It Big donated a twisted boat for the bounty. These donations put the bounty at a total of 2,275,000,000 GP.
After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. As I mentioned in the last episode, we did unlock Mauritania and there was one thing I want to start off straight away and that is obtaining enough marks of grace to buy some graceful pieces and that will be 50 laps later we got ourselves 3 agility levels and we are now going to buy graceful gloves Oh! We got the mind talisman! Like you guys don't think this is anything, but this is the one thing I needed to complete the Falador Easy Diary. It is time to do a 6 hour log of catching Shinshampas. Unless someone finds me, we start at 55 Hunter. And this is... 56 Hunter. 57 Hunter. 58 Hunter. 59 Hunter. 60 Hunter. We can now use 4 traps instead of 3. 3 hours in without anyone finding us or even looking for us. 62 Hunter. I'm gonna stop here. We didn't do the 6 hour log. I'm actually exhausted. Where's the civilian? Another 200 difference. Thank you very much. This is the first time I log in since everyone found out uh, there is a 2 build bounty on my account. So uh, we're gonna see how bad it's gonna be. Hey, another eclectic. Oh! Another eclectic Mitchell pick. Oh, we got the medium clue scroll. It's time for me to unlock a new area, Keldagrim. All right, we have now unlocked Keldagrim. No one knows I have access to this area, and I'm gonna buy silver ore and gold ore. We're gonna need to stack up on these uh, supplies because we want crafting experience in this episode. I just realized you can buy tickets from this uh, card conductor. Grand Exchange Ice Mountain. Where does this take me? Where do I get to? Let's find out. Oh, right here. What a great transportation method. I've been mining plenty of shooting stars and it's finally time to use the reward here. I'm gonna buy all the bag of full gems. We want high construction as quick as possible. How much gems do I get from six bags of gems? Ooh, ooh, I like that. Ooh, one uh, dragon stone, beautiful. Ooh. Oh, oh, two dragon stones, three dragon stones. That's a lot of uncut. We start at 36 crafting. I'll see you when I'm done. 40 crafting, very useful. Four, uh, we can now access the crafting guild. Now it's time to attempt to complete this medium clue scroll. Oh, we got the casket. Give us some new teleports. That's all I'm asking for. Medium casket, number two. We got... Fashionscape, three unique items. The next quest I want to attempt to complete is Elemental Workshop 1. And there we go. Elemental Workshop have been completed. 5k crafting and 5k smithing experience. And this shield, the Elemental Workshop shield, actually is a good shield because it gives plus six magic defense bonus. Great for when I reach the teleblock bracket. Medium close scroll, please. Gold bars, beautiful drop. Dude, that's the reason why I'm getting smithing experience, for gold bars. I need to make some more games necklace, and I couldn't because I didn't have smithing level, so this is great. Another shooting star event has begun. We are only two people here, two hardcore Ironmen. We're gonna get so much dust, so much XP, and so much uncut. Back to the Zuri, two more bag of full gems, uh, there we go. And that's another 200 difference to my pocket. It is time for another hunter session. I do like this spot. No one have shown up here so far. Oh no. Someone found me. Uh, what teleport do we use? Uh, there's a Shinshampa spot here in Corridan land as well. It's a bit worse because there's less Shinshampas, but I think it will do. 63 hunter. Let's go to red Shinshampas. Alright, here we are, red chinchampas. Let's see how many I can catch before being found. Alright, a suspicious account is here, so I think that's enough. This is probably my favorite activity to do on PvP Worlds because you don't really know where the stars are gonna land. So it's gonna be a hard process for the hunters to track the stars down as well, without knowing if I'm coming or not. Way 54 mining. Nine, 694 stardust from one star. We can now buy two more bag of gems. 
Thank you very much. 45 crafting. We can now make maple birdhouses. All right, we got three lamps. We're gonna put all these on herb lore. Very easy levels. 19 herb lore, 20 herb lore, 21 herb lore, three levels. Beautiful. I want to get 30 so I can do diaries and put all the experience on herb lore because herb lore is one of the skills you really need for the end game, but it's hard to actually obtain the herbs. Oh, there's a guy following. <clears throat> Whoa! And then we're gonna go to this store right here to sell these items for a high alt price. Add the plate body, 9k, beautiful. And some other things as well. Now we have 32k, nice. Time for me to smash out some thieving, 34 thieving, 35 thieving, 36 thieving. Someone had to find me before I was done. Come on, give me at least one level before I'm done here. There we go, 37 thieving, we're done here. We had our thieving spot for 22 minutes before we was found. Ugh. As if. There we go, 38 thieving. We can now pickpocket master farmers. This guy is acting very suspicious. He says he's protecting me, but can I trust him? I think I can, but we'll have to wait and find out. I just realized, 700 total. Another big milestone for the account. Uh, I wonder if I'm ever gonna reach uh, 1000 total. Check this tree real quick for 34 farming. Beautiful, that's... Uh, now we can do Galanava fruit in Titi farms. One of the main reasons for why I'm at Tide farm is to get 45 farming, which unlocks the farming skills, which is huge on this account because no PKers have access to that place. First trip of Tide farm done. 96 Galanava fruit for... 8k farming experience and 96 no 22 points oh my god we got so many levels i believe another trip done we are getting 8.3k farming experience 40 farming right now no i've been scouted i've been scouted 41 farming 42 farming 43 farming 44 farming 45 farming and before going to the farming skill i decided to do a hunter session and I managed to get myself three levels before getting scouted. Here I am, the farming skill. This is such a good place for farming experience, obtaining seeds and thieving experience, and potentially even seeds for herb lore in the future. One thing you can do, farming contracts, giving you plenty of seeds. And then you can also thieve master farmers for even more seeds and thieving experience. And to be able to enter the farming skill is such a time consuming thing to do, which I don't think a single PKer currently has unlocked in my combat bracket, of course. Once you have completed a farming contract, you get these seed packs, which contains five different kinds of seeds. And most of the seeds are very useful. You may have noticed that my microphone have been swapped in the middle of this episode and I hope that's a good thing for your ears. Anyways, we gained a lot of levels this week. Not a single peak here had access to the farming skills. Not a single peak here was there for four or five days. And of course, the one time I don't record, a peak here finally shows up. And luckily for you guys, I did receive the point of view from the peak here himself. Uh, so you can watch the attempt right here. Alright, look at all the seed packs I've collected. It's a total of 28 seed packs. We're gonna open all of them and keep all the seeds in my inventory so you guys can see what I actually obtained from this. We do want limp root seeds. We also want three seeds and Haralander seeds. Okay, look at all the seeds I've gotten. Look at all the seeds I've gotten. 
28 Limproot seeds, 17 Harlander seeds, 15 Willow seeds, and plenty more. Look at all that. If it isn't obvious right now, I want to get my Herblore up. Currently, we're at 25 Herblore. And now we are 30. Look at this. I'm making energy potions. I've been walking around this game for such a long time, and now I can run. I did also complete my third medium clue scroll for a wolf mask and an armadillo page. It is time for me to unlock another one click teleporting method and all I need to do that is by obtaining the ghost speak amulet. I don't have to complete the quest restless ghost. We can now complete ghost ahoy quest even though we haven't completed the quest restless ghost. To avoid getting any combat experience while questing and killing NPCs I use a lot of recoils and poison to kill the monsters. Ghost Ahoy completed for 2400 per experience, giving us one additional combat level. And most importantly, we got another teleporting method. A one-click teleport right here. We're kinda low on cash, we need to sell some items here. Bam, 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 bam. And we made almost 30k just like that. Alright, I just completed the Falador Easy Diary for another antique lamp. Normally I put all the experience on hit points, but I feel like it's worth putting all the experience on Herbro now. This is such a hard skill to train up. And there we go, two levels just like that. Oh yeah, I just realized this Falador Shield is a new best in slot defense shield for me. We now have plus 46 range defense. It is time for another Shinshampa session. Let's see how many levels we can get. Starting at 66. 67 Hunter. And that's 68 Hunter. Oh, there he is. There is Kusi Fetisi. He found me. Maybe he can spec me one more time. Oh, he's running around. He's Kusi Fetisi. He's right. Oh, oh, ooh. I mean, I got 503 Shinshampas. A one hour and 20 minute session. Not too bad. Oh, there's an MSB right there. Oh my god. Her birdhouse runs is not for sale. What the fuck? Oh my, he saw me. He saw me! Is he gonna follow? We got a magpie. Give us something we can sell. Power amulets. Best in slot amulet right now. I do enjoy the teleporting method with the game's necklace though, but power amulet, very nice. Okay, look at this upgrade from plus 46 range to plus 52. And there we go, we got the casket. Do we get anything from this medium casket? Any teleports? There was a scout here and he's gonna die. Scout is gonna die. And he's dead, the scout has died. The next quest on the list is Mountain Daughter. But we're not gonna complete this quest, we're just gonna get to one step of the quest. Is this name Italian? Cusifettisi. There's three- <laughs> There's so many running bro here. <laughs> Alright, this is my fourth attempt to kill Kendall. The thing is, I've tried to get it poisoned, but it just didn't work. And we brought recoils this time. Come on, Spirit, show us the poison. Show us that poison actually works here. Oh, I think I might have to use my shards. Oh, thank god. We got the bear head. All right, so if we look at the range defense right here, plus 52, and with the bear head, we get plus 55, a new best in slot range defense item. I think that's where we're gonna wrap up this episode. We got out plenty of unlocks for the range defense. We unlocked plenty of areas as well. And we got ourselves new teleporting methods. So I'm very happy with this episode. And if you wanna see more, make sure to give this video a like. And in the making of this episode, the bounty increased with 25 mil and then 100 mil. Making the total bounty for killing my hardcore Iron Man 2 billion 446 million. After spending almost 2 years as a PvP locked hardcore Iron Man and 1 year as a hardcore Iron Man hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is How Much For Off and my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. Good start! Couldn't even do my daily farm run. 
I have one goal with the start of this episode and that's to get 60 mining to unlock the mining guild. This is one of the best areas for a PvP hardcore diamond to unlock because one, it's a safe zone and number two, there's so much to do and obtain in this mining guild. We are currently 54 mining. We start off by mining this shooting star. 55 mining. 56 mining. In the middle of all the mining I got a beginner's casket for... 57 mining. Did you see that? He went specifically for me, C engineer. Oh my god, I was so AFK. I was actually AFK, I was tweeting. I just now sent this tweet and someone shows up. What are the odds? 58 mining and he's back. 59 mining. I think we can boost up to 60 mining and enter the mining skill, so let's go. We can go downstairs. This is not safe, but if we enter this door right here, it is safe. It's a safe zone. The entire thing is a safe zone. The hunters hate this place. And let's not forget, we got some reward from the shooting stars. We can now buy ourselves a celestial ring. This celestial ring is very nice because it has an invisible boost of plus four to mining. 60 mining, 61 mining. From two levels of mining I got 10 unidentified minerals which we can use here at Bellona. And I'm gonna buy some soft clay pack, not really worth my time to be honest. And of course we got plenty of coal, iron ore and mithril ore, so I'm pretty happy. A very safe way to train in the future. It is time for me to do a hunter session, we're gonna catch some red salamanders. My end goal is to get 83 hunter to be able to catch dragon implings. Once I reach this stage I will start gaining combat levels and I'll explain why I need 83 hunter to gain combat a bit later. Oh my god, how did they find me so quickly? That was a 7 minute session. Alright, we are here in Mortina in a swamp lizard spot not many people know about. 69 hunter, 70 hunter, 71 hunter. Alright, we got ourselves two caskets, one easy, one medium. Please give me some teleports, that's all I'm asking for. An ancient page, alright, I'll take it. And it teleports an armadillo page and purple sweet. Oh. We have gotten four unique pages so far. Not too bad, not too bad. Two more caskets, please. Teleports a steel battle axe, green dehyde bot. Oh. Another magpie. Can we get something good? Dragon dagger. That's a high alt. How much is that if we sell it to the store? 18k cash. That's great money. Beginner, easy, and medium. Good luck. Nothing, uh, nothing, absolutely nothing. Two more magpie. I wasted so much food and I didn't get my magpie. Please, thank you. Please be worth it. Diamond amulets, okay, it's a few K. Back to West RD General Store to sell some items. And now we have 66K. I'm a rich man. Uh, there's so many peekers out right now, so I decided to get myself 63 mining. The hunters really delayed this level. 72 hunter, 73 hunter, 74 hunter. You can catch- wait, Ninja is 74. Ninja is 74, I thought it was 75, that's awesome. And that will be 75 Hunter, we can now bare hand catch magpies. Surprisingly, we have been training Hunter for two hours without a single peeker coming here. Our first ninja. Oh, please, please, please. No, don't you dare. He, he entangled it for me. Yes, we, our first ninja in playing. Onyx ball tips, alright. There's one item from a ninja implant that I really need to be able to progress my account further. And that is the Weapon Poison Plus, which has a drop rate of 1 in 19. Once I get the Weapon Poison, I can complete a few quests, Lost City being one of them. <gasps> Ooh, blue DI chaps! That's an item for the future when I start training range and combat. A quick quest break to complete Ernest the Chicken. Hey, 38 Herbor while peekers are after me. There's a peeker somewhere here. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my god. Oh, 
god, they, they have locked down everything. I have decided to go on a serious ninja impling hunt in RuneScape. We need that weapon poison to complete the last city. So I've asked every PvP hard crime and that if they spot a ninja impling, I will pay them 10 mil if I get the weapon poison. There it is. Oh my god, there it is. Gimme, give gimme! Give yes! A second ninja impling. If we get the weapon poison, this man gets 2 bonds or 10 mil. Sad. Come on, give me the weapon poison. Mystic boots. Look at this magpie. There we go. Anything good? Rune warhammer. That's a nice little 24k. Hey, another ninja. Please play weapon poison. Rune throne axe. What am I ever gonna use this for? Good luck. Four prayer potions. That's a good drop for the future. Of course someone's waiting here. Way 76 hunter. Yes, we got another ninja. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Thank you. Ah, uh, rune chain buddy. I completely forgot about this upgrade. The boots of lightness. The boots of lightness lowers my weight by 5. There we go, ninja in play. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Uh, rune shade body sad 30k Ooh, 240 xp uh opal machete there we go a ninja and playing please prayer potions oh here we go another ninja for runes gasmatar look at this incredible experience i'm about to get bam 7k 59 farming another 7k and that's 15k, 60 farming, two levels from three, three patches. All right, three more caskets for nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, a ninja impling, a ninja impling. Is it the golden one? It's not. Just look at the amount of people watching me in farming skills. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's another one south right there. Thinking I can't see him. Too many PKers forces me to mine, 64 mining. There we go, ninja and playing one mil to this man. Four onyx ball tips. Hey, another ninja for a rune chain body. Another ninja and playing, come here. Good luck. Opal machete. <gasps> ninja and playing in the middle of nowhere. Give me the weapon poison. Ah, oh, never lucky. Oh my god, I got hit for a first. Oh my god. 77 hunter oh my god it's john wait what is he gonna sh say hi he just ran off another milestone six to one farming for a snake grass Gasmatar. This shooting star is the only shooting star I'm allowed to AFK at because it lands in a safe zone. So I'll just sit back for the first time in a week and relax. Two more caskets, easy. Double pages, alright. Medium is shit. And that's 78, Hunter. Hey, he has a ninja. I can trust the pog. Hey, golden one, never lucky. Ninja play. Come here, ninja. Is it the golden one? It's the golden ninja playing. It is the golden ninja playing. While mining the shooting star, I'm done. I don't even care about the star. We got the weapon poison. I'm so happy. We can finally do the Lost City quest. That's all I needed. All right, it is time to start the quest Lost City. All right, this will be our inventory for Lost City. It's like a 50-50 chance of me completing this quest without gaining any combat. My initial plan was to get here and make an iron or a steel dagger and poison the dagger. However, there is no anvil here, so we will have to use range. Axe 
Oh no way, we didn't get the axe. All right, please, there's a 40% chance for an axe. Please. Yes, we got it. There we go, beautiful. We got the kill. We got the Dram and Staff. Grabbing some extra just in case. Home teleporter land bridge, we are done here. And this will be the last city quest completed. We have now access to Sanaris, a beautiful place with beautiful amount of things to do here. And one thing is certain, Puro Puro right here. We can enter it at any time we want now, so that's great. As of today, Jagex decided to do a massive change to one of the PvP weapons, which is the Warhammer. All Warhammers, including Dragon Warhammer, now require strength to wield instead of attack. This means you can build an account bracket which has 70 strength and 30 combat. And the max hit of this account build, which I know many people have, is... 4 to 6 with a special attack, meaning I can get one hit by a Dragon Warhammer as of today. And for this reason, I am going to complete a diary being the Lambridge Diary for an XP lamp, which we are going to put on hit points. And here we go, another use for the weapon poison. We're putting it on the Steel Dagger. We now have a Steel Dagger poison. One item I really need for the diary is a Water Talisman. There's a 1 in 20 drop chance of getting the Water Talisman for the diary. Okay, I've been scouted. I killed the 12 water wizards. Didn't get the water talisman, so I don't know if I can continue that uh, right now. We will have to do the other diary for now, the Kandarin diary. Luckily, we can do this one as well. Uh, yep, there we go. The easy Kandarin diary have been completed. We got a new Kandarin headgear as well. And we got a lamp for 2500 experience, but we're gonna keep it in our inventory for just a tiny bit. And that's eight attack. We are slowly getting combat, very, very slowly. Yes, we got it. The water talisman have been obtained around the drop rate as well. I think it was 22 kill count. And yes, that's the easy Lumbridge diary completed. Since we now can get one hit by a Dragon Warhammer, why not spice it up by being able to get one hit by a Dark Bow as well? That's 35 hit points for 17 combat. And that's 36 hit points as well. Another episode where we still are alive, so thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this one, can we get 5,000 likes? And of course, the bounty have increased even further by 15 mil, then 25 mil, then 10 mil times 2, then 100 mil, another 25 mil, another 20 mil, another 50 mil, and another 860 mil, putting the bounty at 3 billion 611 million GP. Good luck gamers. After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is how much for off and my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. In the start of this episode, I wanna unlock a new area. This area being Shiloh Village. In Shiloh Village, there are plenty of things to do. You can mine gems right here. You can do a lot of fishing. You can even train smithing and crafting right here. So there's plenty of things to do here in Shiloh Village, even though it's such a tiny little area. The hardest part of the quest, we need to kill Nasa only using poison this time. So killing it using poison didn't actually work because it despawned. So I had to use my main to venom it and kill it that way. Yes, that should be it. We did it. There we go. Shiloh village have been completed. I've been scouted already. I didn't get the opportunity to do anything before getting scouted here. Look at the amount of scout. One thing that's great with Shiloh village, we can sell items here to Oboli for increased prices. Look at that. 
All the GP. Do we have 100k? 108k. We are a rich man. Another epic thing we can do. We can mine these gems. Look at them. All these people. All these main has one hunter each. But none of them have the quest done. So I'm just running free here. All of them are questing right now. It is time for a quest where I have to run around the entire game for the entire quest. One small favor. Yeah, I won't make it. You see, these debowers are gonna stand everywhere in the game. And one thing that's different compared to the last episode is that I now can get one hit by dark bows and dragon warhammers. Ooh. The hardest part about this quest is the fact that I have to use recoils and juggle food to kill the boss. Did it work? We got the kill. A lot of world hopping, logging, and just uh, logging off the game later. One small favor have been completed. Finally! And this is a very, very important quest because... Oh, is there a D? The D board was right there. We have completed the quest, which is gonna make our account much safer because we're gonna get 10k experience on hit points, giving us 39 hit points, one combat level, and... We're gonna get another 10k experience on hit points, giving us 42 hit points. Almost 19 combat. We can still get one hit by both the Dark Bow and the Dragon Warhammer, but we're being much safer now, so that's great. One massive upgrade we can do to the account is creating a Good Dix Restore, giving us Herbler experience while also being able to overeat our HP. So if we sip one of these before doing something dangerous, a Dragon Warhammer can no longer one-hit me. Look at here, there he is. Coming from the distance. Did he get this unlocked? He just ran off. Does he have it unlocked? Oh my god, I got away. <laughs> I just got 51 wood cutting. Look at this spot I found. Three threes in safe zone. One, two, three. Uh, these hunters are very mad that I'm in the safe zone right now. Another goal I have for this account is to obtain 60 wood cutting so I can enter the wood cuttings guild. A place not many PKers, I'd say zero, have unlocked. 52 wood cutting. And I got scouted. Great. Whenever I get scouted, I do something completely different. This time, I completed Creature of Funkenstein. Another one. 65 farming. We can now enter the mid tier farming guild, grow his story, and there was something else. I can't remember. Currently, it's peak time for Europe and America, and D Boers have locked down every single teleport. I'm talking Chronicle, Ecto, Cloak, every single teleport I can use. So, I'm in free to play world, a free to play PvP world where I'm just woodcutting. Alright, I guess I can't do free to play anymore. Here's the interesting thing. To enter this part of the farming guild, you're gonna need 65 farming. And as far as I know, there's not a single debower or a dragon warhammer build with 65 farming. So I'm gonna be here safely as far as I know. Yep, it seems like he doesn't have an account either. Three people have scouted me, zero people with access to this area. And this should be the first wood cutting level here. 53 wood cutting. That's 54 wood cutting. Another level. Still no PKs. I'm loving this place. 79 hunter. You thought this was wood cutting, didn't you? <laughs> He's trying. He hates this place because he can't enter. Holy shit, he got far. Oh 
Oh my god, I, I panicked! He made me panic tap! Oh, he didn't have an account and he just showed up with a Dragon Warhammer. This could potentially be the casket. Good luck on the medium casket, here we go. Ooh, an unholy blessing. Another casket and uh, nothing. Oh, the grind is finally over. 80 Hunter. Finally, oh my god. I've waited for such a long time. Now I can actually boost up to catch dragon implings. All I need is 53 herb lore. Uh, to make hunter potions right here. So currently the best way for me to obtain herbs for herb lore is by training hunter and doing herbivore. I'm not gonna complain about the herbs I get from herbivore. And very nice, very nice. The next 30 minutes I AFK this shooting star will be my best 30 minutes this week. Ah, oh, look at that. 547 stardust from being in a safe zone. That's plenty of crafting experience, thank you very much. Oh my god, that's a dragon nimpling. I wish it was mine. More safe zone training and that's 49 cooking. 50 cooking. Just look at all the herbs I've collected. So many irrits, so many toadflex, snapdragons and 43 herblore. 44 herblore. <laughs> look at this, I got protection, alright. I hope a deep boris shows up up north and uh... <laughs> Alright, we got an easy casket. Give us absolutely nothing. 45 herblor. 46 herblor. 47 herblor. 48 herblor. 49 herblor. Alright, 52 cooking. We can now make botanical pie with this pie. We can boost up our herblor. And with boosted herblor, we can make hunter potion. I'm gonna troll people in Lumbridge. Pretend that I've died. You died. <laughs> Straight away he says you died. <laughs> I'm gonna speak to Hans as well. Uh, where is Hans? Look, no way. Say something. Oh my, all the divorce are coming out. <laughs> Everyone thinks I've died. One burnt. Two burnt. No way. I burnt all, all of them. All three. I burnt all three. Alright, two more uncooked botanical pies. Please be lucky. Yes, we got at least one. Yep, we got one botanical pie. I think that might just be enough. Alright, it is time. Eat half a botanical pie. Use this. And we have now ourselves a Hunter Potion 3. If we use one of these sips, we will get 83 Hunter. And be able to catch Dragon Implings. So for the next episode, there will be a huge dragon impling grind. And if you made it till the end, I'm asking for two things and two things only. Give this video a like and subscribe if you made it this far. And for all of you hunters out there, the bounty have increased even further. By 5 mil, then 15 mil, then another 4.5 mil, another 10 mil, another 30 mil. And another 69 mil. This puts the bounty at 3,745,000,000 GP. Good luck gamers. After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is How Much For Off. And my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. <gasps> it is time for a new era of my account, the Impling Hunting Era. And not just any Implings, specifically Dragon Implings. Catching a Dragon Impling requires 83 Hunter, or in my case, 80 Hunter and a Hunter Potion. The Dragon Impling drop table is great, but there are only three items I'm looking for. 
the Amulet of Glory, which allows me to unlock more teleports in the future. And the two other items are the two Dragon Bone Drops. Obtaining these will be my method of getting 43 prayer on the account. However, there is one problem. Stumbling upon a Dragon Impling in PvP worlds is very rare, because there are only three PvP worlds where they can spawn in. So I had to get help. But who can I trust to not kill me for my bounty? The PvP hardcore in my community. This community of over 100 members play all over PvP worlds daily. So by offering them 10 mil per dragon impling scouted, I was ready to start my dragon impling hunt. One of the PvP hardcore Ironmen have scouted one. There it is, dragon impling by... No! No! No, no, don't do this, Jagex. There we go, pot up. Please work. Yes, we got our first dragon I'm playing. Can we get the bones? Oh, poor dragon arrows. Easy in playing, ninja. For a dagger, that's 20k cash. If you are hunting for dragon implings, it's very important that you catch all rare implings being nature implings, ninja implings, and magpie implings. This way, there's a higher chance of a dragon impling spawning. There is a dragon impling that have been spawned. <gasps> I see it. I see the dragon impling. Put up. Catch, we got it. Dragon impling number two. Can it be the dragon bones? Sad dragon darts. I mean, if I ever reach the blowpipe stage, these are gonna be very, very useful. Um, but otherwise, we can high off them for 65k. After catching that dragon impling, one of my most consistent hunters DM'd me a method of catching dragon implings very efficiently in PvP worlds. In Puro Puro, the chance of a dragon impling spawning in a rare impling spot. Is 3%. So we came up with a plan to camp Puro Puro until a dragon impling spawns, and then I'll take my hot crime and there, catch the dragon impling, and we keep doing this over and over again until we get the dragon bones. Yes, we got another dragon impling. What do we get? What do we get? Dragon darts, sad. So throughout this dragon impling grind, in the back of my head I always thought, can I trust Conway? He's been hunting me the entire month. Why would he stop to help me now? It was a risk I was willing to take to speed up this grind. There we go. Thank you. Are we lucky? Sad. Dragon long sword. Ugh. Look at all the magpies and ninjas I collect from this. This will be a huge amount of money once I open them. Very nice. And a dragon longsword as well. Oh, there it is. Another dragon in play. Come to Papa. Yes. We got another DM. Oh my god. My microphone was all the way over here. We got the dragon in play. Are we getting the D bones? Yes. We got the baby dragon bones. All right. That's amazing. We need two bone drops to get 43 prayer and that is actually amazing 10 mil to wish he had oh my goodness here it is a dragon impling scouted by how much for on come on yes we got a dragon impling is it the bones it's a magic seed all right come on come on come on come on this is mine yes we got it we got a DM in front of these guys. Is it what we need? Is it what we need? We got the glory. We got, oh my god, we got the glories. Oh my freaking god, that's so good. Just listen to the sound of rocks being obtained. Look at these two stars. We have obtained 1600 stardust. That should probably be enough for 5 gem bags. A lot of crafting experience. Might get a few levels. Alright, had to make some more hunter potions. We have caught a lot of DMs at this point. Alright, we got the dragon and playing. Is it the golden one? Yes, we're done! We're done here! We are done, 10 mil to this man. I'm super stoked, we got an extra dragon impling as well and plenty of money implings. All right, look at this collection, plenty of bones, an extra dragon impling, 30 magpies, 12 ninjas, and plenty of other dragon items, and we got the glory as well. I'm super stoked for this account. Now starts the hard part, getting prayer up while not getting interrupted. Oh. 
I didn't get a combat. Oh my, I accidentally buried the bone. If I got a combat right there, that would have been bad. I just buried a dragon bone, meaning people might know now. That's awful. So that account you just saw there is pretty much created to hunt me 80 strength, 10 HP, 31 prayer. And the max hit of this account, 49. So far 96 dragon bones prepped. We do have baby dragon bones as well, but we have a chance of getting dragon bones from this second dragon impling. So good luck. Three more glories. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, I'm so lucky I get to restore it up. My HP level is 42. <laughs> no way that just happened. I'm so lucky I used the Guthix restore, otherwise, he would have killed me. I'm done with the DM grind, but you know, a free dimp is a free dimp, you know. Six misses, seven. There we go. What do we get here? A dragon longsword. That's a uh, 60k high up. I honestly don't have any rush to train prey right now and I don't feel like it's safe as well so I'm gonna take a, a few days break from actually preparing my ectophanctus, my bones. Uh, we have 40 prayer banged however, but we also got these magpies and these ninja implants which we are gonna open. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of high ops and uh, a lot of GP right, 10 magpies. Bam and mystic loves. I wonder is it worth living now? They told me dreams come true once you live it out. I picked up pieces from my childhood in a broken house. And heal my soul from the trauma we've been given now. I hit a whistle. Alright, this is all the loot we got and it's worth two mil. We can high alk most of these items, so we can estimate around one million high alks. Or selling to the shop. As long as I don't get scouted here, I'm gonna sell one inventor of this loot here to Obli. Look at all that. 269k from one inventory. Not even a full one, a half an inventory of items, 269k. And there is plenty of more to get from where that came from. That is a milestone completed, 50 crafting. You know what, I think it's time to get 43 prayer. We almost got enough bones, but we're gonna complete two quests first for prayer experience. There we go, 1000 prayer experience, 20 prayer, if giving us 19 combat. This is the beginning, oh my, oh my god. <gasps> Alright, 21, 22, 23, it's time. Yeah. It's feeling different now. Feel like I'm zoned out, put my phone down, damn it's cold out. Plotting on a rollout, we took our own route, really on our own now. These them winter schemes, plotting for better dreams, cooking flows and melodies for OGs with felonies who've been locked since the 70s. You this will be the final bone for 43 prayer. We can now protect from melee, protect from range, protect from magic. This 43 prayer is what I have been working for uh, for the last three episodes, just grinding hunter to be able to do this grind. Now we got 43 prayer, 42 HP and 21 combat. The debuffers and the dragon warhammers can hit a lot more now, but I can use my overheads and that's gonna save me multiple, multiple times. I don't have to panic tab anymore. And that's where we're gonna end today's episode. If you made it this far, I'm asking for one thing and that's 5,000 likes and I'm also asking for one more thing. Thanks to auto reports, we have increased the bounty by 15 mil, putting the bounty at 3 billion 760 million. Good luck, gamers. After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in game name is How Much For Off. And my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day.
In today's episode, we are going to do the final and most important preparations before we start gaining combat levels. And one of the most important unlocks is 58 herb lore for the herb sack. Look at that, super energy potions, we can now make them. Uh, this is gonna help me a lot in questing, running around, herbivore, everything. Whenever I'm doing herbivore for herbs and hunter experience, we occasionally get these unidentified fossils. With these fossils, we can get XP lamps, which we can put on our hit points. Hit points experience. 2k hit points experienced, 43 hit points, 22 combat, 57 minutes in and we have only gotten 2 unidentified small fossils. It takes our time but it's definitely worth it in the lane. Another very important grind I need to do is construction. And the method I'm doing to obtain construction levels is mahogany homes. It's a lot cheaper than the normal construction training methods and it's very hard for the hunters to track me down while I'm doing this. Give us the looting bag. Uh, first kill count looting bag, and that will be 45 construction, 46, and there we have it, 47 construction, that's all we need for now. Amulet of Glory, uncharged, beautiful, we have now unlimited teleports to these four locations. And I also want to build a study hall for 50k, and we want the lectern right there. So now when I get the magic level, we can now make Lumbridge teleports, which will be a safe one-click teleport tablet. And that's 50 construction, we can now make a portal room in my house. Time to sell more items and make more money. And we got 195k. 100k for a portal chamber. This is so awful, so expensive. <sighs> it is finally time to do some quests to unlock some teleport. We start with the, the Ascent of Arceus. And that's the Ascent of Arceus completed. Uh, we can now teleport to Arceus. And that should be the Depths of Despair completed. And we have now unlocked another teleport, which is Lunch by Lancelium in Hosidius. Another trip to the West Artist store for a nice 120k. So I actually got myself 11 attack, and with this 11 attack, I can make an upgrade. Black Dagger, Weapon Poison on the Black Dagger. We now have an upgraded Poisonous Dagger. We got the black one, baby. All right, we got a hard clue scroll. Uh, we're gonna try to attempt to do this. This will be step number one. Step number one, completed. Step number two, completed. Step number three, completed. Um, eleven. what is this? Yeah, there is no way. Step number four, not completed. Any good seeds? Ooh, that's a lot of herb seeds. Look at that, snap. Terramid, nice. Is he gonna attack me? <laughs> he had his chance. Alright, he spec me. Now what? <laughs> Is he just gonna rage me? Alright, let me farm. Please let me farm. He's ragging at this point. Alright, I guess we're not farming anymore. Yay, we just got 900 total from fishing. Oh, I just love these free ninja implings. So easy obtainable and potentially good money. Not this one though. Another shooting star. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the sound of this star? And I also did some winter Todd in hopes of getting the Tome of Fire. I ended up not getting it because I'm never lucky. Come on. It's a dragon implant. Yes. What do we get? No. He got a hit off at least, um, but yeah, didn't kill me, so... That's a G-Mauler. <gasps> this account can G-Maul me. 50 attack, 50 strength. What's the max hit of a G-Maul? 69 farming? Nice. One of my goals before I start doing combat is to get 58 herb lore to be able to purchase myself a herb sack from tight farm currently we are 51 herb lore and we got plenty of herbs in the bank this will get me a few levels 52 53 54 herb lore i decided to complete the quest the feud for 15k thieving experience give me 
for day thieving. It is time for me to start training thieving. I want to be able to thieve all the knights because this is a safe money maker you can do in a bank. 49 thieving. And that's 50 thieving. Okay, I've been scouted. We're done thieving for now. We got the dragon and playing. Yes! Mystic Row Bottom. And there we go. The tourist trap have been completed. Uh, we got 39 smithing from that. What the hell is that? Don't you dare do anything stupid. He's watching me. That's gotta be a hardcore, right? That could have ended so badly if he could attack me. I don't know if I could teleport away from that, uh, that position there as a penguin. And that will be the Cold War completed. So the reason why I completed Cold War is because of this agility course. This is a pretty safe agility course because if you remove your penguin suit, you get kicked out. Oh my god, what? Oh! An Abimali got a hit off on me. Hey, we got a casket. Huh? A powdered wig and a black plate skirt G. Alright, I do look like a special person in this wig. I don't know what I think. Do I like it? Maybe I do like it. This will be 82 Hunter. Slowly getting up there. Plenty of herbs obtained. Plenty of more to go. Whoa. It found me. Oh, wait, there's a dragon imping here. There's a dragon imping here. We gotta go to multi. He says, go get it. You got this. Don't you dare do it. Don't you dare do it. Yes, we got it. We got the impling. There we have it. 100 tickets. Let's turn these ones in. Potentially we can get... Uh, I think we are gonna get 50 agility. Maybe 49. Trade. 100 tickets. 31k experience. We got 50 agility. Beautiful. We can now use the Falador agility course. Maybe we get lucky on this D-imp as well. No. 60k. Once again, it's time to AFK for maybe 30, 40, 50 minutes. Uh, so see you guys in a bit. At this point, I have been mining this crash star for 2 hours and 20 minutes. We got 2400 stardust and I'm just enjoying life to the fullest. Let's trade over 3600 stardust for bag of gems. This will be so much crafting experience, you have no idea. Uh, no one exactly. Five dragon stones and plenty of uncuts. All right, let's see how much crafting experience we get. We start at 50. 51, 52, 53. Go, oh, 70 farming. <clears throat> All right, here we go. This will be the final batch. We now have 264 points. 264 points is enough for a herb sack, but we need 58 herb row for that, so we gotta wait until we can buy this one. All right, we need herb seeds. Ooh, oh my god, that's a lot of snape. 23 snape grass seeds, that's beautiful. But very bad, very bad herb seeds. Conway has scouted a dragon impling for me and he sent this picture. He has his D-boy right there! And it's in the desert as well, so it's pretty scary. Do I dare do it? I'm gonna attempt to do it. Okay, I got it. There's so many implings! He didn't attack me! Alright, we are safe. We got a dragon impling. What do we get? Hey, there's lures here. Get a magic seed. Look at him, he's actually so upset. I'm retiring, he says. Did you even notice me running in? I swear to god, I didn't see it. I had Discord over my screen. What are the chances? There he is. There he is. Alright, I think we're done here. Let's go on a farm run. I think it's time. Wait, what? Oh my god, he got a hit of me. What? I didn't even- Oh my god. What was my HP there? I didn't even see him come in there. I think that's the first D bower that have hit me so far. He hit at 23.8. I was good it's restored up, putting my HP at 16 HP. That was my first chance from a dark bow. And that's the first time a dark bow have hit me. Anyone wanna know what the worst part is? I used a teleport tablet to my house. I only got one left. Closing up on that herb sack, this is 55 herb lore. And there we go, 51 thieving. 
Is this the final one? There we go, 55 thieving! We can now pickpocket Knights of RD. These knights can be pickpocketed in a safe zone, which means this is a safe zone money maker for whenever there's too many hunters out. Very useful on this account, so let's go! Is that a G mall? The Debo into the G mall. What? Yes, we got our fifth medium fossil. Beautiful. We now have one X lamp for I think it's 5k. Alright, look, we made a big lava monster from the fossils. And we made the clam as well. And we got two lamps. And as much as I want to use these lamps on Herblore, we need to put it on hit points because every HP counts when encountering a PDK here. So sadly, we're getting hit points levels here. 44 hit points. Oh, he got 99! He got 99 strength! Look at that! <laughs> oh my god! Good thing I teleported and good thing I took Protect from Melee up! I have barely recorded any clips from the last few days because I've just kept doing farm runs. We need that 58 herb lore. And it's just... it takes ages getting these herbs. I never really realized how slow herb lore was until I started training it myself. 56 herb lore. Ooh, we got a medium casket. Not often I get these. Good luck. Ooh, swordfish. I do like those swordfish. Oh my god. And this will be 57 herb lore. One level left to go. Three more seed packs. We need some herb seeds. A uh, Harrowlander, nice. Toad flags, Amatos, nice. You know, I'm still waiting to get my first teleports from a clue scroll. Yep, still waiting. So I didn't even think about this, but I got six sinister keys and with these keys, we can unlock the sinister chest. This chest alone gives me nine herbs per key. I remember when Solo Mission died here. What a beautiful sight. Here's the chest, I think. Look at that 18 runners, beautiful. Oh my god, he was there. Alright, this may just be the casket. Yes, we got the casket. Please give us some teleport. It's time. Oh my god, that's so bad. Maybe we can pull some hard clues. Hard clue? Hard clue? Hard clue? Hard clue? No, sad. I might regret this later, but this is gonna be 14 magic by making dodgy necklaces. Wait, I gained a combat. Oh no, I didn't think I would gain combat from that. <laughs> Oops. Alright, whatever. We're getting some thieving levels here. Okay, okay. It's all good. 57 thieving. We can now open the grubby chest in the fourth dungeon. This is the location where you can obtain Ceradomin Brews. Such a long grind, but it's finally... Finally over 58 herb lore. We can now buy and use ourselves a herb sack. This was one of the most important items I wanted before getting combat. It's been done. We are done. Oh, this is gonna be so good for farming, so good for grinding NPCs, so good for Slayer, so good for everything. And while recording this episode, I must say that the bounty have increased by 14 mil plus 10 plus another 10 plus 25 plus 100 plus another 100 plus 26 plus 171 plus 25 plus 20 plus 30 plus 10 plus another 10 plus 30 plus 5 plus 3 and finally the biggest donation these couple of weeks plus 666 million oh my god God, 666 mil to the bounty. And there were a few people who didn't want to be mentioned in the video, so the bounty is now up to 5 billion 100 million GP. Good luck, gamers. After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. 
However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is How Much For Off and my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. Today is the day we are finally getting ourselves combat on the Hardcore Iron Man. And we're doing some last minute things here, such as getting 40% Chazian favor from Corrent. We made some GP by collecting Dragon Implings, Magpie Implings, and Ninja Implings, and selling it to the RD store. I also got 60 Thieving for the obvious reason. 56 Agility, which I will tell you about very, very soon. And of course I had to complete Shades of Morton for the Mauritania questline. However, here comes the controversial part. I had to build the temple in a non-PVP world because I couldn't get it to work using multiple accounts. So this was my first exception of going to a non-PVP world. You may cancel me if you want to. So now that I have achieved 56 agility, I have unlocked my training locations for the next few days, weeks, months depending on when someone finds me and scouts me. And that location is going to be right outside here in this manhole right here. Welcome to the Grim Tales manhole. This will be my home for the next couple of days, weeks, maybe even months. And the requirement to get here is 45 farming, 52 herb lore, 58 thieving and 59 agility. This means all the new PKs who have made a build to hunt me, surely they have not been skilling enough to get these requirements. So I believe I will be safe here for a very long time. Alright, it's time to gain that combat level. We start at 14 magic, 12 range and 23 combat. And we're gonna camp here for a bit. My goal is to get 40 magic for the teleporter house. 15 magic, 16 magic, 17 magic, 18 magic. The levels just keep coming in, 24 magic. Man, we are 28 combat now. <laughs> People can now tell block me. Well, they could three levels ago, but still. All right, big level coming up, 25 magic. We can now use the Veroff teleport. All right, this is one of the better drops. Mystic Earth Staff. We can high alk it for 25k, but I can only low a high alk right now for 16k. So that's really good drop. 31 magic. We can now save teleport ourselves to Lumbridge and we can make Lumbridge tablets now. So we don't have to have all these things in our inventory anymore. All right, that's where we're stopping. 41 magic. We can now cast Wind Blast. And house teleport, which we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna collect all the shrunk ogla roots. Um, and we're done with magic for now. Another thing we can do now, uh, we can make dual rings. Very, very nice. Hey, 1000 total level. That was quick. 20 range, that's an upgrade. Look at that. We got tank shafts and a new bow. There we go. 25 range, that's all we need for the quest underground pass i feel like i want to do this quest before people know i'm i've leveled combat because if i get teleblocked here you know i'm screwed all right please don't fail this please jagex fuck And there we go, the underground pass have been completed. And we start Registide straight away. All right, Gourmet, I need some food. Thank you. We are about to hit that six hour log and we are almost done with the Registide quest. Perfectly timed, in my opinion. Great, now all the hunters are gonna know I have 35 combat. They're gonna know that I can get tell blocked by their accounts now. It's gonna get a lot scarier from now on moving forward. About it. There we go. Six hour log. Come on. Are we done? There we go. Regicide have been completed. Beautiful. I think I'm done for today. Whew. That was a nice six hour log plus seven minutes extra. Wow. Nice. Good grind, Tom. Good grind. 
It is time for me to reveal why I got 40% Shazian favor in the beginning of this episode. I got it for a simple reason to do tackled organized crimes in Shazian. By killing gang members in this minigame you have a chance of getting intelligence. This intelligence can you trade over for a book which gives you experience, which I can put on hit points. This account has a volatile staff as a level 50. He can hit twice my HP, what is this? One thing that's great for me is the fact that these gang members in some occasions spawn in a safe zone. So I can safely do this training method. Who is this? How did he found, find me? I just logged in. We're gonna get 4 to 7 hit points. And plenty of more experience. Beautiful. We got the combat level as well. 38 combat. Right, it is time for Demon Slay. We're gonna do it in a free to play world. Let's go. This is the place where I'm gonna be at. Demon Slayer instance. This means I can kill these dark wizards without having to worry about anyone showing up. Look, it's an instance. No one can show up here. Right, we drop chaos rooms. Nice. Oh, they don't respawn. Wait, what? Yep, the dark wizards in the demon slayer instance, they don't respawn meaning. This training method wasn't valid. We now have 28 range, we can use the Dorgishan bow. Beautiful. It is time for me to unlock another area, can you predict where I'm going? The nature spirit completed for 13 defense, we're now 41 combat. Alright, it's time for a scary quest, we need to bring all these items to Morton. So I only have... 8 food inventories, oh my god. And there we go, in search of Merc completed, I thought it would be scary, but it wasn't. 15 defense, 9 strength, 4 to 1 combat, still. You see that? Now that we have completed in search of Merc, we can enter Berg the Rot. Berg the Rot, such a huge place which 1 defense purers can't access to. I think there's some good fishing spots here. Yeah, you can fish sharks here. I don't have the level though, but we got an anvil as well. I would call this anvil pretty safe from pures. No pures can access here. Hey, I think I've unlocked this bank now. Oh, that's beautiful. We have a bank here in Berg the Rot. Really nice unlock. So yeah, in the middle of In Aid of Merrick, I got scouted. So I'm taking a few hours break here. The hunters hate this place. A safe zone where I can train my range and my melee and my magic up. I decided to complete the quest Tale of the Righteous. This will unlock the teleport to right here, the graveyard of Shazian. Alright, I wanna attempt to go for the Cerex Talisman here. They have a drop rate of 1 in 125, so my chances are pretty good. Oh, someone found me. We are not getting the Xerix talisman today, sadly. We killed more gangsters, we got more books, and we got a hit points level. So I need to get 40 range and 20 defense as soon as possible to upgrade some gear. Oh my god. Another PvP locked hardcore eminence here. God, why is he here? Alright, I got two levels, 36 range, we're gonna leave this place, I can't trust this man, even though he's a hardcore Iron Man. He, who knows, he might send a hit team. You never, never know. Dude, this is a, he's pretending to be a house plank bot, but he has the stats to kill me. <gasps> Someone found me. Oh my god, they might know my location now. No way, that Taverly dungeon. It, I, it might have ruined everything. Yep, if you look here, this is the Tavali dungeon. That guy ran here thinking I was training at Chaos Roots. But I was right here so he could obviously see me. That was just unlucky. Very unlucky. 38 range, 2 more levels. Please no one scout me here in the most random location ever. Alright, here we go. 40 range, that's all we wanted. We can now upgrade to the green dehyde. And if we go to the bank, we have already purchased the green dehyde vamps. So if we look at the magic defense, from plus 18 to plus 22. Okay, it's not a major difference. It's time to get 20 defense here. We are here at experiments once again, even though we just got scouted. There we go, 4 to 5 magic, Camelot teleport unlocked. One more hit and then we're gone. There we go, 20 defense. We're done here. 
that's all we need. Four to four combat still. Let's have a look at our upgrades. First, we got the green deahide, the magic bonus plus 30. Then we have the mystic gloves and boots plus 34. And mystic bottoms. Wow. And we got the hard leather butter as well. Plus 45 defense. Beautiful. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. We successfully completed our strategy of gaining combat levels and we are now ready to take on the snake. However, you are probably wondering what the bounty is now. Well, it increased by 70 mil, then 5 mil, then 3 mil, then 40 mil, another 5 mil, another 5 mil, then 30 mil, then 25 mil, then 200 mil, another 10 mil, and the biggest bounty donated so far, 1337 mil from Camp Q. Who says he's going to take it back? And with that donation, the bounty for killing my hardcore Iron Man is now 6 billion 760 million. Good luck gamers. After spending almost 2 years as a PvP locked hardcore Iron Man and 1 year as a hardcore Iron Man hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is How Much For Off and my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. <gasps> Something I need to start doing is completing hard clue scroll. I've been waiting to complete this one. We need 40 range to access this area. Which I got right now, range skilled. Step one, completed, 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 completed. Yep, four steps into this clue scroll, and we get a very risky one. It's definitely not worth risking everything for this one. <sighs> I guess we're dropping this one. No, <laughs> no way! He just PK'd one of the hunters with a knife. We're getting a lot of total levels now that we're training combat. 1075. This is also another safe zone I can use for, you know, AFK training in a safe zone. Alright, so this is what I have been waiting for, 47 magic. We can now boost up and make ourselves dig site pendant. This is a brand new teleporting method I'm gonna use a lot in this one episode. Look at this, rub. <gasps> oh no. Oh shit. I didn't have any food. Yep, uh, that's where we can teleport. All right, and I will now show you why the dig site pendant is so useful for this one episode. Let's hop world so these scouts can't follow me. There we go, we got sweaty nuts over there. No one's here, yep. And we're gonna run over here. Talk to this uh, girl. And here we are, the quest A Soul's Bane. Throughout this entire quest, we were, we're gonna fight monsters in an instance. And once the quest is over, we are in an area which requires defense uh, to access. And that's the quest completed, 500 defense experience as a reward. And if you're a pure and you want to kill me in this area, you will have to ruin your pure to kill me. Alright, so these monsters, they don't drop anything, but it's just a nice AFK area. That's 41 range. Look at this creature, he's scary. Whoever made this one must have been on some crazy. There we go, 42 range. Oh, this is the official CC for people hunting me. And look how many people there are looking, but they cannot access this area. Great. I'm, I'm so good. 43 range. I just realized something, we should probably use the elemental shield. It gives an additional 7 plus magic defense compared to the Falador shield. It's gonna help me a lot to prevent TBs. Oh my god, so many accounts. They have surrounded me. My friends are going to hate me, but I am going to reveal a little trick some hunters use to hunt hardcore Iron Man. As you can see on screen, the account called Abo follows me as soon as I teleport. And he will keep following me towards that location I teleported to. This means he will be able to locate where I went off to very very quickly. In this case I went to Ferox Enclave and you can see he came there straight away. And 44 range? 45 range? 45 is actually a huge level because now we can use our Shinshampas. I think we have like 2000 Shinshampas in my bank. The people who are hunting me have created a clan chat together and I've decided to infiltrate it. He probably somewhere with a lots of aggro, not edge dungeon. He found me! They found me! Oh no! 
Oh no! GG! Are they gonna ruin a pure account to hunt me in that area? I'm not sure. I decided to do this Slayer task, 14 Slayer, uh, to throw people off. I don't really plan on doing Slayer now. It's too early for my account. There we go. First ever task completed. I wanna try to do something which is very early on this account and that's to do one barrel skill count. If I get something that marks if this is gonna be a lucky account or if it's not gonna be a lucky account. And just as a reminder, this is how my barrels luck looked like last time I did barrels. First item at 146 kill count. So doing barrels was fairly easy for the majority of the brothers, however the problem was doing Verox because I had no freezes and that Verox guy he hit through prayer. But we managed to complete the barrels at combat 4 to 6. We're gonna grab the chest and teleport. Absolutely nothing! Okay this is gonna be such an unlucky account. We got absolutely nothing. Let's do a price check on this. What did we actually get here? Uh, 56k, that's what we got. Dig site pendant here on this one. Yep, we have now unlocked the fossil island teleport. Down here, we're gonna train on these fossil rocks right here. It's a pretty solid training spot. If someone shows up, we're gonna see them and then we can change training spots straight away. There we go, 47 range, 48 range, 49 range. Here comes the level, there we go, 50 range. We got it, we got the level from green dragon high chaps to blue dragon height shafts. The magic defense is actually worse with the blue D height compared to the mystic row bottoms. Uh, however, the overall defense that is better with the blue D height shafts. Very nice upgrade. 50 magic, that's where we're gonna stop this grind. All right, the melee training has begun. We do have super strength and super attacks, which are gonna speed up this process a lot. And we're gonna still keep AFKing at this location for a bit. There we go, 18 strength, 20 strength. So efficient players who want to get attack and strength levels very quickly, they complete quests such as Tree Gnome Stronghold, Waterfall Quest, Vampire Slayer, and stuff like that. However, you don't gain any hit points levels from those quests, which is why I don't complete those quests. So me training here at Amanat Craft are gonna give me that extra HP levels, which I need to not die. Hey, 1100 total level, a new achievement. Look at this CC running around, not Majorina, not Yano, not Waterfall. Not Crazy Arc thing on Fossil Island, not Arc, not Wizard's Tower, not Black Knight Force, not Ogre Cage, Check in Desert now. They are super active, very organized as well. 25 strength? Oh, <laughs> I was kicked from the server. I've been infiltrating them for too long that I got kicked. 30 strength, we can now use an upgraded weapon which we have in the bank. We can now use an Adamant Warhammer. Jagex recently changed the requirement for Warhammers from attack to strength. So I no longer need any attack levels to use Warhammers. However, this change came to the cost of me pissing my pants a few weeks ago. So yeah. We just had an update and I'm running to the mage bank. Six people are online right now, but I'm still nervous. So I've been avoiding making portals in my house because I don't have too many law runes. So we're gonna stack up on all the law runes we can. Alright, 600 law runes, that should be enough. That's two portals at least. I've decided to unlock three teleports in my house. We unlocked Arceus, Frankenstein, and Lumbridge teleport. But did I change the teleports after releasing this video? Who knows? Oh! He was quick! Gee hoo hoo hoo! Not a chance though. 34, strength, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. The final level, 40 strength. The final level for now at least. Still 48 combat, we haven't leveled a single combat level. This rune war hammer is going to be our new best in slot melee weapon. 68 strength from 45. We are a strong man now. Very, very strong. And there's a hunter right here waiting for me. One, two, three, four, five. So many hunters. Let's counter UAV them. This is how counter UAV works as a PvP locked hard crime man. You change your location, you hop world, and you make the teleport without anyone following you. That way, they can't know where we're going. Did you guys see this? Currently I can be attacked and attack level 33s to 63s But here in this area Towards Ferg's Enclave I can get attacked by 77s 
Oh my god, what have Jagex done? Alright, I want to complete the quest in aid of Mirik, and to do so, we're gonna need a mithril bar. I don't have the smithing level. And we're gonna enter this crypt right here, to the south of the teleport spot. The chance of getting a mithril bar from these are... Uh, 1 in 20. So if we're lucky here, we can get it really quickly. Come on, mithril bar. Yes, we got it. We're done. And that's the silk drill rod, created. <laughs> he was scouting solve teleport. All right, I got scouted and there's only one way to break the route to complete the quest. So we're back training strength 54 hit points 44 strength. Here we go. Finally some content a clue scroll easy. Oh, we got caskets already. Good luck. Good luck. At, ooh, 6k cash. All right. Look for the six strength. I've been here for one entire week even longer and still no one has found me. After killing Ammonite Crab for another one hour, I decided to head back to Berg the Rod to complete In Aid of Merrick. And there we go! In Aid of Merrick have been completed! While being down here, I decided to start the quest Darkness of Halloway. Who was that? Woo! Wait, I teleported Pharaoh! Wait, what? That's a misclick. That was a massive misclick and he teleported me. First person to teleblock me, unfortunately for him, I teleported quicker. Woohoo! Okay, how do we get to Drizzle? I might just save that for another day. XD Lamp was the first person to cast a teleblock on me. He's not in the CC though, so congratulations to XD. You win absolutely nothing. Oh, someone found out I have unlocked Frankenstein teleport. Yikes. You know what? I have decided to complete the quest Darkness of Hallow Vale another day, another time. You know what? We started off very quickly with a Barrows run and we're gonna end with a Barrows run. And I still have a bit of faith that this will be the lucky account. Please, Jagex, this is the one. Jagex, give us an item. Never lucky. Kill count 2. And for those wondering, the bounty have increased by 5 mil, then 10 mil, another 10 mil, another 10 mil, 20 mil, and 65 mil from an Iron Man. Putting the bounty at 6 billion 880 million. Good luck gamers. After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Iron Man and one year as a hardcore Iron Man hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is How Much For Off and my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. So this was my favorite spot in my last episode and still no one has found me so I'm gonna stay here until I've released the original video. Um, maybe someone will find me before I upload, who knows. 51 magic, 52 magic. All right, I've been here for such a long time and this is the first unidentified small fossil I've received. That's HP experience if we get five of those. I got another one, 55 hit points. We love seeing these hit points levels go up. I keep getting more and more fossils. Look, a third one. Oh, they found me, skill cape. Who's skill cape? Can I get my, go ahead. I can't lie here. How did you find me? Skill kid. He got 99. Did he just want to be on video? Who is this? He's not in the CC. To play it safe, I'm gonna make the assumption that the guy who got 99 cooking and found me is a hunter, even though I don't actually know. Fun fact, if you press this button right here, it turns blue. Try it. I need some money, so I got some high alks here. We're gonna just casually high alk everything. 100k. We got 200k right now. Who are these accounts? They just keep running bowstrings in PvP world. All right, we got one portal room. We're gonna need one more. It's gonna cost me 100k here. Portal chamber, 100k. Rest in peace, money. Rest in peace. Oh! Who is that? I saw a volatile staff and I panicked. There we go. Another antique lamp. I've decided I'm gonna put this lamp not on hit points, this time we're gonna put it on Herblor. Very difficult skill to train up, so Herblor is the perfect choice here. People are finding out that I'm online. I woke up 8am for this. <gasps> Dragon Impling. 
We gotta catch it. There we go. Free dragon impling. Alright, rent the bank now. Quick. Are we lucky though? Are we lucky? Mystic Row Bottoms. Oh my god. That high alts for a lot. From 112k. Ooh, 48k high alt. Beautiful. This area is such a scary place. It's multi and there's no way to escape besides mining 15 ore. So uh, if someone camps here, I'm dead. Alright, we made it. All the way to the end. And this is where we complete Darkness of Hallowale. We got 7k agility experience, 6k thieving experience, 2k construction experience. Giving us a few levels. No, just one level. One agility level. And we got a tome as well with 6k experience. What do we want to use it on? I think Herbore is going to be very useful for the future. Yep, we're putting it all on Herbore. 6k experience on Herbore. 2k. Plus 2k. Plus 2k. 6k experience on Herbore. Almost 59. Okay, you will all probably hate me for this, but I want 4 to 4 prayer uh, for Eagle Eye. So we're just gonna bury bones here. Don't even question it. Here we go. 4 to 4 prayer unlocked, Eagle Eye unlocked, combat level 51. Alright, this time I wanna complete a quest called In Search of Knowledge. If I manage to complete this quest before anyone finds me, that's 10k hitbox experience just from completing this quest. Alright, we're gonna need a total of 12 pages, so we're gonna be here for a while, but here we go, almost 51. There we go, 51. Oh, there is the hunter. Lag? Why is it lagging so hard? Wait, he's got no prayer. He's 31 prayer. He can't be here. He's gonna, he's gonna die. All right, I can kill this one and then I gotta dip. We got six to unidentified minerals. So let's trade it for, we're gonna buy these mining gloves here. So when mining and using these on coal, there's a slight chance of it not being taken. 69 mining. All right, it took a while, but we can now afford a gem bag. This is crafting experience. I decided to do some slayer to throw people off, and that's 15 slayer. That was quick. Second task completed ever. It is time to do my first attempt of a fire cape. This is how I'm gonna look like the coif, the Dorgan crossbow with the Shinshampes, and plenty of bolts, no AFS sadly. And we got a panic teleport as well. And I'm not gonna rush it, I'm just gonna play it slow. It might take two hours, maybe even longer. I might not even complete this, but we'll do our best. Nice lag, Jagex. Oh, nah. Alright, I need to let my HP regen, so we're just like, gonna AFK for a bit. Well, we do not like this. Client crashed. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was such a bad thing. I just lost so much supplies. Oh my god. Alright, only the major is left now. I'm gonna play it safe. I still have 9 prayer potions. I'm just gonna play it safe. Keep prayer on, no flicking at all. Alright, here comes Jad. Here comes little Jaddy. Jad, where are you? There you are. Right, this is gonna take a while based on the hits. Thank you. Oh, I just feel like the healers are gonna spawn again. It's just gonna happen. Oh my god. I thought I misclicked. It's like three more hits and we're killed it. I'm gonna be so upset if the healers respawn now. Come on, just... Just do it. There we go, a 10. Oh my god, we did it. 
Oh my god, no one be outside. Oh my god, people were outside and we did it! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Have you seen a time like this ever before? 7 hours and 40 minutes and 31 seconds. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe we completed it! The fire cape have been completed! Let's go! I don't want to reveal that I got it. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm still shaking. I'm still shaking. Look at that! I actually completed it! Alright. It's very important that no one knows that I got this. But there was a peak here outside too. Alright, I'm just gonna look at the stats here. Plus 4 strength, the most important one. This will improve our melee strength training very very quickly. And also, I think it's a, yeah, it's a best in slot defense cape. So as soon as I reveal that I got it, I got a new best in slot defense cape right there. Here we go, a brand new area I can access. It's multi though, it's multi but it doesn't matter. Not many low level pures have this place unlocked. Look, we can buy so many uncuts right there for tacos very very cheap as well this is great construction experience what's going on in my pms i'm getting spammed you suck well i got the fire cape so you guys suck all right you're all getting to the block list sent to the bin the best part is i can save some train on these stars for some good items as well there we go 55 range so one kill count something never lucky who's this guy just peeking He's just looking at me. And this will be 55 magic. High alts have now been unlocked. 56 magic, 53 combat. Oh my god, look at this. I'm in the Discord on my main uh, Discord account. And there are people in the voice chat. Uh, they're just openly discussing with my location. I'm gonna sneak in, see if they say anything. <laughs> Uh-huh, ever since fucking he logged on earlier, he's been splashing. Alright, he's not on Fossil Island. Yeah. Uh, nope, I have to check over there by the fucking mines. They haven't noticed I'm in the chat. They haven't noticed I'm in the Discord chat, voice chat. Um, who's over here? Uh, we got a few people at Fossil Island. Damn it. And they tell it away. He's probably in Ooh. some spot where... Like he knows peers can't go that has like a requirement from a quest train in there. Aklon? What's that quest you need to do to get below Ice Mountain? What's that called? It's one of these ones. It's below Ice Mountain. It's the Corsar Curve. It's Mislin Mystery or X marks the spot because I haven't did them yet. Wait, wh why is how much for bounty say he's in our call? Oh no. They know. <laughs> they know I'm in the call. I'm not in here. It's not Tom and Dragon. Oh wait, he is in our call. <laughs> oh shit, he is. <laughs> oh no, I left. I gotta leave. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up staying at the Tsar Bank for an additional four magic levels. We ended up at 59 magic for Fire Blast. I also ended up buying plenty of uncuts so I could get that 55 crafting for the Dragonstone Rings. Potentially a very useful ring for the future. The only problem is I need 68 magic to turn it into a ring of wealth to be able to use it in up to 30 wilderness. So unfortunately we cannot do anything with this ring right now. And I think that's where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. We did unlock plenty of things. I'm gonna have a few days to actually train here since no one has actually found me still. So I'm gonna be here for a couple of days until someone actually finds me. Uh, but until then, thank you guys for watching, give the video a like, and look at that beautiful fire cape, we have finally gotten it! The melee training shall begin very, very soon. Bye bye. Oh yeah, one final thing, the bounty have increased by 28 mil, then 10 mil, then 22 mil, then 15 mil, putting the bounty at 6 billion 955 million. Good luck, gamers. After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is How Much For Off, 
and my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. Ooh. As you all know, in the last episode we got ourselves a fire cape. Look at that beauty. I can look at it all day. We made this empty portal chamber in the last episode and I finally decided what teleport I'm gonna make for this episode right here. I'm gonna make myself mind alter teleport. I know, I know. Why would anyone make this teleport? Well, 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 that's the point. No one thinks I'm gonna make this portal, so why not just make it? Yeah, I'm only gonna be using this portal for today's episode. It is time to do a slayer task. We do have 66 scorpions we gotta kill. And I know just the place. It's in the wilderness. It's a wilderness slayer task, by the way. And that's 16 slayer. 17 slayer. 18 slayer. We can now begin animal magnetism. Um, I don't know if we actually have to complete the restless ghost. I don't think we actually have anything completed. I was wrong, I actually had to complete the quest Restless Ghost, but that's great because Jagex made an update to the rewards of the quest. You now receive a brand new pair of Raycon earbuds after completing the Restless Ghost. For the quest, Animal Magnetism, we're gonna unlock the teleport, Drainer Manor portal. Halfway done with the quest, we have now reached the part which we cannot complete. We need a mithril axe. I don't have one. I have done some investigations here and there's a chance of you getting a mithril axe by doing the chest on the Isle of Souls. The mithril axe have a drop rate of 1 in 33. From chest, alright. Renner, alright. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so lucky. <laughs> I got it on the fourth chest. 1 in 33, baby! Yes, let's go, get out of here! Surely this guy won't do anything, right? And that's our unblessed holy symbol, mate. So instead of just running out to the west to monastery to bless my symbol, which is the quickest way, I'm not gonna risk it, I'm just gonna teleport to my house, use the mind altar teleport, and we're good. Just run north. There we go. We got a holy symbol. A little fun fact for you all, if this button right here is red for you, and if you press it, it turns gray. Amazing! Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> he was slow with the tailbuck. Jesus Christ, that could have ended so badly. Avis, come here. There we go. Animal magnetism completed. 20 slayer as well. We can kill rock slugs. Alright, great. We got the backpack. Beautiful. I can actually flex this instead of flexing the cape. So, Avis accumulator completed. So, no one has found me in this spot. So, I'm just gonna camp here until someone finds me. We start at 55 range and 50. 57 HP. 56 rain. Look at that. 58 hit points. That's a combat level. 55 combat. Ooh, 70s can officially attack me now. Look at that. 57 range. Wait. He found me. Wait. He got a one prayer fire cape. He actually found me. Well done, sir. Well done. 57 range. Two range levels. We didn't get the 60 range though. There we go. Black Knight Fortress completed. Very easy quest with uh, the mind teleport unlocked. Casket, beautiful. Let's go to save zone. Beginner's casket, three, two, one. Let's go. Absolutely nothing. All right. The, the, these dragon zone rings, I'll probably not be able to make them into wealths uh, anytime soon. So we're just gonna high out them for some GP. Look at that. We're gonna get we're gonna get 105k from all of these. All right, look at that, 244k, beautiful. All right, time to do the quest, Haunted Mine. This is an XP gaining quest, so we might get some combat or some level from completing this quest. All right, what's the, what do we protect? Is it protect from melee here? There we go. Protect from range, maybe? God, he keeps going back and forth, back and forth nonstop. Where is he going? Oh my god! Run! Uh, I'm stuck! Oh my, this minecart! Oh my god, I, I basically got no food here. Last hit. 
get the kill. Fuck yeah, oh my god, I Do I just finish the quest with uh, two sharks left? Uh, I'll just do it. I think this is where we complete the quest, right? There we go. Haunted mine completed. We got 50 strength. No combat. Good, good, good. No HP experience as well, but that doesn't matter. It's fine, it's fine. Um, and that's where we teleport home. We have now unlocked the Solve Amulet. This amulet increases my attack and strength bonuses by 15% against undead creatures. However, it currently only works for melee. If I want to make it work for magic and range as well, I will have to go to Nightmare Zone, which is not available on PvP worlds. However, I might just make an exception for the future where I go to Nightmare Zone and unlock the Solve Amulet, since it's a safe area anyway. All right, here we are. This will be my training location. Uh, we'll kill Black Knights. There are plenty of ladders for escapes. And we can just charge our prayer here by the altar. Um, I'm not sure about the drops, if they're even worth it, but I'm just gonna need some levels here. And the best part is, this is pretty much like Rockcraft, because these Black Knights, they just aggro me, so I don't even have to pay attention. I can pretty much AFK this. There we go, 51 strength. <gasps> Ninja in blink. Can I barehand catch that? Rune Skimitar, beautiful. That's 30k high elk. Right, there we go, 58 range. Boom, 59 range, one level to go. 59 hit points. Give me a hint where you at, selling hints 10 mil each. Go on, I will buy a hint for 10 mil, meet me G on your main. All right, I'm gonna meet him up. Wait, he's actually pay he's actually paying for a hint. All right, we we're gonna DM his uh, account. Hint equals to upper floor. I think that's a good enough hint, right? Upper floor. We, we made the 10 mil. I'm gonna add this 10 mil to the bounty actually, so it's going back to whoever wins. He decided to instantly share the hint with the clan chat, so we'll see if they manage to track me down. Alright, they're saying building with floor so he can kill something. Obviously he's doing the gang stuff on Corrent, Slayer Tower, yeah, you know, you never know. The thing is, if they do find me, I'm gonna see them come up <laughs> this staircase and uh, so I'll have plenty of time to teleport to be honest, so no, no, no worries at all. Elements Pure, he says, I am running out of places to check. I guess this spot is nothing you actually would check, to be honest. Who who have ever been here training on Black Knight, to be honest? Oh, I got found. Wait, what? I was not paying attention. Does he know how to get here? Oh, he's going upstairs. There we go. There he is. This is where we're gonna teleport out. Bye. Good fight. I got found. It took a while. All right, it is time once again to do a quest. The quest we are planning to do is a portion of interest. Uh oh, pig thing. Oh, it's snorting me. This could be a really good trading spot, to be honest. Sour hog have been killed. There we go. A portion of interest has been completed. We got 1k slayer experience. And uh, I don't want people to know that I've completed this quest. So I'm going to do a slayer task, which is cave slime. 22 slayer. Beautiful. Task been completed. Yeah, I think sour hogs will be my trading spot for a bit. Um, I'm going to get 60 range, maybe even higher. 60 range. Beautiful. We can now upgrade to red dehyde. We do have some red dehyde bang breezes in our bank, so we're going to get those. So besides that, this training spot is actually really good because no one has this unlocked, to be honest. I got these goggles. Look how fast I'm looking. I look speedy. All right, so look at this. We upgrade from green dragon height with 64 magic defense to 68 magic defense with the red spiky vambraces. A quick little farmer and to throw people off. Why not? And I think this is where I'm gonna end today's video. 60 magic have been unlocked. Uh, unlocking a lot of things. Nothing useful really, but I feel like this is where I want to start doing something else and I'm gonna save it for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed! Leave the video a like. Let's aim for something high today. Let's go for, do I dare say it? 7,000 likes. Can we get 7,000 likes? And I'll see you guys very very soon, maybe even a week. I'm so hyped on playing this account right now. I don't know where this hype came from. But I'll see you guys very very soon. And of course, the bounty have increased by 15 mil plus 5 mil plus 7 mil, plus 10 mil, 
plus 10 mil plus 50 mil, putting the bounty at 7 billion and 62 million. Good luck, gamers. After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. Oh my god. Run? Uh, I'm stuck? Oh my, this minecart! For the start of this episode, I want to unlock a teleporting method using the spirit trees. And to be able to do so, we need to complete the quest Three Gnome Village. And this should be, yeah, Three Gnome Village completed. We gained a lot of attack levels, look at that. I think we gained eight attack levels, beautiful. And we can now use this teleport right here. Where do we want to go here as our first teleport? Maybe Gnome Stronghold. Some quick farming experience to throw people off, why not? There we go. I was thinking so hard about fishing, but I don't need to do that. I can just buy these choco bombs. Look at all that. These heal 15s, I believe. Besides the spirit trees, I also want access to the gnome gliders, and the grand tree is the quest for that. Uh oh, you see that? I wonder if he's on me. Oh, he was waiting for me. Yikes. Ah, uh, he did see me then. We put the Grand Tree on pause to start the quest Waterfall quest. And after doing a third of the Waterfall quest, we are back to the Grand Tree to kill the demon. Ah! Oh my god! Man actually found me! What? Yeah, I see BA. Like, who looks in that cave? I am so mad he, he stopped me from completing that quest. This will be the quest completed, waterfall quest completed, we got 52 strength, 38 attack. Beautiful, still no combat level. I feel like I have reached the stage now where I really don't need that extra hit points experience even though I kinda need it. But obviously as you have seen, no one has caught a chance on me so far. Uh, so I'm just sending it, getting all those levels up really quickly here. Let me just bash in this man's head for 39 attack, thank you very much. It's Lewin. Come here, baby. Give me the bow. There we go. There we go. Roving Elves completed. We got ourselves a crystal bow as well. Look at that. We got ourselves a crystal bow, which we cannot use right now. But this will be a weapon we can use in 10 levels. So 10 more levels of the bone crossbow and then we're sending the crystal bow. Let's go. A little fun fact for you all. If this button right here is red for you and if you press it, it turns gray. Amazing! After a few hours of doing waterfall quest and roving elves quest, I decided to try my chances at the grand tree quest. Once again. I swear if someone's waiting here still, it's it's like one day later. Oh my god, he's still waiting there. Oh my god! He got the telelock as well. Jesus Christ! Yeah, I'll I'll never I'll never do that quest ever again. It's not happening. The Grand Tree. Sorry, man. You are a quest I will never be able to complete. <laughs> Unless I wait like five billion weeks, maybe then. I just did a farm rant to throw people off. My god. There was a delay on the compost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, the farm run, the farm run. Chaos tap. <gasps> I needed that. Oh my god, yes. Yes. That's an escape I have been wanting. Here it comes. 61 range. We have now unlocked rune crossbow. The ability to wear a rune crossbow. I still don't have one. I may or may not go to Crazy Archaeologist. Who knows? Maybe I'll have to go there. There's been too many hunters hunting me right now, so I decided to get 70 mining. Um, yeah. Well, we could mine Addy, to be honest. Look at this. 
first ever Adior on the account. Would be great if we got a quick grubby key here. This place is heavily camped, which is why I don't go here too often. For those of you who don't know, these undead druids have a drop rate of 1 in 75 to obtain a grubby key. If you get the grubby key, you can unlock the grubby chest. This chest has a 10% chance of giving you Saradomin Brews, one of the best food source for survival. 28 natures, holy crap. Here they come. Oh, they ruined my bruise. They were just rushing in hoping for the best. I'm very happy with that session. We killed 12 druids, got 72 nature runes. I just asked the chat. <laughs> I just asked the clan chat. If I move my VPN to America and hop to American world, does ping get better? And they start making such a huge explanation of why it doesn't work. I should stop being uh, ironic in the clan chat to be honest. <laughs> Hey, 44 fletching, 57 wood cutting, 45 fletching. Interesting. Uh, we did get a medium clue scroll from uh, the earth templing. All right, step one completed, completed. Complete, subscribe. Beautiful, a medium casket. I haven't opened one of these in a while. Three, two, one, let's go. Uh, Larus, thank you. Um, Gnomish firelight, what does that even, what is that even? So many hunters everywhere and this is 61 thieving, beautiful. Alright, I'm quite bored, uh, let's get a quick uh, barrels kill. Oh, I completed a, uh, a task. Here we go, barrels kill count number 3. Never lucky. I'm actually going to train my defense up here to level 30. I want to be able to wear Addy. The, the first level coming in, 27 defense. 28 defense. Uh, yeah, they, they found my training spot now. So yeah, I'm just getting uh, wrecked. 29 defense. We got the combat level as well. 57. 60 HP as well. Look at that. I didn't even pay attention to the total level. 1200 total. We're getting up there in the total high scores. There we go. 30 defense. That's all we wanted. We can now have some upgrades. Adamant armor being one of them. From this all the way to the hundreds in defense look at that then we also can upgrade to snake skin boots best in slot range attack bonus so far at my level i've honestly been ragged out of every single spot so far so i'm just gonna rag back this by playing on the free to play world free to play pvp world and just chopping some oak trees here we need that we need that 60 with cutting anyway so oh no i've been tv'd here comes the ranger Oh my, that was a close call. Hey, 58 woodcutting. All right, another trip to the Undead Druids. How many kills can we get before these guys find me? A quick question to all of you watching right now. If you were the one to kill me and you won 7 bill GP, what would you spend the GP on? Oh my god, look at it. What? You see his gear? Full Dagon High? Oh my freaking god! Uh, luckily I was in combat, but he knew exactly where to log as well, so he's very talented. And uh, this is a new record, by the way. 17 undead druids killed. Runes are pretty good. Alright, kill count number 4. Still nothing, still nothing. 59 woodcutting, one level more. Alright, I'm just shopping logs here and it's, a, it's like a gangbang right now. Alright, let me, let me hide. Let me hide. Here it comes, the final level. 60 wood cutting. I can finally leave this place. Finally. As a guy with 60 wood cutting, we can now enter the wood cutting skilled. Why is this man higher? We're next. Boom. We're done. Get out of here. Yep, uh, we have unlocked this area. <laughs> great. Scary place, but great. I just noticed something. Jagex changed the entire wood cutting guild to be a multi zone now. I'm pretty sure it used to be singles. This location right here, not many people know about. The requirement to get down here is 60 woodcutting for the woodcutting skill. And uh, we need Hosidious Favor, I believe it's like 65. And uh, it's a safe zone, these five tiles right here. And we can AFK these ends. Oh nice, great. Yeah, woodcutting guild was fun <laughs> while it lasted a total of 11 minutes. Great. 
But we did get ourselves a rune axe upgrade, so I'm very happy with that. We're gonna keep this episode short because I want to do some secret things for the next episode. And since it's short, I think I only deserve like 700 likes. So can we get 700 likes? Thank you very much. And of course, the bounty have increased by 10 mil and another 10 mil and another 10 mil plus 50 mil plus another 50 mil and of course plus 100 mil putting the bounty at 7 billion 292 million. I trust this man to not kill Scout Zone here. Um, the fuck? No way! No way! After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. Oh my god, he's still waiting there. Welcome to RuneScape's biggest hide and seek ever. Today's jackpot is 7 billion. You gotta find me, you gotta catch a TB, and you gotta kill me. Those are the rules. Alright, this will be my hiding spot. Look, we are in the middle of nowhere. We gotta kill these lizard men. They drop. Uh, they have a chance of dropping uh, the talisman. Serix talisman for the teleport. In the case of emergency, we can use this dungeon right here. Uh, to get a log out. Whoa, runner seed. Boom, 62 range. <gasps> yes, we got it! We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Let's go. Or we, we could get one more to get more charges, but that's great. 72 kills in total for the talisman. I'm pretty lucky, under drop rate. For those of you who don't know, the Serex talisman allows me to use five different teleports to five different locations in Zaya. The, the, these are teleports not many people camp, so it's gonna be a lot harder for the hunters to camp and lock down a spot to catch me. We did also get an upgrade to our magic gear. We can now make a Sertian top. My new best in slot, uh, magic gear, the Salad Robe Warrior. Here we go. Hey, 23 Slayer. Oi, 24. There we go, 25. Task completed. Let's get out of here. Beautiful. Even though I'm an Iron Man and people can't enter my house, People can still see where my house is located, which is a bad thing because then as soon as I move my house People will know I'm doing an activity close to that area But I want to do something which I really want to do I want to get 100% Piscarillus favors so I can buy raw fish Yeah, never mind. I'm not getting that favor up since I got scouted. I'm doing this quest cursor curse all right, that's the cursor curse completed. Let's go now. We can actually use this bank very useful bank. We're actually gonna try to train some hunter here right up north. I'm actually gonna leave I have a bad gut feeling about this. I don't know why. Scoutbot just talk. You should listen to him All right, I want some grape seeds. I want to try this out planting some grapes. There we go How many grapes did we get? 57 grapes. I think that's 100 XP per grape There we go 9600 cooking experience all right, here we go. Vampire Slayer. Boom. It should be done now. Yep. There we go. 40 attack. We can now wear rune uh, rune items. I just realized we do have an ornament kit for the rune scimitar. Oh my god, that handle. That's a beautiful handle. Another trip to Underdrood. <gasps> we got it. Our first grubby key. Let's go. Uh, what do we drop? What do we drop? All right, good luck. Open anyway. We get sharks and super stores, all right. All right, that's pretty good, pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa! You see, the undead roots are locked down. Luckily, I got a grubby key. Sadly, no bruise, but we did get sharks, which is my best in slot food. Maybe this time we can get some more Piscarellius favor. So far, I don't see anyone. This, this place is multi. Um, wait, it's not? Hey, since it's not multi, maybe it's safe then. Wait, this could potentially be the last one. Let's see, let's see. 
97, okay, one more. Surely this is the last one. Nope, one more. There gotta be enough. Boom, 100% Piscarilla's favor. Let's go. All right, now that we have 100% Piscarilla's favor, we can actually go down south to this food shop right here. If a team like randomly camps here, which I don't think they will, you know, I, I'll, I'm gonna die. So this raw fishing shop, it got lobsters, bass, swordfish, and when I get the cooking level, raw sharks as well. I mean, we don't really need the food right now, uh, so I just bought two inventories, but we're gonna need it eventually. Eventually. All right, might as well finish off the 100% in all favor. Lava Kench, the last one. 100%, let's go. We have done everything. All favors have been completed. So now that we have 100% in all favors, I want to do this uh, mini quest, Architectural Alliance. Most of the quest is in multi, so I gotta pay full attention here. Look at this beautiful statue. Architectural Alliance completed. I feel like Herblore is the correct choice here. It's very difficult to train up. And that's a Herblore level. Beautiful. 10k. 59 Herblor. Uh, do I want to start this quest? A kingdom divided? This this quest is so scary because there's so many cutscenes where you can get caught at. Look, I just spawned in the middle of nowhere. In multi as well. Alright, let's focus. Let's focus. Judge of Jama, 168 combat. Finish him! There we go. Sent. In the bin. Oh. Ooh, someone found me just as I did that part. Doodle brain. Time to change everything up, do something completely different. 62, thieving. 47, fletching. Uh, I don't wanna say I'm re rejuvenating the PvP scene of the RuneScape, but look at all the fights I've created just by being in this bank. Like there was a fight over here as well, and a fight over there. Oh, nice! Vilimu. <laughs> Someone waiting for another PvP hard crime and, and they find me instead. <sighs> Look at him. Look at him. He logged. He logged thinking I didn't see him. We killed a total of three crabs before getting found. Uh, and if you were wondering why the progress is so slow, that's your reason. Way 63 range. 63 thing. I still can't access the wizard's guild so I still gotta purchase all the Larians from here from Lundale Very scary place to get to. Yeah, while I'm here I might as well high elk everything I don't need anymore and uh, just buy the runes back from Lundale Oh 63 magician 48 fletching boom 64 magic 59 combat uh, I got 41 42 and 43 smithing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm honestly considering putting my private off It's been getting very unplayable the last couple of weeks uh, because I'm getting ragged no matter where I go And I, I know I, I put myself into this position where private on people are supposed to find me and kill me But uh, it, it gets to a point where even I CBA there we go, 44 smithing. The Ogre Shaman is pretty good loot here. We get rune full helms, rune med helms. Oh, plenty of loot. And here we go, 61 hit points, beautiful. I think I started my Ogre journey with 120k, maybe. And I've made 140k so far, so this is a great money making method here. Look at this, 64 range, beautiful. Oh, look at that, another good drop, a rune battle axe. This high alt for like 30k, thank you. All right, I want to do a slayer task. My current slayer task is wolf 17, 26 slayer, 27 slayer. There we go, task completed. Assignment, uh, give me an easy one, please easy one. Earth war, ooh. The only bad thing is there's always a bot right here swinging across these, these bars, but not this time. Oh, look who it is. Look who's here. I got 6 kills before being found here and now my task is like 140 so... The scout is dead! That means I'm safe right? Because the scout the scout died so I, I'm safe right? There we go, mountain daughter completed. Slop of compromise on the goblins. To complete the quest, boo! 1000 cooking experience, 1000 crafting experience, 1000 farming experience. Increase, yeah, look at that, 55 cooking. We have increased our stock here. We can buy three grapes at a time. The real question is, is anyone gonna show up here? 
look at him. <laughs> I knew someone was waiting. Give me this ninja implant. Let's go. Get out of here. What do we get? Rune knives. So I want to do this quest, hand in the sand quest. If I complete this quest, I no longer have to go to the mage arena in the wilderness. I can just buy my runes here in Yanil. Oh my god, someone waited. That scout. That scout. Oh my goodness, we do, we do, we do, we do. <laughs> Before we continue, we need to talk scout bots. A few months ago, I made a rule: if someone is using a scout bot and kills me, the bounty will not be paid out. And if someone is using AHK and kills me, the bounty will not be paid out. And still, I am in no way saying that this account 75 Fury Dwarf in the bank is a scout bot. He could just have been a manual scout. All we know for sure is that Widow used this account to scout me because he was placed perfectly when he teleblocked me. However, after investigating this account 75 Fury Dwarf, I can by 75% confidence say that it was a scout bot. The account was still logged in 1 hour after I logged out, and the account was still logged in 10 hours after I logged out. And a friend of mine even spoke to him afterwards, and he claims that 75 Fury Dwarf confirmed that he owned scout bots in other banks around Gilnor as well. Normally scout bots aren't even an issue for PvP locked hardcore IMM because they are placed there uh, because there's a war between the different types of loring clans, they kinda wanna anti-lore each other. But anyway, let's move on with the episode. Okay, hop to 579, then hop back to 560. Now we complete the quest real quick. Boom! Quest completed, we did it! Is he logging in? Is he logging in? He did not log in! Yes! We completed the quest! Quest completed. Since we forgot to read out the rewards, let's see what Slayer Music says. He said, We got 1k thieving experience, 9k crafting experience, and access to the Magic Guild Rune Store. And of course, we can collect buckets from Bert. Can I collect sand from Bert? Beautiful! This could be the last episode where I have my private on. It's been too unplayable, too many raggers, and barely any progress. I'll still have all the PvP locked hard crime and added. And who knows, I might even add some of the respectable hunters. And of course, Denma mode is coming up, so I won't be playing for a couple of weeks. And with that being said, the bounty have, of course, increased. 10 mil, plus 13 mil, plus 25 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 100 mil, putting the bounty at 7 billion, 460 million. Good luck gamers. After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in-game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen, and it's consistently increasing every single day. In the last episode, I accused this man Witu of using scout bots. But after further investigation, we have come to the conclusion that he was not using scout bots. I'm not going to get into how I know this, but with that being said, let's get into today's episode. So yeah, I'm back after being gone for, what is it, one month of dead my mode? I have no idea where I left off. I'm not even a member anymore. In the last episode I was discussing private off or on, and uh, as of today, I have decided we are going to go private off, I'm gonna make this post to inform everyone who's hunting me that I am now officially private off PvP Hardcore Iron Man. So, good luck to me. Buckets. This is how my smithing grind looked like a couple of weeks ago, but now I can finally start smithing. Private off gang, we're loving it right now. I think we're gonna do steel dart tips here. 
uh, get some fletching experience as well. 45 smithing. All right, we can get our stats up here at the solo mission dungeon. We're gonna get plenty of herbs here as well. Beautiful, look at that. 41 attack, boom, 42 attack, 43 attack. All right, I'm gonna flick online offline to show people that I'm online. Boom, boom. And there we go, 44 attack. Private on engineer would have made a full episode about this, but the chaos truths. But private off engineer getting five levels within a few seconds at this one spot. But I'm AFKing a lot more, so when someone actually finds me, I might not be paying attention. There we go, 45 attack. Look at all the herbs I've gotten. 14 Ranners, 13 Harrowlanders. I don't even have to farm anymore. Look at all that. Every now and then I'm gonna give cryptic hints to the hunters of my location. In this occasion, I gave them 42 agility experience from the shortcuts to reach my position. So anyone who's a big brain citizen, they will know that I'm here by the chaos roots. This is exactly what I used to do when I used to hunt, so I feel like the hunters need to step up their game if they want the 7 billion. And that's 46 attack, 47 attack, 48 attack. All right, we are 48 combat, almost 50, and we do have a quest right here. The Grand Tree giving us enough experience to get 50 attack. I just need to go back to the cave where I Almost died. Oh, and of course, before we forget, a full herb sack unloaded. Upgrade staff, 200k. Yep, there we go. Rest in peace, 200k. We got 2,500 charges on this thing. Beautiful. Someone's gonna be down there, I just know it. <gasps> Almost here. There we go. Grand tree completed. Did we get 50 attack? Beautiful. We got some agility as well. The Ivan staff have been unlocked. Beautiful, beautiful. We do love to see it. And if we want to, we can start the Monkey Madness quest. Look at him waiting. <laughs> it's another day, another hint. We're gonna bury a big bone. So anyone who tracks my experience will see that I'm killing a giant somehow. If they are a big brain citizen, they will know. We do like these uh, little high alts here from the fire giants. Thank you. 62 hit points. Almost 62 combat. I think we're gonna stop right there. I want to do something very very interesting something very special for me I want to unlock Shazian armor for shamans killing so we got to go here kill these five times then kill these five times then kill these five times Etc. Yo, look at the lighting in HD. Look at me. Oh my god. This is so cool But I gotta go back to normal. There we go. And there we go. That's the final kill. We got ourselves the full Shazian armor right there. We can go and kill Elizabeth and Shamans now. But we need to make sure no one sees this armor. Ever. If someone finds out that we are killing Elizabeth and Shamans, we are doomed. Here we are, Elizabeth and Shaman. And we're gonna have a hint as always. Um, the first hint is one kill. And then we're hopping worlds. There we go, one kill, let's hop world. Chaos runes, thank you. All right, we're gonna consistently get these kind of drops. Rune, Warhammers, High Ox, easy, what is it, 20k cash, beautiful. There we go, 65 range. Uh, one trip done, we made like 80k, so that's beautiful. And every time we teleport to bank, we need to remove all our gear, so no one really knows uh, what we're doing. Oh, look at these Mystic Staff drops. Look at the coins I'm getting. 259 to 284, 25k per staff. And I've gotten so many so far. Another staff and coin go up. Yeah, a lot of drilling today from my neighbor. I think I'm gonna call it there. Another rune war hammer, coin go up. All right, we got 522k coins. So it's time to invest in another portal chamber. 100k just gone like that. But I don't know what teleports I want to unlock. So we're just gonna build these frames right here. I, I, I got bored, so I did a barrel chest. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Elite clue scroll. And I can't even enter that. And there we go. 66 range. 28 slayer. Who is... Why is there an account here? <laughs> like, why? I am slowly using up all my food and Piscarillus is the perfect place to restock. But it is multi. Very scary. Alright, uh, 48 raw swordfish. This should last me a while. 
To get back to the shamans, we need a lot of irits, so we are back at the kids' roots. There we go, 63 hit points. Is that a combat level? Yep, that is a combat level. 62 combat. 67 range, beautiful. And for some reason, we only got two irrit leaves from all those 230 kills roots killed. But, um, when the when this got but logs, there we go, and no one's out here, right? There we go. This should be 48 smithing. We can now make the steel plate bodies. Do this real quick. We need our seed packs. We need irrits from the seed pack. All right, we got some lantadime, marantil, irrits. Yes, four. Beautiful. We can farm shamans a lot this week. Here comes the level 60 herb lore. Beautiful. 60 herb lore completed according to Vagina Smiter. Okay. As you can see on the screen, I am all over the place. 49 fletching. Thank you. Look, we have made ourselves our first ring of wealth. Here's the thing. Here's the problem. I need to go to the fountain of rune to actually charge this ring of wealth. But I don't want to go there. Yeah, I'm too scared. Lag. Oh my god. That lag made me panic teleport, so now someone could have seen this armor. That fucked everything up. Lag is so bad, I'm here making steel plate bodies now. 49 smithing, 50 smithing. You can now smelt mithril ore, ooh, all right. All right, I've been TB'd in free to play. All right, I'll buy runes another time. So I've been splashing on this account and I got 68 magic. Come here, dragon implane, come here. There we go, we got a dragon implane. It's been a long time since I opened one of these. Dragon darts. One day I'm gonna get that blowpipe, mark my words. It is time for me to do something I'm quite scared about, and that's the deranged archaeologist. This boss can one-hit me very easily, especially at a low level, which I am. 63 hit points. However, the reward from here is amazing. A black dehyde body with a drop rate of 1 in 21. If I manage to get this black dehyde body, my defense for the future is gonna be a lot higher. Especially for tanking teleblocks. Ah, uh, first kill count. Numolite, water runes, onyx bolt tips, rune to age, cannonballs. <gasps> yes, we got it, we got it, we got it. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Black dehyde body completed. Let's go. I'm so happy we got it. Under drop rate, uh, 14 kill count. Look at that. I can't wear it right now. Uh, it requires 40 defense and 70 range, so I can't wear it. But when I can wear it, look at those stats. 50 plus magic defense, 55 range defense, 60 strength, plus 30 range attack bonus. Like everything is so good with this body. Another mystic staff. Coin go up, thank you. Daily sand collection, thank you. I, mean, I, I cannot make this up. The black dehyde, I just got it. And now we have a system update. Wilderness and equipment rebalance changes. The dragonhide armor, <laughs> it's already being nerfed. All right, it's not that big of a nerf. It's just minus plus five less uh, in magic defense. But man, <laughs> what is the timing? Uh, I was in the area, so I decided to complete a barrel chest for absolutely nothing. Kill count six. Still no loot. All right, interesting. We got a close scroll on the ground. Can we do this one? And this is gonna be step one. Completed. Completed. Complete. Subscribe. Oh my god, that's our first casket. Who's this? That's our first casket. Our first hard clue casket. What we want is black dehyde chaps or a magic short bow. Three, two, one, good luck. What the hell? That's a lot of items. Blue dehyde body T. Uh, why? I could get 40 defense right now and upgrade a blue dehyde body T, but. Uh, I don't know. Armadil page? Is that a dupe? I do have some Armadil pages. <gasps> Wait, what? I almost got the full book. Look at that! And a Master Clue Scroll, which I probably cannot do. But we're gonna keep it for now, I guess. No way. I've actually been scouted. Well, I guess uh, no more Jason then. Interesting, okay. Look at this scout. Dude, seriously? <laughs> he says it's not a bot. Oh 
my. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh no! How did he know? Oh my sh I hadn't. I did not expect that. Oh my god, Ralph. The guy I should have killed at Grom Stronghold. How? Why was he waiting? That's the first birdhouse run I've done in so many weeks, so many months. And he was there waiting. <laughs> Uh, at least we got a bird's egg, right? We we got the egg. We got the egg. That tail block kind of scared me, so I'm now at the mining skills. We're gonna do some smithing and some mining. And when I build up more confidence, I'll be back to the riskier stuff. Thank you guys for watching. We did a lot of good things. Leave the video a like. Can we go for... It was a long time since we did a PvP art online video. Can we get 5,000 likes? And of course, now that my private is off, it's a lot harder for people to donate towards the bounty. But it's still increased by 5 mil, then 10 mil, then 20 mil, putting the bounty at 7 billion, 500 million. Good luck, gamers. Mining while editing got me 7 to 1, mining. Time to do a quest, Dragon Slayer. That will put us at 39 defense, just one level away from 40. This is where we complete the quest, Dragon Slayer. Completed, started at 62 combat. We're now 64 combat. 54 strength and 38 defense. In two defense levels, we can wear dragon hide bodies again. Beautiful. That's 39 defense. There we go, 40 defense, that's all we needed. 65 combat now. We now have an upgrade for this account, the blue D height body T, which we got from a hard clue scroll. If we focus on the magic defense here, 58 to 78. The chance of someone splashing a tail block on me now is much higher. 56 crafting, you know, with 56 crafting, there are actually two upgrades we can get. Phoenix necklace. This necklace actually prevents me from getting killed if someone decides to dragon claw me. I think I might start using the phoenix necklace when I'm not doing combat. Just for extra precaution. Here we go, an upgrade to the, the account. Look at that, we are making the shield. Look at that, Eight plus 87 magic defense to 88. And in addition to the extra 1 magic defense, we also get some range attack bonus. Plus three. Five kills in, we got a Mystic Staff. Normally this isn't an upgrade, but due to an equipment rebalance change from Jagex, this actually gives plus two magic defense compared to the Battle Staff. Okay, I just missed a level, but that was fifth to the smithing. I took a short break. <laughs> Look at this account. All right, we got a medium clue scroll. We're gonna attempt to do this one. All right, this must be the casket. Yep, there we go. All right, there we go. Three, two, one, good luck. We get... Hi, Ox. And there we go, 68 range, beautiful. All right, fellas, it's time for a hint. We're gonna put private on. So anyone who's checking my house portal real quick, they can see that my house is in Taverly. Oh, he actually did scout. <laughs> this is the guy that almost got me at Fossil Island. I wanted to do sheep herder, but I, uh, I'm not doing it in front of this scout. <laughs> What is the chance that we get a grab a key before someone comes here and finds me? Alright, here we go, we got a hard clue scroll. Can we do this one? That's step one, completed, 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 completed. <sighs> I don't think I can do this one. We have to drop four steps completed clue scroll. Sad, sad, sad. Way 64 hit points, I didn't even realize I was that close. 31 on the druid skill, and no keys. Alright, we changed our task, we got 46 wolves. 29 slayer. Oh, look who it is. And we're gone. <laughs> Alright, I, I did actually give him some hints. Here we go, dragon and plane. Yes, let's go. And we get three dragon daggers. Oh my, that's like... Oh, it's just 50k. Ooh, ninja and plane. Hey, ninja. And we got a hard clue scroll. Can we do it? And we cannot do this one. Demonic runes, too scary for me. Oh, dirty slayer. Alright, a bit of AFKing at the Ammonite Crabs. We got some large fossils right there. 69 range. One level to go until we can finally wear our black dehyde body. Oh my god. You little gremlin. Or should I teleport or? Is this the casket? There we go. We got a casket. Alright, medium casket. Good luck from Pimpact. Here we go. Strength. Oh no. Rune chain body. This means coin go up. Oh my god. 
What the hell? He knew. Oh, that was scary. I think I was slow too. I'm not gonna show all the hints I'm doing because people don't always find me based on the hints. Uh, but we're gonna play private on, private off and get 7th range here at the Fire Giants. This is going to be the final hit. No, one more, one more. I've been waiting for this for so long. I don't think you guys realize. It's been a struggle getting this level because it's so slow and people keep finding me. Seventh range. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Get out, get out. All right, the first upgrade we got. Black D hide body from 88 plus magic defense to 105. That's plus 17 compared to the blue D hide. And the second upgrade we got. A crystal bow. This is pretty good, I think. If we compare it to the Dark Gen crossbow, plus 49 range strength to plus 78, that's a major, major difference. But I don't know where we're gonna use this one. Hespori, we have attempted to kill it before. We couldn't do it before, but now we got a crystal bow. Alright, here we go. We need some RNG here. We need to get into the sharks right now. Oh my god. That's the kill. Oh my god. Get ready to teleport. Alright, no one's here. Clear out, Hespori. 12k farming experience. First Hespori kill completed. We we can actually do another boss now. Hespori. Alright, Herbro time. We can actually make ourselves super, uh, super store potions if we boost up with botanical pies. Look at them, they are so beautiful. I still need brews though, I still need brews. I just got back home from Barcelona, and of course I'm doing a sneaky barrel chest for nothing. Dragon Impling, free Dragon Impling. And we get Dragonstone Bolt Tips, who not worth. We got a shooting star, we can now AFK for maybe 20 minutes. See you guys in a few seconds. And 20 minutes of AFK for 500 Stardust. Beautiful. Another day, another shooting star, and I'm here alone. So it could be two hours of mining. And that's 72 mining. Thank you. We now have 2200 Stardust. Plenty of crafting experience. These two prey potions are my last. So we need to get some runners here from the Chaos Roots on top of. Mauritania. There we go. 55 strength. Ooh, 65 hit points. And this is going to be 56 strength. Thank you very much. And one combat level. Now level 81s can attack me. Scary, scary. All right, solid session once again. Let's see here. Um, seven runners, seven prey potions. Beautiful. All right, another barrel chest for nothing. Did you see that? He was waiting for me. All right, I got this medium blue scroll, so we're gonna do it. Step number five of this medium blue scroll, I need an Addy square shield. I can get one from the crystal chest and I got three crystal keys, but I didn't get it. So we are dropping this blue scroll. All right, we got all these stardust. We're gonna buy ourselves some bag of full gems. To give us an onyx, thank you very much. Okay, we got one Dragonstone. A nice little 57 crafting, thank you very much. Big smithing level coming up, 53 smithing. Uh, we can now make mithril crossbow bolts. That's gonna be our main fletching method. 54 smithing, completed. 50 fletching, completed. And this is a casket, easy casket, probably nothing. Probably nothing, good luck. Shard Dragonstone Jewelry Scroll. Ooh. We need to have completed hero skills. Sad. But it's gonna be useful in the future, maybe if I complete the quest. Oh. <laughs> 51, 52, and 53 fletching. I now have a reason to do Zolra. 70 magic. And there we go. 55 smithing completed. Here we go. Big level coming up. 54 fletching, mitral bolts, and mitral crossbow can be made. Ooh, mitral crossbow even. I didn't think of that. And there we go. Mitral limb. And that's the maple stock. Ooh, a magpie in the middle of nowhere. For nothing. And there we go. We got ourselves a mitral crossbow. From 94 range accuracy to 118. Uh, so yeah, we are retiring the bone crossbow. Goodbye. All right, we are back to the coin shaman. Coin go up, thank you. As mentioned earlier, I do have a crystal bow, which is still my best in slot, but I no longer have any charges 
on this crystal bow and it's gonna cost me 900k to get one back so it's money I don't have all right hero's quest is this the final thing I do in this episode let's go for this part of hero's quest I needed a black arm gang member and I decided to go with the main approach and this should be the quest completed! Plenty of experience gained. Any levels? No levels. But we can now enter the Hero Guild. And one massive thing we can do now that we have completed this quest. Boom! We now have glories. These are level 30 teleports. I'm still considering a, a crazy archaeologist. Uh, but it is scary. It is a scary place. I don't want to get caught up there. The crazy archaeologist is something we will be saving for the next episode. If you guys did enjoy this one, leave the video a like. Can we go for 7000 likes this time? How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and the current bounty is on screen. Good luck gamers. It's come to my attention that it's too difficult for the hunters to find me when I'm playing with private off. So I'm gonna test something out this week. We're gonna do private on weekends. Saturday and Sundays we play with private on and we'll see how it goes. I have decided what I wanna do. Big chompy bird hunting. This quest is useful for morning's end part one. Oh, there we go. Big chompy bird hunting completed. I thought this quest was actually longer. Happy to have completed it. Nice. All right, time to do a quest. Sheep herder. Here we go. Sheep herder, one of the worst quests in the game. I've made two of them stuck. There we go. Thank God. Took me ages. There we go. Sheep herder completed. I think that's all we need for morning sand part one. Where is it? Morning sand part one. All requirements done. All right, time to start morning sand part one. Oh shit! Wait, I'm in here. <gasps> I got teleport crystal already. I actually only wanted the teleport crystal. I didn't actually want to complete the quest, but this quest was actually easier than I thought. There we go. Morning sand part one completed. What the hell? You can, you can enter hardcore's houses now. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> so I want to unlock some more teleport crystals here. And the only way to get them is by killing elf warriors over here. Ooh, we got a crystal teleport seed. Yo, another one, back to back. All right, here we are. Hey, I only got three teleport crystals. Like, people might figure out that I'm te using these teleports before I even use them up, so... Oh, there we go, 31, Slayer. There we go, task completed, horrible task, it's in multi. All right, another Slayer task, gold. Today is a Saturday and I'm uh, feeling generous today to the hunters. So we're gonna try to play with private on completely and we're gonna see what happens. Way, 66 hit points, all right. There we go, 32 Slayer. And that's gonna be the task completed, there we go. At first I didn't really like cave crawlers, but they do drop some solid herbs, so I, I actually do like them now. All right, this should be the last kill, and a Slayer level, 33 Slayer, and the task completed. Oh no, look at it. Oh, <laughs> we got some house intruders. <laughs> All right, I have been scouted. All right, I should probably teleport, right? This is 34 Slayer, and there we go, 71 range. That is 1300 total level as well. This account just keeps going up. And that's the task completed. We get four points. Whoa, Ralph, 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 Ralph. Oh, damn. <laughs> he was waiting. I think this is a broken bot, but I'm not sure. I'm not gonna report it. I'm not gonna snitch on him. I'm gonna let him be, Do it, let him do his own thing, you know. Is he gonna be here again? Ah, we can get our Slayer task. Beautiful. Ocris, 
Or you kill ogres. All right, the uh, ogres. If someone teleblocks me, my escape is this one. 35 Slayer. Okay, honestly, this ogre spot is so good, actually. This is so close to an escape. And it's in the middle of nowhere. People are always expecting me to hide in a dungeon or on a roof or something like that. But no, we're on the ground, just in the middle of nowhere. 36 Slayer. All right, this is my first long bone out of many. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ogre. This should be the level, yep, here we go, 37 Slayer, beautiful. This ogre right here, it's stuck, it can't leave this area. Alright, that's gonna be the task completed, let's go. 7-4 farming, beautiful. Alright, we are running through multi to get myself a Vanica Slayer task and... Uh, oh, no one was here. Cave Slimes. And that's another slate has completed. Yep, task completed. From a safe zone too. <laughs> run! 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 56 cooking. 73 mining while editing. Thank you. You only make money by spending money. Here I am buying nature runes. We're gonna high up for some cash. Alright, time to make some money. The cash deck is just gonna go up. I'm rich again, 299k. So I wanna upgrade my shield to a maple shield for that extra magic defense. And to get that 57 fletching, we're gonna do mithril bolts and darts. 56 smithing. All right, this might be one of the last mithril bars. We have now made 328 mithril bars. Uh, should be enough for a while. But I'm not gonna make them into darts or bolts anytime soon. Uh, we're gonna do something else. I think we're going back to Slayer, our 10th task for some points. <sighs> I think that's, yep, yeah, task 9 completed. One more task to go until we get some points. Alright, we're taking the long way around to Vanica. I'm scared of taking the Edgeville dungeon. I guess no one's here then. Rock slugs, we got rock slugs task again. Beautiful. There we go, 38 Slayer. Virus, can we now kill? Look at that, I got the rare Mystic Gloves. Never gonna be useful ever, but it's rare. And as a content creator, you have to tell everyone about every rare drop you get. All right, this is gonna be the last kill. How much points do we actually get from 10 tasks? 20 points given. All right, we have 62 points now. Wait, who's that? Is that someone waiting for me? Probably not. Die noob. Oh, he is looking for me, but he's AFK. Another 10k experience, thank you. Second time enchanting these teleports, all right. I guess no one really finds this spot. The longer people don't know about this teleporting method, the better. Watching my window in case there's any house invaders coming in here. Another task, dogs. I haven't played for so many days, I'm still private on apparently. 39 Slayer, task completed. All right, I now have the level to do a quest, the Slayer level. We have all the requirements to start A Taste of Hope. So the reason why I want to complete A Taste of Hope is for the Draken's Medallion. This medallion provides me unlimited teleports to a safe bank in Mauritania. I honestly think I need my stats up. This is horrible. I can barely hit anything. I ended up not killing the boss, so I will have to upgrade my gear and get my stats up. Look at that, Dragon Impling, thank you very much. I recorded a square. Can we get a clue scroll? Dragon dart tips. All right, I'm back to killing the undead druids. We need grubby keys for Saradom and Bruce. One in 10 drop chance, once you get a key. Whoa, a grubby key. Woo, another grubby key. All right, we got two chances of Saradom and Bruce from the grubby chest, here's number one. We got Char. Please give us the Bruce. All right, we got restores. I'm not gonna complain about restores. Egg potatoes, no sharks. Ah, uh, could have been much better, but I'll take that. Time for a little break. We're gonna start thieving. We need some uh, GP, maybe. I got 64 thieving. And there we go, 65 thieving. All right, I think that's enough thieving for today. 34K cash made. Another Slayer task completed. There we go, 13 tasks completed. Task 14 completed. 57 strength. I completely forgot these drop the giant keys. All right, I'll take it. There we go, task completed. We got four more points. Any pets? Never lucky. Okay, gotta make some emerald rings. Uh, we are out of dual rings. I was planning to complete Monkey Madness to get those quick combat levels. 
But then I got to a part in the quest where there's a 10 second delay in multi where you can't teleport, you can't move, and if you get teleblocked, you can't escape. And for this reason, I decided to not complete Monkey Madness, and I probably will never complete it as well. Alright, quick little break from questing to do this. Make some bolts. Surely he doesn't have an account for me, and surely he's not looking for me. He's looking at, okay, he's looking at me through the window. He says, hi, C Engineer. Alright, this is very suspicious. Why would he say hi? 55 watching. Since I'm in Edge and no one's here, I, th I figured I'd just go and do some crazy archaeologist. Uh, silver ore. I'm going for the obvious upgrade, a rune crossbow. I currently have a mithril crossbow, which is pretty much all I need currently. My escape, if someone teleports me, it's running up north instead of south, getting some aggros on Ankus and just wait out the TB and teleport. Prayer potion. Actually good. Could stay here longer. Ugh, I, I just hate the process of buying runes. Okay, Jagex, humble request to end this grind right here. Nope. How about this one? Surely. A long bone, really. I asked this guy to wait, what? Can he one hit me? Probably not. He TB'd me! He's dead. <laughs> cannonballs. These cannonballs are not useful at all on this type of account because you can't use a cannon on PvP world. Alright, after this kill, I'm officially over drop rate of a rune crossbow. Never lucky, officiale. Yeah, never lucky. Alright, this is 7th 1. Oh shit. Yeah, 7th 1 magic. I got a combat level. 67 combat, 67 HP. Red Dehyde Body. There is the upgrade I needed uh, one month ago. Kill count number 50. We are officially on the high scores. Look at our what we got. Nothing. Alright, the high scores have officially been updated. And if you go to the bottom, I am rank 486 on the high scores. I'm officially on the high scores for crazy archaeologists. So any kills moving forward, people just might be there waiting for me. I have a good feeling. 7 to 1 kill count. Another longbone. I had a very bad feeling. It's supposed to be 1 in 25 apparently. Ah! Whoa, I didn't see what I got. Who was that? He was waiting for me too. Uh, but he splashed the TV. That's what happens when I go dry. Everyone will know what I'm doing and now people are onto me. They know I still haven't gotten that rune crossbow. Alright, I'm out of prayer potions. We are back to the EFK spot. Uh, there we go. A Rainer. Another Rainer. Rainer! Double Rainer! Alright, I think that's enough Rainers. We got 11. Total. Have I seriously gotten three long bones from the crazy archaeologist? All right, private on. That's what happened at Sora. I got dry at Sora, then I died. That's exact exact same thing is about to happen here. I'm gonna go to dry, and then I'm gonna die. <gasps> I got it. The the kill I got. Private on. I got the rune crossbow. <laughs> That's all we need. Oh my god. Oh my. Goodness, goodness gracious. What are the chances? Oh my god, someone came running, but we have the rune crossbow. Oh my god, finally. Finally. It happened. 88 kill count. That's all we needed for the rune crossbow. And I'm done with this crazy grind. And that is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. And just before you leave, I do have a dream. And that dream is hitting 10,000 likes on this specific video. So if you want my dream to come true, give this video a like and I will see you guys hopefully next week. Goodbye. Oh yeah, one more thing. We got a massive 5 mil donation from Sir Donut. Putting the bounty at 7,505 million. How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and the current bounty is on screen. Good luck gamers. Whoa, Ralph, 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 Ralph. Another episode then we start off by getting ourselves membership. 
So the plan is simple. I want to get some combat levels. I'm 67 combat right now. It will increase my chances of dying, but it doesn't matter because I just want to boost up the account as quick as possible. All right, my favorite AFK spot. Um, we are going to train defense. Yeah, let's get our defense up. 41 defense, 42 defense. And there we go, 43 defense, 68 combat. Another level, 44. 45 defense, a clean, nice number. All right, I think we're good right there. I got plenty of herbs. That uh, herb stack is looking nice. I want to get my combat app very quickly. I'm just gonna rush it. Holy grail. Making sure no one's at the spot. Yeah, good. All right, this will be interesting. Very interesting for the account. 50k defense, 11k prayer, giving us 46 prayer and 47 defense. We are 69 combat now. Um, Mystic Might, new upgrade. I cannot believe I haven't done this quest, Fight Arena. This is one of the starter quests in every single situation, but I just haven't done it. That's the Fight Arena completed. And apparently Jagex have added a new reward from the quest, which is the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. And luckily for all of us, Raycon is today's video sponsor. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds is what I've been using every time I step outside of my house. These earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands and they sound just as good. Raycons are currently available in 5 different colors. We got black, blue, red, rosé gold and white. The battery life of the Raycon earbuds is 32 hours. They even got free shipping and returns making this a very simple and good Christmas present to a family member or a friend. And by using my link in the description box down below or go to buyraycon.com slash engineer and use code HOLIDAY to get 15% discount. 7th combat! <laughs> We're going up in combat, 70 combat, beautiful. I've realized that I can get 5 range levels and 5 magic levels before gaining a combat level, so we're gonna slow down the combat gaining. Alright, a rune warhammer, free 20k high elk. Look, my cash tag have already doubled. Just from 20 minutes here at the channel. Uh, I missed the level 72 magic. Oh my god, look at that. If he gets a tail block on me, I am dead. Oh, whoa, another one. My combat bracket full ancestral. What is this? What's the slayer task we're getting in today? Rock slugs. Way 72 range and 41 slayer. Task completed. And that's the cave slime task completed. And there it is another task completed. We now have 76 points. I've been thinking about something. I have so many Shinchompas. What if I use them up? There's always been one place I've been wanting to use my Shinchompas and that is in the Ferox Enclave by these spiders. These spiders have a chance of dropping grubby keys where I can obtain Sir Domin Bruce, but it is in multi. And if someone in a team scouts me here, I'm so good as dead. But high risk is high reward. I don't know if this is the play, but here we go. Good luck to me. Oh my god, first kill and we already got the grubby key. There we go, one grubby key, 48 defense. Oh, 68 hit points. 49 defense, 7th one combat. There we go, grubby key. Number 2. Just look at those XP drops. 54, 54, 40, 40, 40. I'm so happy I am doing this because I just CBA AFKing something with a rune scimitar for too long. 50 defense. Thank you, another gravity key. Another one, 51 defense. Okay, another gravity key. Okay, we have four gravity keys. We are gonna start opening them up. All right, Bruce, please. Thank you, good luck. Restores, uh, nothing. And uh, nothing. And uh, nothing. And uh, nothing. Uh, I, I think it's one in ten for Sir Bruce drop from the grubby chest, but yeah. Another minute, another defense level. 52. 53 defense, 72 combat. Getting scary. Is that a groupy key? <gasps> a clue scroll. I forgot I can get those. Another groupy key? Okay. Three more keys. Jagex, you know what to do. Not this. Not even a shark drop. How sad. So here I am at the magic training arena. I think I want some upgrades. There's two upgrades I want from this place. It's the infinity boots and it's the staff and maybe even the book. Oi, 73 magic. This is probably the most boring thing on RuneScape. Changed my mind. And the worst room is done. Okay, I did not enjoy this grind, but do you think we're done here? 
Yep, 120 points. Look at all the upgrades, but we are gonna take the boots, infinite boots. Completed. We still need the staff. The staff is a good upgrade. And the book is a good upgrade as well. The rest, not so much. But look at this. We are going to get ourselves a plus 100 to 102 magic defense. This is gonna be very nice for my future thumbnails. Like plus two magic defense, not too much of a big deal. But the potential in the thumbnails, like I'm walking with fashion. It is another weekend and private is always on, on weekends. And uh, I don't know what I want to do today. I guess I'm gonna start off pretty much every weekend AFK and Chaos Roots. I kind of want to get 75 combat for Conor Slayer. Here we go, 54 defense, beautiful. Look who it is! He's here! With you! He found me! I was so close to getting that attack level as well. Did he just yeah, try to invade my house? <laughs> uh oh. Alright, I'm out. I should have just kicked him. Oh, he's still in my house. There we go. He's been kicked. And I've been teleblocked. And we're gonna lock portal. Now he can't enter. Alright, I ruined 2H. Plenty of money, thank you. It's a big high alt. There we go, 73 range. The body number. I'm gone. And look. Yeah, we made around 200k from that trip. Very nice. And there we go, 6 to 1 Herblor. Um, I very rarely get these levels. Look at that, 74 magic. I just have this feeling that I'm never gonna get anything from barrels. Here we go. Yep, nothing. Good luck. Nothing. Time to start AFKing again. See you guys at 54 attack. Hey again, that's me 54 attack back. See you guys at 55. 55 attack. I'll see you guys when I get 56. Oh, 69 hit points. Um, I changed up the scenery a bit. I got bored of crabs. 56 attack. That's 57 attack. 58 attack. Here we go. 59 attack. I'm actually gonna take a break right now. We're gonna buy my upgraded weapon for 60 attack. Here we go, our weapon of choice, Dragon Longsword. Huge level coming up. Uh, no, no. Okay, there we go, 60 attack. We can now wear dragon weapons. Massive upgrade from the account. Check out this, melee strength 56, 283 with Dragon Longsword, and we now also have the Dragon Dagger. Two big weapons for the account. No dragon scimitar. And we're gonna keep it that way for a while. All right, we need to get that task for myself. Crawling, Ugh. Here we go, first dragon spec. Boom! 42 Slayer. 19 tasks completed. Next task, at 75 combat, we can get a Conor Slayer task, which is gonna give us a lot, a lot of points. Okay. <laughs> There we go, 59 attack, 59 strength, uh, my apologies. We got 75 combat. 75 combat is the requirement to get Slayer task from Koner, which is one of the quickest way to get Slayer points for future upgrades. Okay, no one's here. There's... Oh my god, he's... Oh my god, he was over there. Oh, he was waiting. My heart was pounding. He came from... He was camping the other side. I'm never gonna get myself a Conor Slayer task now. I actually went back and got myself a Conor Slayer task, but I'm gonna keep it a secret because I'm not gonna complete this task until the next episode. Wanna know what's funny? I waited four hours to get up to Mount Karum, and I waited another four hours to get that Slayer task. So in total, just getting the task took me 8 hours. <laughs> oh, I got such a PTSD. There is actually another reason why I wanted to get my combat up. In the last episode I attempted to complete the quest A Taste of Hope and I failed. But now that my stats are up, I bought myself a room plate body and we can re-attempt to complete this fight. This boss fight is pretty difficult, it's got 5 phases and in the first phase it's got a special attack that hits constant 30s. And as you can see on screen, half my food supply is now gone and we got 4 phases left. Take that. 
The second phase is just killing Firewatches, which is very simple, you don't have to waste any food killing these. And the third and the fourth phase is a copy of the first and the second phase. And after completing all the first four phases, I am now at the fifth and last phase, with one shark and one dose of prey potion left. All I need to do now is protect from melee as far as I'm aware. Come on. I surely I can do it. Okay, Ring of Recoil is not gonna work. We only got one shark! Please hit! I don't wanna mess up the prey flick here. I can trade hits one for one. Just one more hit! It's one HP! Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, what a fight! Can't believe I did it! Oh my god, what a close call that was. That's the quest completed. We now have unlocked the Draken's Medallion, making it possible for us to teleport straight to the Theater of Blood. A very, very nice teleport. And it's now been done. We're gonna put some XP on, I think, Herblore. Another 2.5k, 7.5k experience to Herblor. Beautiful. And that is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. I am very happy with the progress the last couple of weeks. 75 combat and a brand new teleport have been unlocked. And we are still alive. And if you made it to this final message right here, I'm asking for one thing. And that's 5,000 likes. Oh yeah, the bounty have been increased by 25 mil and 500 million. Putting the bounty at 8 billion and 30 million. Good luck, gamer. How much for off is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal, and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point, and the current bounty is on screen. Good luck, gamers. In the last episode, I teased about the slayer task I have from Conor, which is Hellhounds. A 43 slayer. In the world of Gilenor, so much content is locked behind slayer. Slayer got many upgrades from slayer points, we got quests locked to slayer levels, different money makers and much more. And with my goals in mind, slayer is an undefined requirement for my account. And this grind is not going to be easy with the amount of players trying to kill me at all time. There we go, 60 strength, beautiful. Alright, we have completed half the task, we got 63 helms left, I'll just come back another day and uh, finish the task. All right, we have got it. Our first brimstone key, beautiful. Who was that? Who was that? He just ran away too. I'm going to tell you all a secret I haven't told anyone before. Whenever an enemy is running around close to me, I can actually hear them running. All thanks to my Raycon everyday earbuds. And Oh, so this medallion I unlocked in the last episode is so good. Like, there's always a scout in Ferox Enclave, and okay, there's a scout here as well. Never mind, I take that back. <laughs> and this is gonna be 62 Herblore, a nice little level here. If you couldn't tell, my Slayer task is locked down, so I'll have to postpone my Slayer task until another day. Money Shaman starting at 86k cash. I love to see it, the long bone. Beautiful. Alright, that's a solid 110k profit from the Shamans. I think that's the last kill, yeah. And now we're gonna go. I did another trip and got another 120k. So there's a system update coming up very very soon in 12 minutes. And there is some massive changes to PvP worlds. If we look here at the post, we can see that we have also added some additional safe areas in PvP worlds to combat luring. Alright, the update have happened and we're gonna go straight to Duel Arena. This area has officially become a safe zone. I can just walk around in this safe area. No problem. Another interesting spot, the Soul Wars area, but not Soul Wars actually. It's all the way up here, north, by the Moss Giants. Here's not the safe zone, but here is the safe zone. And from the safe zone, we can attack Moss Giants. 
I'm not gonna use this spot honestly, but it's just an interesting spot. And then we have Corrent Castle. This is probably one of the biggest safe zone upgrade by far. We got a rare impling spawn, we got a lesser demon, we got a bank, and we got one more thing, which I'm not gonna disclose just yet. And there we go, 44 Slayer. Beautiful. Oh, look who it is. Oh my god, he got an arcane. Good morning. Alright, I should probably leave this. I off, he says. Keep you company. I'm in combat. That's a nice but I should probably leave. This is a bit too scary. He's in my combat bracket. I'm just getting a thumbnail and then I'm leaving. Alright, I'm out. Ah, oh, we got the 22 kills left. Ah, scary. Why does he have such a good account? It scares me so much. Magpie in safe zone? Okay. Snapdragon scene? Okay. Alright, uh, another day, another barrel chest, 86%? Nothing. So according to scientists, if you get 100% barrels potential before opening a barrel chest, there is a chance you get a dragon met helm. Never lucky. I'm using up so much prey potions, so we need to start farming more consistently. This is not good. Level 74, mining. We finally got ourselves 120 unidentified minerals. This means we can upgrade ourselves to superior mining gloves. And with these gloves, we can start AFK mining mithril ores. Another day, another magic level. 75 magic. There we go, 70 hit points, big level. This should be the level, oh, who's that? Yep, 61 strength and 76 combat. Why is this guy looking at me? Okay, this is the last kill. There we go. And with this last kill, we have now received 90 points. 20 tasks completed in a row, 90 points received. We got 91 points now. Let's go. We have managed to actually complete this task. Surprise, surprise. All right, another task completed. And that's another slay task completed. All right, give me this ninja. Beautiful, and I like. Split bark helmet. This is good. Decided to do one barrel chest because I got bored. So good luck. Nothing like always. Four to five slayer. I have come to the realization that there is plenty of unlocks at the mage training arena. So I'm just gonna start casually collecting points and eventually using them up. Don't ask me why. I got sick of mage training arena after ten minutes. What the hell is this guy doing here? Wait, this gotta be one of you guys. All right, we killed some gangster for some intelligence and some planks. We got four intelligence from the gangster boss. We got four books. It's only melee stats. Okay, I guess we'll put it on hit points then. There we go. 6k experience to hit points. 200 points later, we got 76 magic. I hate this game. I just don't want to spend any more time in here, but I just know I have to sink in at least another four or five hours here. And I'm not excited at all. Ninja and plane come to papa. Thank you. Rune Skimitar free 20k. And that's gonna be another slay task completed. Task completed. Another task completed. And that's another task completed. Another task completed. Task number 29 completed. Alright, new task. Please give me something good. Greater Demons Brimhaven Dungeon. Beautiful task. One brimstone key so far. Good luck. Coal, like one of the worst drops we could get. As you all know, I haven't been that consistent playing this account. And I don't know, I think I'm getting old. I just can't handle the stress this account is giving me right now. Um, that's a task completed. Brimstone key, number one. Thank you. This is our money making method right now. Brimstone keys. Okay, I love seeing this on the ground. A second brimstone key, thank you. I missed the level, of course, 46 layer. 62 straight. The thing is, I remember watching Zizima uh, play with a dragon longsword on stream and I got so triggered. And now I'm doing the exact same thing, so I'm, I'm pretty much a hypocrite here. Okay, I did get this clue scroll where I need to complete Fairy Tale Part 1, which I apparently haven't done. Alright, clue scroll step 1 completed. And this should be the quest um, completed as well. Beautiful, two in one. Step number two, completed, 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 completed. All right, step number six, I think this gotta be the casket. 
There we go, beautiful casket. Let's open this bad boy. As you can see on my legs, I'm still rocking the blue dehyde chat. So if we can get some black dehyde, or god dehyde even, that would be perfect. Good luck to me, three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> Not one, but three. Black the eyed chaps, I'm loving this game. Thank you so much, look at this upgrade. From 112 magic defense bonus to 121. We are officially upgraded. One in 17 chance, good luck. Nothing once again. Had some spare bones, 47 prayer. Oh my god, a rune kite shield. It's a rare as well. I'm not gonna hide off this, I'm gonna save it. Such a good upgrade. I don't have a rune kite shield. My best in slot, range defense gear. All right, that's another trip to the shamans done. We made a solid 80k cash, so I'm happy with that. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a secret for whenever I've been doing barrels. I got this teleport straight to the theater of blood right here. And if no one's here, I can just run out and go straight here. There's this boat with a huge delay when you get off it and it's multi once you get off it. So if there was a team to camp here, I would be dead. But please do not tell the hunters about this transportation method to burg the rot. So if I do one barrel chest per day, I will eventually get something, right? Here we go. Elite clue scroll, not what I'm looking for. Fine, for the sake of good content, I'll get an item in this chest. That's not an item. Boom, 74 range and we gotta get an item. Nope. Look at this guy. Okay, there's two of them. Who are these guys? I fucking hate you, says. How you find me? I should probably um, teleport away. Yeah, he's trying to attack me, so I'm gonna go. We start off good, grubby key number one. Another grubby key, are we lucky? Never ever lucky, but we got four sharks. I can't complain. All right, 55 defense, beautiful. 47 slayer. Can now kill brine rats. Task completed, we got 90 more points. Beautiful, we now have 181 points and I don't know how I'm gonna spend these points, but it's good. All right, uh, we got two brimstone keys. Um, we are gonna open them. Gold door is very good actually. Ranner seats, oh, this is so good. I needed Ranners as well. <sighs> I just love the smell of newly fresh picked Rainer weed. All right, we got another grubby key. I'm just gonna open it and dip. I'm bored of this place already. I'm gonna do this clue scroll as well. Nothing. And that's gonna be step one, completed. Completed, 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 completed for the casket. Uh, good luck to me. High Alk, Lumberyard Teleport, Honorable Blessed, oh, a magic shortbow! That's a good upgrade, I didn't even notice, yeah. This is actually a really good upgrade, we can train range with this one. I'm so happy, that's actually really good. Thank you. And I think that's where we're gonna wrap up this episode. We got the Black D High Chaps upgrade, and maybe, just maybe, you will give this video 5,000 likes. Thank you, goodbye, bye, bye, bye. Oh yeah, and the bounty have increased by 2 mil and 10 mil and 10 mil, putting the bounty at 8 billion and 52 million. Good luck, gamers. How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal, and that is obtaining an Infernal Cape. This series could end at any point, and the current bounty is on screen. Good luck, gamers. And we're gonna start off this video with a barrel's chest with absolutely nothing in it. Kill count 18, I still have zero items. But I hope in this episode we can change that. Yeah, perfect, nothing. Okay, one more chest, just one. Oh my god, we got a double chest. The Darrow King, it's two useless items, but we got two items, a double chest as our first chest. What a good start to the video. And if we would like to, 
We can high alt this for 180k. I don't think these items are gonna be useful for me at all, but I'm extremely happy. I don't know if you guys are familiar with my old PvP hardcore Iron Man, but it took me 146 barrels chest until I got my first item, which was a Carol's Coif. So getting these two pretty bad items early on is a blessing, a huge blessing for me. Alright, I'm extremely happy. This could be the back to back potentially. Never lucky, man. As y'all can see, I still don't have any Ceradomin Bruce, and my easiest way to obtain Ceradomin Bruce is by killing under Druids for grubby keys. Y'all know that already. I don't have to repeat myself every single week. Alright, there we go. Our first grubby key. We're just gonna open it straight away. Hope for the Bruce. We got it. We actually got the Bruce. 13 kill count! 13 grubby chests have been opened and we got ourselves 6 doses of Cerebrus. This is massive! It's actually a good episode! I got Barrow's items, I got Bruce. I'm so excited! I'm s this is gonna be a great week. So now that we have Bruce, we will have to permanently have a restore in our inventory at all time. So in the last episode I completed Fairy Tale Part 1 and one thing I didn't realize is that I can actually start using fairy rings if I start this quest. So we're just gonna... I should be able to teleport. There we go. Yep, we can now use the fairy teleports. Another thing have been unlocked and now I'm really tired. Alright, I got low on bolts, I made some uh, meter bolts. 57 uh, smithing, 56 fletching. Oh my god, someone's here. Why was he waiting there? He's not gonna be here again, right? Oh shit, he saw me. Look, he's running out. Oh my god. I see him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is he doing? Okay, I, I'm gonna get my rainers another day, another time. This gotta be his scout. Oh my god. Jesus, full ancestrals. Yeah, Doja's cat. I gotta be careful for Doja's cat. I saw this group Iron Man training on crabs while I was doing a bird out run, and I tried to kill him, but I failed. Every time I get the opportunity to kill these gang bosses, I, I take them. So much experience, so much loot. Alright, we got three more books, all going to hit points. Oh, this is gonna be, give me a level. 71 hit points, beautiful, with the book. We finally got our Rainers! Took me a while. Oh no, I forgot my magic sorceries! Alright, let's do some slayer tasks. Crawling hands. And that's gonna be task one, completed. Task number two. Completed. Three completed. We got 48 Slayer from killing these rats. Task number four completed. And that's another task completed. Task number six completed. Another task completed. Completed. 39 completed. Uh, give us a good task, Connor. Lizardman in the Lizardman Canyon. I couldn't have asked for a better task. That's beautiful. Wait, my slayer task is in the Lizardman Canyon. Where is that? Oh, I can't do the slayer task here. Oh, the PK is here. The PK from Mount Cadom is here. Is he gonna come inside? Hi. Is he gonna die? Look at him. How you doing? This guy is actually on mobile. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, he can definitely not kill me on mobile, right? A big level coming up here. 75 range. And there we go. 49 Slayer. There it is, the final kill, another 90 points given to this account. We now have 271 points, and I still don't know what I'm gonna use it on. Alright, I'm going to do something completely unpredictable. I'm gonna close my eyes, scroll this quest line, and just pick a random quest. Alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1. Okay, we are doing Sogre Flesh Eaters. I have so much weird stuff in my inventory during this quest. And this should be the Sogre Flesh Eater completed. We got some nice skills, uh, no level up. Alright, now that Sogre Flesh Eaters is done, there's actually a second quest in this quest line. Um, rum deal. Let's say theoretically speaking, if someone were to teleblock me here, what's even my escape? 
quests have been completed. 7k prayer experience, 7k fishing, 7k farming, and a level 54 fishing. Beautiful. All right, so there's actually another quest in this quest line, Cabin Fever. And I just happen to have all the requirements for it. So we're gonna continue. All right, I hate cutscenes, but this should be the quest completed. As long as no one's waiting outside, I should be fine. I don't know where I spawn. I haven't looked into this. All I know is I'm scared. I'm very scared of cutscenes. Okay, thank God no one's here. Yep, there we go. Quests have been completed and no one's out here. Thank God. So the most interesting part about completing this quest is that we can now kill cave horrors. We still need 58 Slayer for that, but we have unlocked the island. We can actually kill them. No way. He's here. He, he like I was watching my temple and he he's it was recently updated. I had to log middle of the quest and he pretty much knew. Oh yeah, from this quest we got crafting experience so now I am 58 crafting. And from the quest we also got ourselves Wait for it. Wait for it. All right, wait for it. 58 agility. Mage training arena. I hate this place, but I just know I gotta do it. So here I am. Oh, there's someone in here. Does that mean I have to go? I should probably just run. Um, I can teleport, but hunt the PVP. What's even that gear? I'm in desperate need for cosmic runes in May training arena and they only have 20 in each world and I only have three worlds to pick from so I've been here for hours just hopping between the worlds buying the cosmic up but I think we should have enough now 612 <laughs> he doesn't know the safe zone <laughs> I'm teasing the noob I am teasing the noob look at that 77 magic all right this is gonna be the last point I need for now, 2,010 points. Now we can actually unlock a new item for me, which happens to be the Bones to Peaches spell. We're gonna do this quick. Bones to Peaches, unlock. All right, with this spell, look at this. So we can now use Bones to Peaches. We get a food source. The Bones to Peaches spell is gonna be super useful for whenever I get a Mage's book and a Master Wand from the Mage Training Arena. But they also have a secret plan for this spell, which I'm not gonna tell you guys. All right, I'm getting a level as well, 48 Prayer and 7-7 Combat. Oh my god, there was a lot of people in Valley. Yeah, I'm not going there. So I need to get my construction up, but I cannot tell you why. But that's 52 construction. 53 construction. I decided to do another slay task, 41 tasks completed. Wouldn't it be great if I ended this video with a barrels item? 3, 2, 1, good luck. Never ever lucky. One thing you should never do on a PvP hardcore diamond is to use a unique teleport in front of a potential scout. However, sometimes I just think it's fun. I'm using up these dual rings quicker than anything else, so I think I'm just gonna make a hundred of them right now. What the hell? Who was that waiting for me? Oh my god. What was that gear? He looked stacked. The, this could potentially be an upgraded level 57 fletching. We can now make maple shields. And as soon as we get 62 crafting, we can make green dehyde maple shields. And uh, that's gonna give me extra magic defense bonus. Great for avoiding tail blocks. Before we end today's episode, I feel like I need to clear something up. There is a rumor going around. Maybe it's just a rumor from five people. I'm not sure. But the rumor says that I have shucked the entire PvP hardcore I am in bounty. And I just want to say, uh, nope, I have not. I still have the 8 billion. I just don't have it on this account because in case I get scammed or hacked or something, uh, I, I need to keep this money safe so it's not on this account ever uh, but no I have not shucked it and the bounty is still 8 billion and 55 million how much for off is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds the account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape this series could end at any point and the current bounty is on screen good luck gamers oh my god the Shattered Leagues is soon coming up 
and I need to AFK splash during the entire league. So I need as much GP as possible. So I'm high alking my bank right now. We now have 15,000 fire strike splashes, but that is not enough for leagues. And we got 58 smithing. All right, we made some money from crafting. Look at this. We now got 176K. After spending all that money, we now have 27K fire strike splashes. I was going to Lism and Shamans to make some more money, but Pizza Guy found me on my way over there. And this is the same guy with full ancestrals from the last episode, so I'm a bit spooked. League start now. We got 77 magic and 27K mind runes. So this is where I'm gonna hang out for the next couple of weeks I think I'm gonna get two magic levels potentially I'm out of runes after two days of splashing and we are now 79 magic All right so I, ha I need to get my strength and attack up I want to get into the warrior's guild we're just gonna afk here at the most giants here comes the level 63 strength a very good method to gain prayer experience is by using the RC spell book to animate giants 650 prayer experience per giant killed who's this Maxed Debor, <laughs> he's trying, but he doesn't know that this square is a safe zone. Well, now he knows. Way 64 strength at the new location, Ogres. Buried this bone for 49 prayer. We can now use the redemption prayer. And I'm gonna show you guys a throwback of why this prayer is so important for me. This was the greatest tank test of my old PvP hardcore Iron Man. And the only reason why it survived as long as it did is because of the redemption prayer. Another level, 65 strength, 78 combat, 50 prayer, 66 strength. Oh, this is a first, a curved bone first ever seen on this account. 72 hit points, 67 strength, 51 prayer. He's right there waiting. I was watching the CSGO game and he just showed up here. 68 strength, 61 attack, 52 prayer. We can now officially use smite. I don't think I'll ever be using this prayer, but uh, it's been unlocked. There we go, 62 attack, that's the last level, 1400 total. And we got enough stats now to enter the Warriors Guild. I love how sneaky some of the PKers are. Look, he's standing right there. We can now enter the Warriors Guild. All right, this is my favorite upgrade. We can actually buy food here. We can actually buy potatoes. A really good food source, which is very easy. Very close to a bank. I love this. Oh my god, they have been waiting. They have been waiting. How long ago? Uh oh. Wee. Uh oh, oh, oh. Ee, ee, ee. Okay, I just teased the noob. Alright, I'm gonna play it really weird. We're gonna go for one defender at a time. 150 tokens. Okay, first defender. 20 tokens used, all right. During my stay here at the Warriors Guild, I'm gonna get myself 60 defense for the Dragon Defender, and that is 56 defense. Oh, I've been scouted instantly. Your secret is safe with me, he says. I believe him. Okay, what's he doing here? All right, um, I should probably go. What the fuck? We are gonna be very happy with one bronze defender for now. During my grind at Moss Giants, we got these mossy keys. And I've been wanting to try out this boss, uh, Brayfota. And we gotta run through multi right here. And hopefully no one's here. Yeah, good, good, good. This guy, he dropped some high alt, which is nice. And some other stuff. Oh, I'm not even using any food. All right, any good drop. First kill of Brayfota is gonna be a rune square shield. Beautiful, and a task completed, which I don't care about. Second kill of Brifota. Chaos runes. Rune chain body. Blood runes, okay, okay. And the fifth and last mossy key for... Adamant plate bodies. That's a lot of high ox. I do like that. Yeah, we made over 100k in high ox from killing this. Decided to take a short break, and we got 6 to 6 thieving. Uh, I've been completely broke. Uh, I have legit no nature runes and I need them right now. So we're gonna stock up on that. 250, that should be enough for now. Oh shit, Debor. Yeah, that is the Debor. Oh shit. No, don't hit me, don't hit me. If he had been a bit quicker, I would have been there. All right, I just realized I do have this giant key so I can kill Ober. I don't really know what the strat is here, so I'm just gonna wing it. I don't think it- oh my god, it hits a lot. 
Oh, okay. I should have brought like entangles or something. That was harsh. <laughs> that was so bad. What do you even get? We completed a task. We got an insult giant head and some big bone. Was it worth it? Probably not. Would I do it again? 100%. I am actually getting sick of coming to the Seamus as a moneymaker. So if you guys know any good moneymakers besides Seamus, let me know. Alright, this is the last shaman kill. We made a solid 70-80k. Whenever I get some spare money, I try to invest it into magic. We still need some upgrades from the magic training arena. So here I am. Oh my. Someone was waiting there. How did he know? A new challenger have arrived. He must have left. Yeah, he left. Oh, he was waiting in the graveyard room. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not doing that anymore. I thought he had left. You can see my investigation cap is on. This is the first time this account have Hoth in front of me. So it makes me think that's his scout. And that's gonna be another defense level, 57. And there we go, 58 defense. I'm so used to the boosted drop rates for the defender on leagues and on deadman mode. So now that I'm playing it on an Iron Man, it's actually an awful grind, I must say. But so far, no peaker have shown up in 45 minutes, maybe because I had 7 a.m. No one is used to me being online this early. Okay, a long bone. All right, another successful trip to the Seamus and we made over 100k this time. Very nice. Fuck. I bought the wrong runes. I accidentally bought blood runes instead of nature runes. I'm so dumb. In the moment of stress, I do stuff like that. And I don't know why I'm even stressed. No one's here. And here is 58 fletching. I can now make emerald tipped metal bolts. The poisonous bolts. It's definitely gonna come in handy. The question is where? I think these are gonna be useful in case someone attacks me and I can fight back and poison them. And there we have it, 59 defense. Uh oh. Wait, he didn't attack me, but he showed up here. And he TB'd me. Stay out. 73 hit points, I forgot about that level coming up. So as you all know, we have changed the rule on this account. We are only doing private on weekends. But for some reason, I've had private on for the entire episode. It's been like three weeks with private on. So I've been pretty much spoiling the hunters with this much private on. And that's the reason why it's been so active. Maybe, just maybe next episode, I'll bring back the private on weekends, private off weekdays. Okay, I've started to like this money maker. Make mithril square shields, high alt them for 900 GP, and then repeat, just make mithril bars. Plenty of mining experience, plenty of smithing experience, plenty of magic experience. 59 smithing. Daily sand collection, thank you Bert. And we got 250 more nature runes, beautiful. There we go, 60 defense. I think that's gonna be the last level here at Augurs. We got 82 combat now as well. I'm a bit sad that I have to leave up this bot now because I'm gonna upload this video, I can never come back. This bot have given me so many Snapdragon seeds, Rainer seeds, so much free experience. I've just been almost AFK here. I now have to find a new spot. Okay, I have an idea, but I don't know if it's gonna work and I don't know if someone's camping that. But we have 60 defense. With 60 defense, we can wear we can wear the obsidian shield. And I could sell death runes, I could sell my chaos runes and buy myself an obsidian shield, but I don't know if I have the balls. There's so many hunters around. Sell it, buy the shield, and we're good to go. Oh my god, 55k. We still need some tackles. All right, I sold some more. I think this should be enough. Before anyone shows up, I'm, I'm scared of being here. There we go. Obsidian shield have been unlocked. Beautiful. Let's go to the bank and look at the stats. Let's have a look here. From 56 melee strength bonus to 61 plus 5 strength. This is a great replacement for the dragon defender for now. We still need to get that dragon defender. It's so much better. But for now, this will do. And that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. We got ourselves an obby shield. We got ourselves 14 and 9 total level. And... 82 combat, that is a lot of combat levels in this one episode and we're just gonna keep pumping the combat level up. And if you did enjoy this video, remember, thumbs up. And I'll see you guys hopefully within one, maybe two weeks. See you soon, bye! And the bounty have increased by 45 mil, putting the bounty at 8 billion and 100 million. Yeah, I need to stop taking donations, this is getting out of hand. How much for off is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and the current bounty is on screen. Good luck gamers.
Is there any better way off to start this video than doing some barrels? I'm kind of looking for a pair of tank legs and then I can rush 70 defense. So here we go. Never lucky. This is a huge level, 80 magic, and I'm gonna tell you why I got 80 magic in just one second. All right, we got a shooting star right here. Time to AFK for two hours, maybe. And that's enough of the fun. We got 670 stardust. That's enough for a lot of crafting experience, which I do like. As you just witnessed, we got 80 magic. I can actually now boost up to make a barrel's teleport in my house, T. So let's see here. Barrel's teleport is 83 magic. We are now 83 magic, T. There we go, Barrel's Teleport in my house. I don't think people know that I got this unlocked now. All right, we get another Barrel Chest and item. Nothing, Blood Runes. These are going so quickly. Anything? Nothing. As of right now, everyone's watching Super Bowl, so I'm taking advantage for nothing. For nothing. Another drop. For nothing. Shooting star have been mined. We got 700 stardust equaling to two gem bags. Plenty of crafting experience. Thank you. All right. Another barrel chest. Oh, ho, ho, we got an item. An Aram staff. Okay. Um, yeah, I cannot even wear it. Uh, but it's an item. I actually think this is a good item because it does have some magic defense. I'm not gonna complain. Like, it's got a higher magic defense than the Mystic Earth Staff that I'm currently holding. Surprisingly, I'm actually happy with it. And if I don't want it, I can high alk it for 50k. Alright, can we get lucky with a back-to-back -back chest? Never lucky. For nothing. For nothing. Oh my god. Did he see me? Because I went down as he went up. What the fuck? Is he trolling? Or is that actually someone doing barrels on this world? That's gotta be a troll. Like, he's been timing my entrance to this chest all the time, so... He's right there. Okay, get a clue scroll. Yay, 7 to 5 farming! Big level, magic trees! I decided to take a break from barrels, I think people are onto me. Maybe we can get lucky and get that brew. First kill? Uh, no. Alright, a little barrel chest before bed? For nothing. 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 Who's this? Why would he be here? Alright, I'm just gonna continue, as of nothing. No matter how nice you are, I cannot trust you, man. I need to complete this barrel chest and then I'm out of here. One... Nothing. We got three hunters in front of me. One MP, Megatron, and Jerry. Let's just teleport with Ectophile in front of them. This is gonna be fun. Oh my god, they were quick. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I knew they were quick, but I didn't know they were that quick. These trees are the best trees. Look how much XP they give. 15k like that. Okay, this one died. And this one gives me 15k. Beautiful. I've been delaying so many quests for such a long time and I think I might have to start doing quests again. Yo, I'm running underwater. Let's go. Use, don't eat. Use. And we have completed Pirate Pete. We got plenty of experience and we have any levels? No. Oh shit. Oh my, wait. Someone actually scouted me. I did not expect that. Yeah, he's right there. A tiny little upgrade. We can now use steel gloves. Plus two middle strength. All right, another chest for nothing. Ooh, a lot of mind runes. We can splash for another hour. 40 kill count. Another chest. Okay, I'm happy. I'm always happy with blood runes because I was low. I was very low on them. Okay, I haven't really gotten any item in a while, so I think this is the one. It was D1, Verox Flail. Not really an item I want, but it's definitely good. Four items in 42 kill count. Tank items would have been great, but you know, four items, we can high all these if we want to. Imagine getting back to back, the dream. Never lucky, nothing. For nothing, for nothing. Nothing. So these two hunters who have been looking for me all week, they are trying to figure out what my experience drops have been this week whenever I'm doing barrels because they can't figure it out. So I straight up asked them, do you guys think I've been doing barrels? And they said no. <laughs> Maybe they're just playing mind games with me. I don't know. All right, this will probably be my last barrel chest because I'm basically out of blood runes. I will keep going if I get blood runes right now. 
Yeah, I did not get that. I just love that I never have to stress about getting food again. Cheese potatoes, so good, so easily obtainable, right here in the Warriors Guild. I mean, no one's actually here, so I might as well try to get a defender, right? Oh, thank god. 100 Warriors token later? For an Iron Defender upgrade, 120 Warrior Tokens gone and still no Steel Defender. For the longest time there's always been two safe zone shooting stars, but with the safe zone release of Dual Arena, we now have a Dual Arena safe zone shooting star. <laughs> this guy, this hunter just thought this bot was PvP. It's no longer PvP, it's a safe zone, brother. 75 mining. So while we're finishing up this shooting star, you might as well take your time and click that subscribe button. Look at the amount of stardust we have from all this mining. 2700. We got a total of 9 gem bags. Maybe we are lucky on some gems here. Okay, one dragonstone. Oh my, look at the crafting experience so much! I'll probably get like one level from all these gems, and that is 59 crafting. I don't thieve that often on this account, but whenever there's a CSGO tournament on, I'm here. And 67 thieving. Another level incoming, 68 thieving. From just thieving those two levels, we got 50a cash. Not bad. I really don't want to spend my last 109k on blood runes, but we're gonna do it, so we can go back to barrows and we desperately need some blood runes right now. We are poor. Thank you. We got the blood runes. What? Alright, my viewers, my friends, my brothers and my friends. This will be the final barrel chest. 50 kill count. For nothing, we are now officially on the barrels high scores, meaning people will know I've been doing barrels all week. But here we are, rank 9901 on a hardcore Iron Man. Finally time for some farming experience. 8k per 3, not too bad. Wait, what? I was co so confused by that. Oh, he's in my house. I don't think he sees the Barrow's portal yet. He's figured it out. He's figured it out. He knows about the Barrow's portal. We got more money, which means we got more nature rooms. Thank you. 81 magic. We got a medium casket. If we get a pair of boots in this casket, I'm ending this video right now. No, no boots, but we got a green headband. A nice piece of fashionscape. Okay, that's what we have been waiting for. A steel defender, like 150 warriors tokens. Okay, I'm starting to get lucky on these. Black defender, we still got 100 tokens. Oh no. I'm gonna lose my mithril set. And I'm gone. Okay, I got my Black Defender. Uh, we got lucky, we got 33 Cyclops kills in the 20 minutes I was there before someone found me. I, I can still go back, I think, and continue the grind. Alright, we can continue. Okay, he's ruined the day. Uh, I cannot continue. Come here, Dragon and play! Eee. Oh. How far are you taking me? There we go, beautiful. A dragon impling. It's been a while since I got one of these. Dragon impling reveal, three, two, one. Oh, that's beautiful. 43k high arc, very beautiful. And we are lucky once again. A Mitchell defender on a sneaky morning session. 69 uh, string. Uh, people are gonna hate me. I got two, another defender in like no kills at all. I think I should... Go. I'm done here. I think I'll just log out for now and then come back in a bit. Maybe he will be gone by then. Yes, we did it! With 10 tokens left, we got a rune defender. Oh, we can go downstairs now. We can finally go downstairs, go for the dragon defender and get better loot. Here we are. We got 100 tokens. Oh no, I've been spotted! He's gonna make me lose my metal set. This is a nice build, full Dagenhide, level 97. I have a feeling the last defender is gonna get difficult with all these hunters here. I just got ragged from getting myself a dragon defender. Like, look, my microphone stand just broke. Just got myself another one from the general store. We have solved the problem. And we have fixed the new microphone stand. Look how beautiful it is. Surprisingly good. 
New microphone stand, new me, I'm here back at the Ogres or Cyclops. I'm all the way in here so they cannot see me if they scout just there. So they have to run in to actually find me here. Alright, this will be the last kill for two tough. Unlucky. Pizza guy is right there. He's AFK, this brother. Where you come from? Uh, he doesn't know. Look, hi. Oh my, he, I logged in and he was waiting for me to log in and he just went. I have no mithril set. My mithril set is gone. How long was he waiting there? Uh, my dragon defender is uh, never happening, is it? How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and the current bounty is on screen. Good luck gamers. Oh my, he... In the last episode we got some complaints about my steel gloves. Use this bubbly bubbly on the ugly ugly. And there we go, Scratch Ugly Gluggly is completed. This means we can now upgrade to the black gloves so you, the person in the YouTube comments who hated on my steel gloves, here you go. All right, it's time to get my Slayer up. We are 49 Slayer, we're gonna do some Slayer task here. 76 range, okay. One Slayer task, completed, 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 completed. There's been a few updates to PvP world since my last episode, one of them being that PKers and people can enter my house anytime I'm online, no matter if I'm inside or outside the house. And there we go, 50 slayer, 19 lizards. And there's a scout here. 75 minutes of mining, 1700 stardust, a lot of crafting experience. My computer have disconnected. Okay, I'm in the middle of nowhere and my PC just disconnected. Like what is going on here? What is going on? First time happening. I got a, I got a X log. Don't tell me this is the end. All right, please. Thank you, oh my god. I'm still alive. Okay, 70 strength, 74 hit points. Okay, I forgot my, oh my god. I forgot, oh, we got the dragon defender. It's done. I was just about to say that we forgot super strength and super attack, but we don't need that anymore. We got the dragon defender. A very good start of today. So even though I have the dragon defender, I must say the Cyclops is actually a decent money maker. Ah, oh, a backup dragon defender in case I die. This is going to be 63 combat. No, 63 attack and 83 combat. Okay, let's get some bag of full gems. And there we go, 60 crafting. Some upgrades here, you birdhouse is probably the biggest one. Wait, there's no way this is a safe zone shooting star. No way, one tile away from being a safe zone. <laughs> no way. <laughs> this guy told me there's a shooting star in DLB. <laughs> and look at him. <laughs> 64 attack. I decided to complete another quest, the golem, which is for a recipe for disaster, I believe. Alfred's Grim Hands Bark Crawl have now been completed. Beautiful. There we go. Horror from the Deep have been completed. We we have unlocked the damaged book. We can also I'm also gonna unlock the armado one. I, I do believe I have some pages for that one. Three out of four armado pages. Uh no samurai pages though. Okay, another bright photo kill. Lawrence, okay. I, I was actually low on Lawrence, so that's a great drop. I decided to complete one of the scary quests for a PvP hardcore Ironman, the Temple of Ikov. It is scary for two reasons, one of them being that you have to carry 20 limp roots to an NPC which puts you at 8 food. And the second reason is that the most of the quest is taking place in multi. However, no PKs were around and I managed to safely complete this quest. Oh, there's the dragon infling. It's been a while since I caught one of these. Yes, we got one. Three, two, one. That's the last thing I want, that's for sure. Oh, uh, look what I have found! A shooting star! For the seven minutes at the crash star, we got 1000 stardust, three gem bag. There we go, 65 attack. There we go, 61 defense, 84 combat. I haven't really killed his spore in a while. I lost so much food doing this. Hope it's worth it. Anything? Nope. I've decided to complete a medium, my first medium achievement diary, Corrin and Keba. Here is Elise. 
Boom! We have a Radas Blessing number two and an AT Clam. Yeah, we're gonna do Herblore. What is that? 7.5k to Herblore. Big Herblore level 63. Super Restore can now be made. I ju I'm just waiting for that day where I can make Saradome and Bruce. Like, look, 81 Herblore. There's such a long journey down there. We got five more gem bags. Pretty decent. And there we go. 6 to 1 crafting. What the fuck? Huh, who was that? I've never seen that name before. Alright, found a shooting star and we got 76 mining. There's a reason why I have been mining so much shooting stars recently. It's because I want 62 crafting so I can upgrade my shield to a green dragon hide shield for increased magic defense bonus. I've decided to collect two green dragon hides for the shield in the wilderness. Nothing scary happened. And we're out. Oh shit, so what? Someone was actually waiting here. Tanning the green dehyde, and we completed a Mortania task. I just looked this up. This guy Stankers can give me a poison chalice, which is gonna boost my it's gonna boost my crafting, so I don't need to get 62 crafting. 62, beautiful. There we go. And we have an upgraded green dehyde shield. Uh, if we compare it to the snake skin shield, plus 121 magic defense. Upgraded to 123. Plus, it looks nicer for the thumbnail. 3, 2, 1, 50. No. There we go. 58 cooking. I just wanted to do one barrel chest before bed. Uh, what we need? Tank legs. Good luck. And we get nothing. Second chest of today. For nothing. Deference. I've decided to do another achievement diary, the Mauritania one. And I only have one left to do. Make a scarecrow in the flower patch. How do I do this? There we go, Scarecrow. Put the Scarecrow down. And there we go. All the tasks have been completed. Mortina Diary completed and we now have another antique lamp. All diary lamps, I'm putting it on Herbro because it's probably the slowest skill for me to level up. And one of the more important ones. 2.5k. There we go, we got a medium casket. 3, 2, 1, manacles please. Yeah, absolutely nothing. I'm jumping around a lot. We got 59 fletching right now. There we go. Another chest incoming. Good luck. Nothing. Oh shit. Someone actually found me. I guess we're in the safe zone now. CSGO is on. That means I'm here in the safe zone thieving for 69 thieving. Nice. And 70 thieving. That's enough. There we go. 62 defense. I'm here woodcutting and I get this DM. Yo, star spawn at raid to be careful though, peekers. Can I trust this man that there is a star here? Because I don't want to teleport away from here. I'm gonna trust him, but if he's lying, I'm putting him on the ignore list. I. Uh, it, it was this guy again. There we go. 76 farming. Oh my holy shit. It's been a few months since I trained at this spot. Experiment number two. There we go, 63 defense. There we go, 64 defense. So I got four crystal keys. Uh, might as well open them while my house is in Taverly. And we get runes, ew, no thank you. And we get more runes. Cosmic, cosmic is actually good. And lot runes is actually good. This is the level I have been waiting for. There we go, 65 defense. 85 combat. There's two things we can do now. Firstly, we can get Slayer Task from Neve, and then we have this other thing as well, which we have unlocked. We now have all the requirements for doing King's Ransom. And also, if anyone is curious, from killing 200 experiments, we have gotten 75k in Hyals from Mystic Earth Staffs, and plenty of herbs. Look, 100 Terramins. Alright, we're getting ourselves a. Fuck. Task. I was gonna say task, but. There was a peak here there waiting for me. Yeah, Mr. Impy. What's the chances I can hop and just go there? S <laughs> Iron Dragons. He got the TB, but Iron Dragons, yeah. All right, we're skipping the task. Um, I'm not doing Iron Dragons. All right, new chance at the task. Give me something nice. Fire Giants, beautiful. We do love Fire Giants. So hopefully I'll be able to do the full task here at the Fire Giants. We get 111 experience per kill. Okay, someone's here pretending to do the quest. Yeah, look at him. He's he's looking at me. Any luck? Nothing. 54 kill count this early morning barrel chest. Number two for today. We get nothing. 
Ah, uh, there is the BK right there. Uh, I should probably just go. We got a hit points level 75. Lower chance of getting one back. There we go, 51 Slayer. Mm, uh, all right, that's my second curve bone ever. Here is the PK. He's getting smited by the spider. <laughs> yeah, he's getting PJ'd by the spider. Look. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna try to spec me out. Should I go in? He tried. He tried. He tried. I get some entertainment here in the top right corner. Oof me versus Ski. Oh, Ski is dead. Oof me is the winners. Good fight, Ski. All right, guys. See you guys in an hour. Another star have in mind. 1,000 stardust. We are going on a quick trip to Fossil Island. I've realized that these birdhouses occasionally give me really good seeds, papaya tree seed, dragon fruit tree seed, that's what I mean. Like this is plenty of farming experience. Here comes the level, there we go, 59 cooking. Did this guy just suicide this hardcore I meant to be on video? He died! 71 thieving. Too many hunters started to find out about my fire giant slayer task when I only had 20 left, uh, so it was on lockdown for a while. But I managed to sneak in the final kills during a weird time zone and I completed the task and we got a hundred and eighty points and just to look at the rewards here we want 750 points for a rune pouch that is the reward we're going for so this entire episode I have been trying to make money for one specific upgrade and now after high alking this diamond ring we now have 750k and if your game knowledge is good, you probably know where I'm gonna spend this 750k on. This is the item we want, the crystal shield. This is gonna be my best in slot range defense shield. And this is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. We did a lot. I must say we did a lot, but the episode was all over the place. And that's kind of how I need to start playing uh, because of the amount of hunters hunting me. And just a reminder, if you haven't already, give the video a like. And the bounty have increased by 25 mil, putting the bounty at 8 billion 125 million. How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal, and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point, and the current bounty is on screen. Good luck, gamers. There is one thing I want to do a lot in this episode, and that is right here, barrows. This episode's first barrel chest is blood runes. On my original PvP hardcore Iron Man, I did over 1000 barrel chests, and I don't want to do that many this time around. So the only item I am going for currently is a pair of tank legs and maybe even a tank body. And I'm out. Another barrel chest coming in. What? Okay, I think this is gonna be the level. 83 Hunter. We can now catch dragon implings without a boost. Oh my god. Uh, he's not gonna be there, right? If I go back. Oh, he is still here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and there we go, 72. Thieving. All right, I want to do a quest. Family quest is the quest I want to complete. This is a prerequisite for Legends quest. And that's the final quest part. I think we have all three now, so we can get out of here. And there we go. The quest have been completed. Family quest completed. We now have all the requirements for Legends quest. I might actually try to do this one. Oh my god. Two figures were, were there. He's about to die. <gasps> he TV'd me. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh no, shit. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> I was just watching their fight. I didn't think the PJ timer would work like that. All right, it's another day, another barrel chest. We get nothing. Oh, there is Netta. And there we go, 73 thieving. And nothing, we get 40 blood runes. I did get a lot of complaints in the last episode about my black gloves. And for that reason, I made myself a brulee supreme and I completed another part, Sir Amic Varsi. 
So if I'm not mistaken, we should now be able to buy ourselves Mitra Gloves, a nice little upgrade if we look at the meal strength, plus 59 to plus 60. All right, another barrel chest. Eh, uh, Varox Fleet! I think I have that. Is that a dupe? I mean, it's good if it's a dupe because that's a high alt then. Yep, it is a dupe item. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna high alt the extra Varox Flail. Here we go, proceed to high alt. 96k. Very nice. I'm gonna reinvest it into Bloodroots straight away. There we go, 7th for thieving. Another thieving level, 75 thieving. We can actually now pickpocket gnomes. If I want to, I can pickpocket gnomes for gold ores and fire orbs, but I might just stick to the RD Knights. So I have all these 1300 Chinchompas. I still haven't used them. What? I was just about to do it and a level 6 is there. What? Picking up spider eggs? And there it is, 60 cooking. Alright, another chest for nothing. Here comes another chest for nothing. Oh my god, so, someone was actually waiting there. <laughs> He was level 7, so I don't think he could have killed me, but okay. This is some of the best experience in the game. Very scary though, but definitely worth it if I don't die. I get quite a lot of cosmic runes from here, which is very nice. Um, I'm gonna back actually. Here we go, there we go, 66 defense. And there we go, 7-7 seven, seven range, beautiful. Oh, that's a level 7-7 seven, seven mining. Oh my god! I just got in and someone just had blocked me again. I think we deserve something from this chest. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god, that's huge! Give me it! Let's go! <laughs> yes! Oh, wait, do I even want that? I mean, I'd prefer tank legs or tank body, but you know, Aram's top, I cannot complain. And I cannot wear it. We actually got a good item. That's like one of the top items you actually want. Now I just need uh, 70 defense and I'm uh, good to use this. So throughout this week I have been mining shooting stars and I've gotten 10,000 star dust actually. And I bought 30 bags of full gems. So this is gonna be plenty of crafting experience. Maybe we're lucky and can get a lot of dragonstones. Look at that. We got eight dragonstones. All of them are worth 10k each. Good high alt. And that is 62 crafting. 63 crafting. All right, this is the back-to-back -back chest. Anything? Nothing. Imagine if we get the onyx one day from these. That would have been the dream. That is 64 crafting. All right, we're gonna kick him out. Get out of here. I never thought I would be using this method, but I'm pickpocketing gnome women for gold doors. Wait, what? We're going into the instance. I did not see him there. Who was that? 60 attack. Oh, I need to focus more. What's wrong with me? Oh my God. Like this episode, I haven't focused at all. So many people, so many chances. And here I am taking Debo specs to the head. And that was off prayer, so I could have died. Thank God I did use the good extra store, but oh my god. 6 to 1, cooking. And there we go, 7 to 6, thieving. 7 to 7, thieving. 7 to 8, thieving. Alright guys, I want to start getting my melee up. And to make it as efficient as possible, I need to upgrade my gear. So, I want to get myself a strength bonus helmet. We're gonna need 7 to 3k. And there we go, we got 7 to 6k tackle. That should be enough. Obsidian helmet, upgrade, a beautiful upgrade. All right, so this helmet, if we look at the middle strength, plus 55. It goes up by three, plus 58. So this is gonna make it quicker for me to train melee, get 70 defense. All right, here's a level 67 defense. I did some cooking, we are 61 cooking, and now we are 63 cooking, two cooking levels. 
Beautiful. I remember the good old days when I was alone mining these stars. Now the, the peakers, the hunters are taking all my stardust. I decided to complete a slayer task and that's a task completed. And that is 52 slayer. And that is the task completed. You know, there was some guy in the YouTube comments who laughed at my rune crafting level. I have 12 rune crafting, but look at this. I have now 13 rune crafting, so jokes on you. Oh. <clears throat> okay, someone was waiting there. Yeah, he's still here. Uh, he hit the TB twice. Is he still here though? He hit it again. What is going on here? What? It's a spectral. He dropped a spectral. They're luring this guy. Seven to nine, thieving. It's another day, another barrel chest, and we get nothing. Another slayer task completed. Look at all the monkey corpse. Task number fifty-eight completed. Yeah, one level, 64 cooking, and that is 80 thieving. Another barrel chest for nothing. And here we go, 68 defense, two levels left until 70. That's another bright photo kill, can we get lucky on that item we need? <gasps> no way, we got, we, oh my, isn't this, this is super rare. <laughs> no way, we, I, I was joking when I said we should get it, and we got it. How do I make this into a staff? <laughs> battle staff. I need a battle staff. I don't have a battle staff. Battle staff. Beautiful. We got a battle staff. Here we go. Use it. Look at the animation. Look at it. It's not nice. Wait. Use nature. Okay, now it's charged. Look how nice it is. It's fashion scape. Let's look at the stats here. Um, magic defense. 112. It's better. It's my new best in slot magic defense staff. But right, it's not only nice, but it's, it's an upgrade. The drop rate is 1 in 118, so it wasn't that lucky, but it's pretty lucky. Imagine getting a back to back rune longsword. Rune plate legs, thank you. Last bright photo kill for rune sword. Oh, we got a casket already. Nice, a medium casket. Sir, don't a page, okay. Absolutely nothing. For nothing. For nothing. 70 kill count. Quite a nice number. 76 hit points. 82 magic. 12 more gem bags. Can we get an onyx? Nope, no onyx. 69 defense. Nice. And that is another thieving level 81 coming in. 82 thieving. Alright, I'm gonna show you the new spot I can use now that I am 82 thieving. Here in Yano, south of the bank, we can go down here, through this door, and downstairs, and we have an old spot we have been playing at before. The Chaos Roots, a location with plenty of herbs, and I can now pick this lock and enter and exit without any problems. This journey to 70 defense have been a very long journey. We have been interrupted so many times by PKers and hunters while grinding this level, but we are now close, finishing up here, 200 XP left. This could be the level. Yeah, there it is. 70 defense, 86 combat, 1475 total level, and we are done. We have so many upgrades, I can show you guys now. Okay, firstly, look at all the herbs we have collected, that's so much. And now let's have a look at the gear. Um, look at that, we have some barrels pieces, we have a crystal shield, and look at the staff, we have so much fashion <laughs> gear. This is such a weird gear. From an obby shield, to a crystal shield, that's 200 magic defense and a plus 12 in slash melee defense. And then we also have this Aram's top, my new best in slot magic attack uh, equipment. So some very nice upgrades and let's not forget the material gloves. And that is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Give the video a like if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys. Maybe in one week. And of course, the bounty have increased by 50 mil, plus 6 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 73 mil, putting the bounty at 8 billion, 274. How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal, and that is obtaining an Infernal Cape. This series could end at any point, and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. Since of the father, we need 62 wood cutting, so let's start working here. 61 wood cutting, and 62 wood cutting, and 60 fletching. We we now have all the requirements necessary to start since of the father. So my plan now 
is to not do the quest. I'm gonna do a quest that's much more difficult. I'm gonna complete Demon Slayer. One of the toughest quests in the game. And that is the Demon Slayer completed. I had to complete it to start the Lumbridge Guide. I want some upgraded gloves here. Lumbridge Guide have been completed. Addy Gloves have been upgraded. Beautiful. And there we go, Shadow of the Storm have been completed. We can now start this part, Evil Dave. Another spicy tooth to a spicy man, Evil Dave. Bam! Evil Dave have been completed. Look at that, Rune Gloves! The Rune Gloves doesn't look as newbie as the Metal Gloves, so very good upgrade. So I'm currently going for Death Plateau quest for Desert Treasure. And there's a part here where I need to bring a full inventory of trout and bread. So if someone catches a TB here, you know, it's, it's a scary moment. And it's done. Okay, it wasn't that scary. And that's another quest completed, Death Plateau. Ooh, there's a scout here. Decided to complete another quest instead, Tears of Guthix. Uh, I'm doing this quest for one reason and one reason only. I want to get runecrafting levels and this is the best way to get them. And there we go, 129 water collected. Uh, we started at, I think it's 13 runecrafting. We're now 19 room crafting, plenty of levels. I decided to get 65 cooking. We can now make pineapple pizza. The pineapple pizza, they heal 22 more than shark seals. And it's very easy to make. I'm still looking for the tank legs from barrels here. And of course we're never lucky, yep. Oh my god. I was so slow with that teleport. Uh, another barrel chest this morning for absolutely nothing. All right, another 17 gem bags here coming in. Plenty of uh, dragon stones, nice. 65 crafting. And that's step to the direction, completed. I did not know it took me here. I should have completed this quest much earlier, but I decided to do it now. And what's so good about completing this quest, I have now unlocked Dorgeshen, the Dorgeshen area. And in this area, I can trade in my long bones and my curved bones for construction experience. Look at that, 58k construction experience and 14k cash. Uh, beautiful, we get 56 construction. There we go, Eyes of Glofry have been completed. Look at that, 6k room crafting experience should give us 27 room crafting. We can actually now complete the Lumbridge Diary, which is the reason why I did this quest. But we also got a crystal saw, which I'm also gonna be able to use right now. We're supposed to create a lava room, right? There we go. And that is all Lumbridge and Drainer medium diary completed. And there we go. We got an antique lamp here. Beautiful. We're gonna use that on Herblore. Uh, such a slow skill to train up. But there we go. 64 Herblore. And then we go to our house. We lock our house. We can build ourselves a lectern. We're gonna remove the old one build ourselves a teak eagle lectern and now we can make tablets to camelot rd varrock yeah i think camelot is the new one which i like to make so I decided to get myself 60 smithing here i don't really like this call fight cave but i gotta do this later task that small tip and by the way my private have been on for the last couple of months and i feel like i can say that i'm permanently Private on once again. Oh, and that is the task completed. We can now get out of here. 60 points for 60 tasks. And we're 83 thieving and 1500 total level. Huge level. We actually reached 1500. Here we go. 66 attack and 87 combat. Uh, as you can see in my inventory, they have updated most of the keys now, so they are stacked in the inventory. Good job, Jagex. All right, we got four bright photo kills coming up. First one we get. Cosmic runes, chaos runes, chaos runes, all right. Yes, rune chain body, 30k high health. <coughs> That's another cooking level, 66. All right, another chest. Oh, double I double shit dupe item. I got both of these items. <laughs> no, what? Jagex, no. I'm actually so upset about this. Dupes of bad items, so sad. Are we getting that back to back? Never ever ever lucky. And here it comes, the 6 hour log, there it is. 6 hours. I just realized the Derek's helm and the staff are dupes, so I'm just gonna high out them. Boom, 60k. Boom, another 50k, so yeah. 
100k right there, easy. How much for a bow? We're gonna make a bow here. 900k for a crystal weapon bow. I've been thieving a lot for this bow. And there we go, we got a crystal bow. 900k! And now, I am a poor man. I wanna get myself a second fire cape and sacrifice it to the inferno guy. So I can enter the inferno. So it's time for me to go in. Look at my supplies here. A little fun fact, I deleted the clip of me getting the fire cape, but as you can see in the chat box, I did complete another fire cape in 2 hours and 30 minutes. Blah 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 blah. Sacrifice fire cape? Yes. And it's gone. We can now enter the inferno without a problem. Whee! He splashed! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my heart! My heart! What happened? Oh Jesus! Did you see his gear? Full ancestral? That's the build I'm afraid of. Okay, I can thieve in peace now. There we go, 84 thieving. Look at the guy who almost thieved me. Look at his gear! He's got... It's maxed in all stats, 66 HP just to be as strong as possible just to kill me. Insane build. And he was there. He was waiting there. <laughs> okay, okay. If I'm completely honest, if someone just camps Lumpy Basement every now and then, uh, whenever I'm online, they will easily get a chance on me because I come down here all the time and buy grapes. There we go, another kill. Please, no one here, good. Bucket? Nothing. And this should be giving us a level 77. Farming. A crafting level 66. I'm, I'm actually falling asleep doing this. 20 laps in. I, I, I'm done. I'm, done. I'm, I'm never getting agility up. Never. Never. It's not happening. No, 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 no. 67 cooking. I realized that I never really claimed my climbing boots, so here we go. Climbing boots. 12 GP. Plus 2 strength. Alright, we're back at barrels. Give me, please, tank legs. Sad. I decided to AFK this lesser demon while watching some Twitch and now I am 78 range. 79 range. 80 range? Decided to do some rune crafting and there is only one method of choice when doing rune crafting. It's right here, Tears of Good Things. 27 rune crafting, we're now 31. To four levels. It's another chest, we need some blood runes, I'm getting low. Thank you. Oh my, hello! <laughs> Was he reading the manual for barrows or something? Nothing. So I have started this quest, King's Ransom, a very scary quest. This quest is very scary because in one part of the quest I'm inside a room and if someone waits there with a tell block on me, there is no escape for me. And there we go! Oh my god, King's Ransom have been completed, yes! I accidentally deleted the recording for the basement part, but no one was there, so very lucky. We get a lamp here as well. Herblore. 5k experience to Herblore. Alright, this should be the Night Waves playground completed. There we go. 80k experience in various skills. And we can now use these prayers once we get 60 and 70 prayer. Uh, beautiful, we do like that. Thank you very much. See you later. With King's Ransom completed, we now have to start getting our prayer up. We need that 60 prayer for chivalry and that's 53 prayer. 54 prayer. 78 hit points. 81 range. 82 range. I need some orange spices. I need to upgrade my altar in my POH. Alright, we got four orange spices. Should potentially be enough. Let's drink the first one. Ooh. We can make the burners. Beautiful. Uh, I'll just send this one. There we go. 55 prayer and I guess I'm out of bones <laughs> we got one level now that I'm 55 prayer I still need five more prayer levels to unlock chivalry and there's three main popular ways to get prayer up kill dragons for dragon bones kill and sold creatures for prayer experience or catch dragon implings for dragon bones and since I'm lazy I decided for the last one catch dragon implings and the best place to do it on PvP worlds is at raids 1 What?
Oh my god. Oh my god I'm gonna blow up One. I gotta go. Five, five, five. I gotta run. God. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! And there's a dragon impling here. I need to catch the dragon impling. Oh my! I survived that. I can't believe I survived that. And I went here to get the dragon impling. Oh my fucking God! Oh my God! Dude, I'm shaking. I'm, why is there a dragon ampling? I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Actual tank this to, Oh my god, yeah. yeah. Where's the dragon ampling? I can't believe I survived that. Good tank this from me. Oh my god. Come on, dragon ampling, please. Okay, now. Give me the dragon ampling. Please be worth all that time. All that effort. Please, just give me the dragon bones. Glory sad uh, Okay Okay, it's Tom from the future It is time for us to review what just happened here Firstly, the AGS Gmail, he hits 48-0 on my 78 HP According to Pimpact Ralph, his max hit with the AGS is 78, which is my HP So first AGS was a chance, then he hit a 0 Gmail on 35 HP Which is a second chance, so he had two opportunities right there to kill me And after that you probably noticed how I went with the minecart to raids And then disappeared and went to another location In my honest opinion, I thought he would instantly come to raids one second after me So I wanted to dodge him and try to get a log out But uh, unfortunately for me, I went to the location which he had misclicked on so he got another freeze on me, but luckily I managed to escape that so the ending was good Just an unfortunate decision of me to do that And that's where we're gonna wrap up today's episode the bounty have increased by a lot this episode 10 mil plus 5 mil plus 10 mil plus 30 mil plus 10 mil plus 2 mil plus 10 mil plus 5 mil plus 10 mil plus 26 mil plus 10 mil plus 200 million Putting the bounty at 8,602,000,000. Good luck gamers. This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. Oh my god. I have one goal for the start of this episode, and that is 60 prayer to unlock the prayer chivalry. And to get to 60 prayer, I'm gonna catch dragon implings for dragon bones, and I'm gonna kill ensouled heads for prayer experience. And from this video's first dragon impling, we got dragon darts. Dragon impling? Yes, we got a dragon impling. Please. No! Finding dragon implings in PvP worlds is quite rare. So I decided to kill NPCs all across of RuneScape to get those ensouled heads for prayer. And while doing this, I got plenty of levels. 83 magic, 79 hit points, 71 defense, oh 83 range. Oh, he saw that. <laughs> 85 thieving, 72 defense, 57 prayer. Who's that? He fell! The PK fell in the trapdoor! 84, right? 80 hit points, 68 attack, 86 thieving. And this is 58 prayer, beautiful. 69 attack. This is where we end it. 
70 attack. Beautiful. Let's get out of here. We can now equip Barrow's items. Let's have a look here in the bank. We got the Aram Staff right here. Oh, Aram Staff give plus 5 magic damage. That's actually big. Okay, that's actually a huge upgrade. Then we got the Varus Flail. Useless. Darius Great Axe. Useless. Whoa! Hello, Giant Champion Scroll. Okay. Uh, we're done here. And I have found a Dragon Impling. Thank you. Please give me dragon bones, please. No! 59 prayer. One level to go and then we're done here. Uh, pizza guy number one. Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna go up. I found this King Scorpion spot for prayer experience and we just got 73 defense. There we go. 85 range. Beautiful. Okay, this is it. Uh, the moment I have been waiting for. I have been grinding 11 days of this bond just to get myself 60 prayer and there we go 60 prayer has been completed this prayer is so good it gives an additional plus 5% defense compared to the steel skin and also while prayer flicking it's so much easier just pressing the chivalry compared to the the three other symbols and also I am now 91 combat I started this grind at 87 combat but before we continue any further this video is actually sponsored by the like button. If you do like this video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And let's continue the video. 67 crafting. We can now make ring. Onyx rings. All right, time for some weekly rune crafting training. We start at 31, we get 35 rune crafting. 81 hit points. 65 herb lore. What can we do? Sand fuse. Oh, we can do sand fuse. Sand fuse serum combines the properties of super resource and super anti poison. So, in the case someone venoms me, I will save one inventory slot on a super anti poison by just bringing a sand fuse serum. It's a verb! <laughs> ah, PvP verb! Uh, how do you even make these? Step 2. Oh, there we go. Sand fuse serums have been unlocked. Beautiful. 68 cooking tuna potatoes. Here we come. And we have made tuna potatoes. My new best in slot food. Way! Yay! Woo! Okay, there's a dragon impling outside. I need to get that. There's so many dragon implings spawning here in farming skills. I'm wondering if we're gonna get some dragon bones now. Snapdragon seeds, okay. Uh, I think this is the first barrel chest in like one month for me or like two weeks at least so here we go uh, Please anything Nothing uh, 80 kill count still nothing Okay, no more barrels Ho 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 what you doing there? 61 fletching uh, Ooh, add the crossbow balls that's actually big, but I need the smithing level, sadly. And we got the dragon impling. Beautiful. Okay, please, dragon bones. Please. Ah, uh, okay. That's a uh, 50k high elk. Okay. Oh, that's a huge level. 80 mining. Pretty big. <sighs> I really need to go basement, but there are like 5 billion people here. Right, I got all the way. No way. They had a guy waiting over there. 69 cooking and 70 cooking a huge level because this is the requirement for barrels gloves now as the hunters think i'm going to go here i'm gonna do something else it's been a while since we've been here still looking for that dragon warhammer <clears throat> i think i've actually underestimated how good the crystal bow is here at the lizard shamans i'm getting so much kills and so much money so quickly just in 30 minutes i've made like 140k Oh my god, he was quick. Alright, that's another successful trip to the Seamus and we made like 140k more. Very nice. Do I want to unlock Jad? See, I have 391 points. I'm actually going to unlock Jad task because that's a lot of experience if I manage to get one. So, 100 points, gone. Please give us a good task. <laughs> yeah, that's a skip. And that is 53 Slayer. First level here. Please, Jags, if you're hearing this, Please make cannons available in PvP worlds. And that is 54 Slayer. We are on the 5 hour log right now. I'm exhausted. Staring into the minimap while doing Slayer is probably the worst thing 
ever. As you all know, the black mask on RuneScape gives a player 16% boost when training Slayer. However, the requirement to obtain a black mask is 58 Slayer to kill Cave Horrors. However, I do have these wild pies. And on my previous two Iron Men, I got the black mask very, very quick. So we're gonna gamble here. Take the wild pies as a boost and hope we get a very fast black mask. Oh, I thought this in some horror head was a black mask. Sad. <gasps> we got lucky! We got lucky! We got lucky on the black mask! Let's go look at me! With one wild pie left, we actually finally got it. I look like a beast. Thank you, Jagex. Once again, I am lucky on the black mask grind. Look at that. 69 cave horrors have been defeated. Okay, so now we only have one problem. We have 260 points, and to unlock the Slayer helmets, we need 400 points. Okay, Slayer tasks have been completed. Uh, 12 points received. So now I have to start skipping tasks to get those quick points and unlock Slayer helmet. Let's go. Complete it. Complete it. Complete it. Complete it. Subscribe. Subscribe. All right, I want a good task from Neve, please. Steel dragons. Okay. I'm actually gonna do it, but before I do it, I need to imbue my black mask because I need those bonuses from ranging. And you gotta do it from Nightmare Zone. 1.2 million points. So as you can see right here, Nightmare Zone is unavailable on PvP worlds. Uh, so I will have to be forced to go to a non-PvP world to imbue my black mask. Uh, this is one of the exceptions I'm making here. And since I'm hopping to a non-PVP world, I will have to put my private off so people don't get mad at me. So if this is something you are mad about, leave your frustration in the comments down below. The black mask has now been imbued. This means we are now getting a 15% bonus to ranged and magic on Slayer tasks. Since I got the steel dragon task, I need to pick up some of these blue dragon scales uh, so I can make anti-fires. I got 65 herb lore. We need 69 herb lore to make anti-fires and I can boost up actually, so we're gonna do that. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah, we can go potentially finish the steel dragon task. Oh, 55 slayer, beautiful. And that should be the final kill. Yep, task completed. 60 points received. Uh, I got this hot close scroll, and this will be step one completed. 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 Uh, wait, we got a casket. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Three, two. He's standing in the way. Three, two, one. Oh my god, that's actually depressing. Please give us a good one from Neve. Black Dragons 19, that's easy game. Thank you. Task have been completed. We got 60 more points. We are seven points away from a Slayer helmet. Beautiful. Oh, we got a Jad task. Beautiful, that's 25k experience as well. I've collected my entire cash stack, 770k. I need to recharge this crystal bow. How much for a bow? 720k. 56 Slayer, beautiful. Can you die now? Thank you. And it's dead! 57 Slayer, beautiful new PB, nice, and we're out, and no one is outside. If we look at that, 400 points, we can now make our Slayer helmet! But just before we do that, we're gonna gamble this cape. So the gambling, it always starts with just one thing, a cape, and then it turns into my savings account, and in one week, I'm gonna be homeless. Here we go, let's gamble the cape for a pet. Not lucky, never lucky. There we go, rewards by Neve. Unlock the Malvern Masquerade. 400 points for 55 crafting. We can now make Slayer Helmets, so let's go. Okay, let's try this. Boom, we have the Slayer Helmet I imbued. If we look at the upgrades from the beer head to the Slayer Helmet plus three magic defense bonus to the Slayer Helmet. And it's much nicer fashion scape. The Slayer Helm era has finally begun. And subscribe! If you haven't already, 45% of you who are watching right now are not subscribed. So if you're one of them, please feel free to subscribe. And of course, the bounty have increased by 50 mil, plus 50 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 8 mil, plus 5 mil, plus 15 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 20 mil, plus 15 mil, plus 30 mil, plus 25 mil, 
plus 320 mil, putting the bounty at 9 billion 160 million. Surely he's not gonna get lured for a sight right now. There's no way this guy is gonna get lured for a sight right now. Just like no shot. He. No! What? No way. He just died for a sight. This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. <coughs> We're gonna start off this video by completing a quest or attempting to complete a quest. Sins of the Father to unlock a new area on RuneScape. But just before starting the quest, I decided to do a bunch of skilling activities just to throw potential hunters off because in this quest we have so many different cutscenes that are pretty scary so I don't want anyone to camp those areas. I also did a barrel chest, got nothing. I believe this is my slayer task so yeah, it's, yeah I'm getting an XP drop from this. Oh, that's bad. Hello, Mr. Dragon Impling. Mid quest. I always find these when I'm not looking for them, so there we go. The question is will I get the dragon bones? I got the dragon bones. Beautiful. Thank you. Finally, we got something we want. Look at me. I can finally enter Darkmere. The land of the Vire Watches. You see, these Vire Watches, if I kill them, they do drop the Blood Fury thing. Which is a very useful item for the Inferno if I ever reach that stage. It's time for the final boss fight of the quest. And I'm a bit scared because one of the original PvP hardcore men by the name of Don't AFK Idiot died here. So I gotta be very careful, especially doing this quest at such a low level. Man, this reminds me of Stranger Things. Oh my, yeah. This definitely reminds me of Stranger Things. The boss by the name of Vanstrom Klausi has gotten three different special attacks, which you have to avoid to not take any damage. The first special attack is the Stare into the Darkness special attack, where you have to look away from him to not take any damage. If you look at him, you will take around 30 damage. The second special attack is the Blood Splat. If you step on it, you will take around 30 damage. If you make Vanstrom Klausi step on it, he will take around 30 damage. Vanstrom's third special attack is the Acidic Blood Veil, the reason why that PvP hardcore Ironman died earlier. There's a guide that tells you to use darts or knives, which can make you run into the Blood Veil and take 50 damage. So I do recommend using a crossbow or a long range ranged weapon. Alright, phase one, done. I will not survive this, no. I gotta go. So close yet so far. I did not want to shug into my brew as well. Not worth it, not worth it. So close, 22 HP. Oh, should I have used brood? No, it's not worth the brew. Not worth the brew. I'm banking the brew and I'm banking the crystal shield in hopes that no one is gonna find me. I kinda have to, just to get that one extra food. Oh my god, we did it. Teleport out. If someone's waiting, I'm dead. If someone's waiting, I'm dead. I just need to teleport out. It's over. It's done! It's done! Get out of here! Yes! Oh my god! We actually did the quest. Oh, how many attempts was that? Like a billion attempts? And we finally, finally, finally completed it. Good for me. And we got some tome here. Tome of experience. I think I'm going with Herdlore. 15k Herdlore experience. Another 15k. Oh. Another 15, 66 Herblor. Oh my god. 45k Herblor experience. 66 Herblor. Can we do anything? Super defense potions. Very nice. So now I should be able to teleport to Dark Mayor. We can kill these. Very close to safe zone. Right here. And they will drop a Blood Fury. And when I need prayer, I just run here and pray. 
Oh uh, look, they drop blood runes. That's pretty amazing as well. Look at that. 82 hit points, we're now 92 combat. Getting a little Slayer experience in and that's 74 defense. You have been doing cooking. For some reason, I don't know why, this Blisterwood tree in Dark Mayor. The entire room is a safe zone. 63 wood cutting. 64 wood cutting. 65 wood cutting. 66 wood cutting. The best rune crafting experience in the game. And we get three rune crafting levels. 38. Thank you. Okay, another barrel chest. Um, can we get something? Nothing, 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 nothing. Boom, 58 Slayer. We can now kill cave horrors for the black mask. Okay, a clue scroll. Can we do this one? Step one, completed, completed, completed. Potential casket. We got a casket. Beautiful. Yes! Hard casket in three, two, one. Yeah, I'm fully depressed. This is so bad. <laughs> Come on. There we go. It's dead. Thank you. We completed the task. Okay, thank you. Can we get the bucket now? He has already dragon fruit seed. Okay, dragon fruit. That's a lot of experience. 89 thieving. Beautiful. I have saved up 450k. Took me a few hours to get this money. And we're gonna make um, oak planks for construction. And that is one level. 58 construction. 59 construction. 60 construction. Have you ever seen a tier 9 star all for yourself? Mr. Hanusulo is mining it for me. 70 strength. All right, so I got a hard glue scroll. I'm gonna need a blue dragon hide body for this one. Uh, so I need to boost my crafting up. Wait, I got the mushroom on the first try. I got the crafting boost on the first try. Okay, now I just need to make the pie. Okay, now we just need to not burn this mushroom pie. Thank you. Okay, this should be step one. Completed, 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 completed. Maybe a casket. We got the casket. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's this guy. That's actually horrible. Wait, he, this is guy who gave me a donation just now. Okay, that's the first kill on this account. <laughs> what is that? I should probably run. Nah, he actually TV me as well. <laughs> Yo, I can rag him. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> this is actually fun. There we go, 62 fletching. We need these. Orange spices. We need some boosts here for construction. I think this is the guy where you buy a gold leaf, right? Gold leaf. There we go. 130k, gone. We want to make this one. Mahogany Eagle Lectern. And we're gonna need a plus four construction boost. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Eee okay, look at this. We can now make, where is it? House teleports. Ah, oh, look at them. House teleports. So nice. Since I now have house tablets, I can save up two inventory slots when going to barrels. Uh, this is the method uh, Verve told me about, and I can now use Ivan staff. All right, let's find out. Are we lucky? Back here at barrels. Nope. Nothing again. One of the few PvP hardcores have died. No, that's so sad. We're gonna drop pizza because we're gonna pick up all the dragon fruit. 17k, 79 farming. Um, we can now boost up to plant something, but I'm just gonna pick up these really quickly. At 83 farming, we can plant a spirit tree. So I'm, I'm gonna try to boost up to make this spirit tree sapling with brown spew. And there we go, beautiful. You can plant these spirit tree patches at very odd locations and they work as a very good transport. So I put mine in Brimhaven. Just slowly working towards the bruise. Here's 67 herblore. 66 fire making. 68 wood getting. Nothing. 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 For nothing. Oh, there's someone there. Oh my god, he's there. 81 mining. And there we go. Bloodville task completed. So some days when you play a PvP hardcore I man, you just get a feeling to do something. And today I just feel like finally finishing this quest, Fremnet Trials. It's just it's a beginner quest, but it's got so many scary cutscenes that I've been afraid of. And today I just feel like doing it. Alright, so now when I die, I will spawn here with a huge delay. Right here. And if someone was waiting here, I could have died easily, but luckily no one was here. And there we go, Fremnik Trials have been completed. This has been a barrier for me for a very long time. I've just been so scared to complete this one. 
but it wasn't too hard. 69 crafting. We can now make blue DI shields. That's actually an upgrade. I didn't even realize. So I believe now that we have completed Fremnic Trials, I can actually do Lunar Diplomacy. Very useful quest. New spellbook unlocked if we manage to complete it. And we are now officially on the Lunar Island. Let's go inside. And that's me killing me. And I believe that's gonna be the quest completed. Lunar Diplomacy has been completed. Do we get any levels? 39 rune crafting, beautiful. And we have unlocked this spellbook right here. There's actually a few spells in here which are very useful. Where is that one? Spin Flax, useful. Super Glass Make, I think this one is very useful. And one more thing, we can make teleports in our house. New teleports. Alright, since I'm doing this quest line, I might as well continue with Fremnic Isle. Uh, XP, ooh, we can get some experience here. Hit points, I believe. Hit points, yeah. 20k experience to hit points, very nice. And that is a Helm of Nate's not down a lot. Um, plenty of XP as well. No levels though, no levels, but yeah. Another quest completed and a Helm of Nate's not down a lot. And I think that is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. We did a lot of quests which opens up a lot of content for the next episode. So if you did enjoy this one, make sure to leave the video a like. And I will see you guys hopefully in one week. Goodbye. And of course the bounty have increased by 15 mil, plus 13 mil, plus 15 mil, plus 123 mil, plus 2 billion 500 and 2 million putting the bounty at 11 billion 828 million yeah the, the this guy who donated last king d file he he wants me dead so yeah i feel like i'm dead next episode yep 11.8 billion bounty i had to say it twice i cannot believe that this is my hardcore iron man that cannot leave pvp worlds the account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape this series could end at any point and if you are the one to kill my hardcore iron man you will receive the bounty on screen <coughs> if there is anything i have learned from motivational videos then it's gotta be that your biggest competition is yourself Two years ago I had a PvP Hardcore Iron Man and I have always been wanting to beat it when it comes to weapons, armor and levels. And today, as I hit 1601 total level, I have beaten my old PvP Hardcore's total level. Look at them both next to each other, this is my new one and this is my old one. So now that I have beaten the total level of my old Hardcore Iron Man, it's time to beat it when it comes to gear, combat level and other stuff. Alright, we got a medium casket to start off the video. We get purple sweets. All right, first barrel chest of today. We get nothing. Nothing. For nothing. For nothing. Nothing. Right. And I get nothing. Nothing. So my collection log from barrels is quite good. I have gotten eight items in 98 chests. However, I haven't gotten any two good items. I got the Aram's top and the Aram's staff, which is good, but the rest are quite crap. In the last episode I did complete the quest Lunar Diplomacy. So to get to the island quickly I need to unlock it in my house. There we go, Lunar Isle. We got a Lunar Isle power though. Ever since I unlocked the Lunar Spellbook I can use spells such as Super Glass Make. It creates molten glass very quickly and it can be done safely in a safe zone. And you all know I like to stay safe and protected, that's why I use NordVPN. There's a new thing the PvP community have discovered. You can do soul wars in PvP worlds as a duo and then you can buy these spoils of war. And from these spoils of war there are some great rewards but what I am looking for is add the bolts. And I can buy, I think it's seven, yeah, I can buy seven right now. Look, can we get any add the bolts? Yeah, 300 add bolts, just like that. <laughs> Beautiful. Here we go, another seven chest. Can we get some runite or add the bolts? Oh, that's a lot of added bolts. Nice, thank you. So now that we have 787 add the bolts, we need to turn them into ruby and diamond bolts. Meaning we need 65 fletching. We're gonna do some temple tracking for bowstrings. And uh, to make it efficient, we're gonna make a solved graveyard teleport in our house. 
And there we go, 500 bowstrings, took me 10 minutes. Last inventory of willow loaves, and that's 500. And that is 63, we can now make our first bolt, ruby bolts. And there we go, our first ruby bolts E have been made. 64 fletching, 73 woodcutting, and finally 65 fletching. Uh, we can now make diamond tipped addy bolts. And look at that, we can now officially make diamond bolts. I'm probably gonna use this for some boss. I don't know what boss I'm gonna do with this, but this opens up a lot. And these are the bolts I'm gonna use at Inferno as well, together with the ruby bolts I just made. I just wanna quickly show you the loot from Soul Wars crates, uh, also known as Spoils of War. 2.1 million in worth of items. This is disgusting. I don't see how this is actually a thing in game as well. This is so overpowered for hardcore Iron Man. All right, another Vershes. 99 kill count for nothing. Who was that? Seed West, um, <laughs> for nothing. 100 kill count. Quite an achievement, 100 kill count on a PvP hard crimen. Uh, casually editing, and that is 87 range. Okay. How did he <laughs> know? I don't know if you remember this quest. Grim Tales, I killed a lot of rats in this basement. And I can now finally complete this quest. And there we go, Grim Tales has been completed. And we got this brand new Dwarven Helmet. I don't think it's ever gonna be useful. All right, I'm trying to be one of those efficient agility trainers with high alks. That's 59 agility. Mr. AFK. -er. About to be Mr. Dead AFK. -er. Haha, <laughs> it's a group Iron Man. Oh, glory. I think this is a level 80 farming maybe. Yep, there we go, 80 farming, we did not get the bucket, sadly. I think it was in the last episode I tried to make a spirit seed sapling, but it died. So now I have to remake it, and thank god I have a garden pie, so we can make it once again. Now, in two days we'll find out if it's dead, or if we successfully made a spirit tree. It is time to start the new quest line, and we're going to the desert by starting It Shadow's Little Helper. Oh, well, there we go. It's Shadow's Little Helper have been completed. Another quest have been completed. Contact. From this quest, we get a lot of experience and hit points. 7k times 2. 14,000 experience and hit points. Very nice. I think this is us completing the quest Spirits of the Elite. Yes. 8k prayer experience and access to Narda's shrine. If you didn't know, if you pray at the Lydna statuette after completing this quest, it restores your hit points, special attack, run energy, prayer potions, and cures poison. There is gonna be a use for this. Next quest on the list, Enakra's Lament. Enakra's Lament has been completed. We got a camelet. We can teleport to Enakra's Lament right here. So now that we have completed those two quests, we can finish the medium diaries for desert. All the medium tasks for desert area have been completed. Boom, uh, we have gotten ourselves a desert amulet that can teleport us somewhere. Right here, beautiful. Oh, n right next to the altar as well. And then we got the antique lamp as well. Straight to her floor. Beautiful, 7.5k. Well, yeah, of course, let's not forget our weekly tears of good things, some rune crafting. We need those levels. Thank you. From 39 to 41. Beautiful. This is going to be 74 strength and 93 combat. 108 can now attack us. Alright, we are getting a new Slayer task from Neve. Oh, Jad. Jad task. Beautiful. 59 Slayer. There we go. That should be the kill. Beautiful. Thank you. 60 Slayer. Beautiful. Let's just gamble escape real quickly. Yes. You're not lucky, never lucky. 60 Slayer, we can now kill the Aberrant Spectres right here. Very good for Herblor. 83 hit points. All right, let's end my misery. Give me tank legs. Sad. Thanks. Another Aram Staff, are you kidding me? I've got a three of these. It's so useless. I have three. I'm getting items, but I'm not getting good ones. Oh my god. This guy is getting high alt instantly. I don't care. 50k cash. Okay, another chest. Not another shit item. I'm getting so upset right now. I'm actually getting so upset. That's another dupe and another shit item. I have... 
Can I look at my collection log here somewhere? Three Derek Helms, the worst Helm of them all, and three Iron Staffs. So... And before I forget, we high out this straight away. 50k. It is time for another quest, uh, Mr. Troll Stronghold. This quest is a requirement for so many quests, like five different very useful quests, so... Um, let's go! Why is there a scout bot here? And there we go, Troll Stronghold have been completed. Very easy quest, oh my god. So if I want to complete Desert Treasure, I'm gonna need 12 magic logs. I'm currently 73 woodcutting, so I'm gonna need a boost of plus two to get some magic logs from here. And I got two chances with the brown spice. First one. Seventh four, we cannot shop. Good luck. No! And I'm back to my favorite basement. We are getting that magic log. Back at the magic tree, this is like our tenth attempt. Yes, we got oh my god, we got it. Come on, magic tree! Come on! It's about to end. Our boost is about to end. We got eleven magic logs. We need twelve. Dragon imprint outside. Come here, boy. Thank you, very nice. Uh, dragon bones, can we get that? Dragon daggers, okay. 100k high up. I kid you not, I went like 10 times to the basement for brown spices. I never got that boost besides that one time. So I felt like just leaving and kill some vampires. <gasps> oh my, g hello, the blood shard. I actually got the blood shard at the... Uh, 315 wire watch kills now we just need a fury all right i now have the blood shard and to make it in into a blood fury i need to make a fury a casual 90 uh, crafting requirement that's 21 levels we're gonna have so much fun so i have made the calculations here i need 2.5 million experience to get 85 crafting so i can boost up to make a fury and that divided by 75 means I need 33,900 flex to get 85 crafting. Let's just start picking 34,000 flex up. Gonna have plenty of fun here. I'm not gonna lie, I got sick of picking flex, so I'm at Barrows, and I get nothing. Five more brown spice chances. Like this is the last time, I, I, I'm not coming back. All right, this is my last brown spice. Oh, please Jagex, please, yes! Come on, give me one log. Yes, we did it, we did it. We can do, we can do this a treasure. There we go, first diamond, smoke diamond have been completed. Easy game. Uh, three diamonds to go. Oh my god. We got it so quick. Yes, okay, hey, bye. Thank you, took me five, five lock picks. <laughs> Thank you. To be fair, I am 90 thieving, so it should have been faster even. That was pretty slow to be honest. Oh, well, that was easy. Another diamond. There we go. Another diamond. All right. Is the scout bot still up here? Level 20 scout bot is still here. We got the diamond. We got the final diamond. Let's go. We got all the diamonds. Let's put them at the pyramid and complete the quest. PvP hard crime, man. Panic tap. <laughs> oh my god, we have completed the quest. And there we go, Desert Treasure has been completed. I did a voiceover here because I do apparently say have instead of has a lot. But Ancient Spellbook has been unlocked. And you know what that means? Many teleport freezes. Freezes are huge for this account. And with that being said, we're gonna do an experiment here. If you do like ice cream, leave this video a like. And we're gonna see how many of you, my viewers like ice cream. So I'll see you guys in one week. Goodbye. And of course, the bounty have increased by 13 mil, plus 68 mil, plus 3 mil, plus 30 mil, plus 5 mil, plus 100 mil, plus 400 mil, putting the bounty at 12 billion 447 million. Uh, this guy wants me to say Buster sucks as I accept this 400 mil, so thank you. This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. The account got one major goal, and that is obtaining an Infernal Cape. This series could end at any point, and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. 
I was casually editing for a few days and I got 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79 woodcutting. <gasps> My spirit tree is alive! First I get some experience, 19k and now I can at any time just travel anywhere I want with this spirit tree. Right here! What's this? Oh yeah, another scout bot. In my last episode, I did complete Desert Treasure and this means I can put one of my favorite teleports in my POH and that teleport is the Carol teleport which takes me to Canifis. What the fuck is that? That's uh, all the tasks for the Fremnik area completed. There we go, we get a pair of Fremnik Sea Boots. Where, where does this actually teleport me to? Oh, center of uh, Relica, very nice. And experience is going to Herblore. Since I unlocked the Lunar Spellbook, I can use the spell NPC Contact to get Slayer tasks. This is my new best friend. Okay, we got a grubby key from this Slayer task. Imagine if we get a brew from this drive-by Spider task. We did not get any brews. So that is 99 tasks in a row completed. Let's get that corner task for a bunch of Slayer points. Bronze Dragons in Brimhaven, very easy task, thank you. And this dragon kill is going to be the task completed, unfortunately we did not get any dragon plate legs. 100 tasks completed, 450 points given, I got 525 points and I think I'm gonna save up for a rune pouch. We're gonna need to skip a few more tasks but I think it's gonna be worth it. Since I completed Desert Treasure in the last episode, I can now buy myself an Ancient Staff. It's a nice staff for auto forecasting freezes. And I'm actually gonna jump over to the Ancient Spellbook as well. I was gonna burst the spiders for some more grubby keys, but there's so many red spider egg bots in the PvP world for some reason, and I, and it's just not worth the risk. Alright, first barrel chest with Ancients. I think I wasted a lot of runes doing this. And we get nothing. For nothing. For nothing. For nothing. Another bear chest. Uh, oh, no! You are kidding me, Jagex. You are fu- I'm, 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 I'm gonna show it again. Barrows. Four Darok's helm. It's the worst helm. Three arm staffs. No tank legs. No tank body. No good tank helm. What is going on here? Alright, pretty good experience, actually. Ooh, a clue scroll. We can actually do that clue scroll, so yeah, let's go and do the clue scroll. Alright, this is gonna be step one. Completed. 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 Step five of the clue scroll. We have to go to the wilderness and, you know, it's step five. It's a casket, so I need to, like, take the risk here. It's, I hope it's worth it. So, we're gonna put the, we're gonna put the cemetery teleport in my house, so we can teleport up there. So far, so good. I'm just gonna panic log if I see someone. And that is a good sign. Gate is closed. Good sign. Okay, this better be the casket. Yes, we got a casket. It might have been worth it. Three, two, one. Oh my, that's crap. Three grubby keys from that trip. Very good trip. We might actually get bruised from this. First two keys. Uh, no, not no bruise, no bruise. All right, one more grubby key. No bruise. All right, we got a quest that's almost completed. Uh, in search of knowledge. And there we go, in search of knowledge has been completed. We get an experience ramp for 10k and that 10k is going straight to Herblor. Another day, another chest for nothing. And that's 68 Herblor. Use toad flags on the coconut milk to make antidote plus unfinished. And then use your roots to make antidotes, four. I think this is gonna be useful for one specific location. I had to do something in real life, so I had to AFK woodcut for 80 woodcutting. Do you guys remember John? Well, he is back. Oh shit. Ah! Panic tap! So I did some soul wars for one hour. We got 300 points right now, uh, which should be enough for 10 crates. I need some Addy and maybe even Runeite bolts. So hopefully we can get some Rune and Addy bolts from these crates. All right, 500 Addy bolts. That's pretty good. All right, one more crate for good luck. Yeah, we got the runite balls on the final crate. Yes. I was just gonna leave and just not get the runite balls, but there we go. We got the runite balls. Beautiful. Time to high elk all the extra stuff I got from uh, from being on ancients the entire week. Yeah, nice little 200k, just like that. Our cash tag is going up actually. We got 500k in the bag. Not bad. 
Whoa. Hello. Twisted med. Interrupting my farm run. What's going on here? I believe this is gonna be a level in agility. 60 agility after 40 laps of Sir's rooftop. Oh yeah, we don't need agility potions anymore. I have always hated agility, but for some reason when you're high alking while training agility, it's actually fun. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. There it is, my 40th Marks of Grace. I can now buy a graceful cloak. We're gonna need these later, but not right now. Alright, another battle's chest. For nothing. For nothing. For nothing. For nothing. I do have a plan here. I feel like I need to come to the Chaos Druids and uh, get herbs for herb lore. I need to get that up so I can get Cerebrus eventually. So maybe once or twice a month I come down here to the basement. And that is uh, one herb sack. Inventory 2. Oh my god! I needed that rake to rake that patch. Why was he there? Okay, I mean he's everywhere. He's everywhere. Why? Why? I I really need to stop playing on weekends. Peekers are everywhere. They find me everywhere. I'm so predictable. Hey, a divine magic. We can now use teleport. All right, my best friend Neil gave us a good task. Oh my god, we get a jet task. 61 Slayer. And this kill is going to be another 25k experience and 62 Slayer. Do we get any pets? 62 Slayer. Anyone outside? No one outside. Beautiful, let's gamble this uh, cape. You're not lucky, sad. All right, we got 60 points. We completed a master combat task by having five kill count as well. And I believe this is another herb sack filled with herbs. I think that's enough. And that is 88 range, beautiful. All right, another task from Neve. Give us like Lizardman Shamans, for example. Oh my God, we got Lizardman. I called it as well. Thank you. All right, question for all of you. Did you guys know that this Lizardman spot existed? I'm gonna get a Warhammer on this kill. Thank you, nope. Man, I love this place. Look, this is my second trip and I got like a half an inventory with high alts. Yes, a dragon and blink, thank you. Uh, are we getting dragon bones? Elite clue scroll and dragon stones. Oh, uh, there we go. Task completed. And we get 60 points, beautiful. Unfortunately, no dragon Warhammer from this task. Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep doing this is Shaman's passively until I get one of those Dragon War Hammers. And there we go. Task completed. For some reason, every time I do Call Fight Task, it's always scary because of these scout bots right here. Every single world, all the time. Way, what you doing here, brother? Weekly rune crafting training for. 43, runecrafting, beautiful. 67, fire making. All right, uh, we completed nine tasks in a row. What is Neve gonna give us? Greater demons, it's not too bad. 63, Slayer. You know how I got added bolts from Soul Wars and I've been using these bolts for Slayer. However, the hunters, the people who are hunting me in the PvP Hardcore Iron community, they tweeted Ash to get Soul Wars disabled on PvP worlds. And they managed to successfully do that. So now we can no longer get add bolts from Soul Wars in PvP worlds, which means I will have to start using Mithril bolts once again. <laughs> well played, hunters. Well played. What? I, I accidentally didn't have my player indicators on, so when I turned it on, he was there. V05. And we are done with this lady task, 130 tasks completed, 60 more points. We just need one more 10 skipper to get a rune pouch. Beautiful. Yep, I had to do that. Oops. Alright, since I can't do Slayer right now, I'll do this clue scroll. Hard one. Step one. Completed, 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 and we got a casket, beautiful. And from this hard casket, we get ourselves... Is this, is this a new page? If that's a new page, I'm happy. Damage book, let's have a look here. 
I already have this page. That was a very bad clue scroll. Time to spend a gazillion dollars on making uh, this crystal bow full again. 540k. Thank you. Oh, he was still there waiting. Oh my god, he's still there. And he splashed. Surely he's left by now. And he's still there. <laughs> he splashed again. <laughs> Hell yeah, we got a task. Look at him. I outsmarted this man. Hello, look at him. <laughs> He's still there after I completed the task. <laughs> at this point, after a slayer task, I can always expect someone to be at Drainer Village waiting for me. Okay, I just went to Turo. No one said Turo. Alright, that is nine tasks completed in a row. Niv, give us a nice task. Lizard man, yes, we might even celebrate with a dragon warhammer. Um, I just got a dragon fruit seed. I don't know how rare this is, but surely it's more rare than a dragon warhammer. Oh, look at that, 140 tasks completed. We get 60 points. We now have 765 points for that rune pouch. Where is the rune pouch? Buy a rune pouch buy one thank you let's go we are done here and i save like one or two imagery slots when i do some slayer pvm and questing you name it all right are we gonna end the video on a good note never lucky nothing who was that okay that's enough barrels for today look who it is another pvp art crime and duo pvp art crime and doing barrels i hope i can trust this man Oh my- Whoa! Alright, we are back for another chest. We get nothing. For nothing. Uh, we still have some unlocks to do here uh, from Slayer. So we get Black Dragons. Should I kill King Black Dragon? Let's go to King Black Dragon and see what happens here. But I gotta be ready with the logout. Okay, no one's here. Good. And first KPD kill, we get... You logs. That's actually pretty good for birdhouse runs. Thank you. Six kills in one trip. That's not bad actually. That's pretty good. And that's the final kill. That's 180 points received and we now have 195 points. Hello ninja and playing. Thank you. Can I get the hard scroll? Nope. Rune chain body. Ooh, a jet task. Y'all do jet. 64 slayer. Beautiful. And there we go, 25k experience, let's get out of here. I may have teleported a bit too early. Alright, we didn't get any fire cape, but do we get a Barrow's item right now? Nope, 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 nope. Uh oh, someone's here. For nothing again. I wanna get an upgrade, and that upgrade is a magic cape. Not the imbued one, just a regular magic cape. But the scary part here is that it's so unpredictable, and I have no control over this situation. So if someone gets on me right here, right now, uh, this could end really badly. And we did it. It wasn't too bad, let's be honest. <coughs> we got an upgrade. Well, to be fair, I do like the fire cape more than the regular magic capes. However, this magic cape is gonna have a use in future episodes. And more about that in the future episodes. And before we end, have I mentioned that 46% of you who are watching right now are not subscribed? And if you are subscribed, tap yourself on the shoulder because you deserve it. Thank you guys for the support, thank you guys for the likes, and I'll hopefully see you guys in one week. Goodbye. And of course, the bounty has increased by 10 mil, plus 5 mil, plus 25 mil, plus 20 mil, plus 10 mil, putting the bounty at 12 billion, 517 million. This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. The account got one major goal, and that is obtaining an Infernal Cape. This series could end at any point and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. Ooh. And look at that, 91 thieving. I am starting to get more GP than I can spend on my PvP hardcore Iron Man. So I wanna complete a quest so I can start spending my money more. And that quest is Throne of Miscellanea. And there we go, Throne of Miscellanea has been completed. One quest point, and we can now start collecting stuff uh, with Advisor. 
We're gonna deposit 700k my entire cash stack. We're gonna start off by doing herb for most of it and then a little bit of wood. So I don't know how often I come back here to check uh, what I've received, but I guess it's gonna take a while. While I'm here, I might as well complete the, the next quest in the quest line. The quest is Royal Trouble. For the first time ever, I'm fighting Solra again. Here he is, look at him. And there we go, Royal Trouble has been completed. And we're gonna get 65 Slayer Dust Devils can now be killed. Ooh, Amethyst Brother Bolts as well. We got some increased bonuses for managing miscellaneous, so we can add even more resources to this. Very nice. Hard clue scroll. Can we do this one? Completed, 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 completed. That's the fastest clue scroll I've ever done. Are we even gonna get something good? Look, skill specs is dead. <laughs> skill specs is dead. We're gonna get lucky here on three, two, one. <gasps> Armadillo page one. That's the full book. That's, I believe that is the full book. Come on, please. That's the book of law completed. Look at me. Is this even better than the range shield? Uh, range 69? It's a lot better. Even, we even get prayer. Oh my god. It's just the defense that's bad, but that's such a nice one. Uh, does this guy actually think he can kill me? Mr. Comsalot gonna come kill me? I don't think you have much to fear from this man, Mr. Engineer. Mr. Engineer, give him one spec. Give him one spec. Give him one spec, Mr. Engineer. Just one. Surely you won't die, bro. What's a, what's a guy called Mr. <gasps> come on, comes a lot, get him, dude! 15 bill! You, you the shittest hardcore Iron Man hunter I've ever seen in my life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's AFK. You're dead. I kill a group Iron Man. Sit. There was a guy who asked me to get one more combat level so he could start hunting me. So I'm actually gonna get one more combat level. 75 defense, 84 hit points, 94 combat. Now that one hunter can actually start hunting me. So good luck to that guy. Now that I have 91 thieving, I can for the first time enter the final room of uh, Pyramid Plunder. I kinda want a Pharaoh Scepter for transportation. 66 fletching, 67 fletching. Ooh. Ooh, Abby Darts. Dwarf Cannon has been completed. However, uh, in PvP worlds, you can actually not use Dwarf Cannon in PvP worlds. So please, Jagex, just enable cannons in Slayer Caves, I beg. That would be so nice for Slayer. Um, okay. There we go, that's the kill. Any buckets? Mahogany seed. Ooh, I'm very happy with that. Okay, is today the day we get tank legs? Oh yes, we finally got. Oh, that's a nice item as well. I'm actually happy. I'm actually happy, yes. I'm even tired, I can't give you guys a good reaction. I'm actually tired. Look at that defense. Hell yeah, I look like a father figure. My tank setup is pretty decent right now, I'd say. Anti-TB gear into the tank gear. Oh, look at the defense, 270 range, 230 melee, very nice. Wee, shake it and I'm gonna call it there. We got an item. I'm happy. Let's not get greedy and die. There's actually a quest I wanna do. Edgar's Ruse. Okay, this is the scary part. Because there's always a scout plot on every single PvP world right there. Alright, look at my inventory. Look at the raw chickens, grains. I have accepted the fact that if I get hellblocked right now, I'm dead. Alright, we'll deliver all the items. Let's bank real quick, get the food, and then, okay, thank god. Edgar's ruse has been completed. We can now use the troll him teleport. We get 11k herbler experience, no level though. But man, I, 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 my heart was clapping a bit because of the, the scout bot that troll him, but besides that, I'm happy. Now that we have completed Edgar's ruse, I want to complete this quest right here Dream Mentor. There we go. Dream Mentor has been completed. Two more quest points. And we got a dreamy lamp. I'll probably just go with. Hit points, right? 15k extra hit points experience, very nice, thank you. After completing Dream Mentor, I can now cast this spell right here. The Plank Make. Look at my mahogany trees, I got three of them. That's 15k, 8 to 1 farming. Dragonfly trees, can we now make? Another 15k. Another 15k, okay that's so much experience. 4 to 5k in a matter of seconds. How much herbs and logs have we received? Let's have a look. Collect resources, that's a lot of herbs. 
250, okay. Not too bad, that's some experience, thank you. I'm trying to get some more grubby keys for some Cerebrus. We only have one left and occasionally I need to stack up on these. There we go, a grubby key. One grubby key for nothing, Snapdragons. All right, hard blue scrolls, step number one, completed, completed, completed. Step four, completed. All right, for step number five, um, we're gonna need to complete this quest, Troll Romance. Uh, I think we actually have to complete the quest to complete this clue scroll, so there we go. Oh, another step. And this should be the beautiful casket, thank you. If I manage to get God the high chaps or body, I don't have to grind carols, which would be amazing. Troll Romance has been completed. We get 6 to 1 agility. 30 minutes of clicking at Arden Knight for 92 thieving. All right, Bryphota, can I have some cosmic runes? That's all I want right now. Cosmic runes. Rune longsword, okay. That is 70 crafting. 73 cooking. 69 herblore. Nice. Another herspore killed. Do we get a pet or a bucket? Nope. Ooh, Cadentine seeds. I do like those. Uh, I did actually collect some uh, flax, and that's enough flax. I don't need any more. Second phase? Why? What? What? Did I die? Oh, look at me. I'm dead. Oh my, he was waiting. What? No one has ever waited there. I have been on the ancient spellbook all week, so I've got so much things saved up for High Ox. How much are we making here? Alright, that's 300k from High Ox. And the majority of all that money went into a new portal chamber and a Caterby teleport in my house. Hell on, Slate has completed for 12 more points. Beautiful. And we get Iron Dragons. Ooh. Alright, so in a few days I will be traveling to Greece for one week. So I need to dump my entire cash stack into this place. We now have 600k right here. Oh, I'm gonna be so rich on herbs when I come back. <laughs> I'm gonna be so happy. And there we go. 68 fletching. All right, eat a dragon fruit. Make a shield. Look at that, you shield. And there we go. We have made ourselves a blue DI shield. An additional plus three magic defense. And a nice little fashion scape. It matches my cape. And look at this place. It's beautiful. It has turned into a safe zone because apparently there's a plenty of lurers uh, who used this bank before, but now it's gone to prevent people getting lured. It is time to start the smithing grind. We got a four man team right here. 63 smithing. 64 smithing. I may or may not have forgotten to get myself goldsmith gauntlets for smithing, so. Yeah, here we go. Goldsmith countless. 65 smithing, 1650 total. <laughs> he doesn't know it's a safe zone. 66 smithing, look at him running right there. Sea engineer. Alright, so there's actually a quest I want to complete. A legends quest. I'm actually scared of this one, but we got no choice. We gotta do this one. Look at my inventory. I got four pizzas, a cerebro. Like, if someone TBs me, I'm dead. I think this is, this is gonna give me 30k herblore experience, very beautiful. And there we go, Legends quest has been completed. A very scary quest, but it was worth the time. And the best part about completing Legends quest is that I can turn Dragonstone necklace into a skills necklace. Okay, we got half a mushroom pie, let's make ourselves a combat bracelet. And dragon necklace, beautiful. Recharge dragonstone jewelry, skills necklace, glories, combat bracelet, everything! So many teleports, I'm so happy. We got 900 gold bars from uh, Blast Furnace, and we got so many gems from uh, mining. So this is gonna make us a lot of money here. 71 uh, crafting. Alright, let's find out how much money we will make from these. And this is gonna be the last ruby amulet high alt. We now have 840k, I'm a rich man. 86 magic. And another spore kill. Do we get the pet? Kronos palm tree. Alright, I'm happy with palm tree. Very nice. This splat changes color whenever you max it, so it's a really nice update from Jagex. Well done. And we got a clue scroll. Can we do it? I'll do it later. And there we go. Task has been completed. Let's get out of here. 12 more points. We got a range level somewhere. And I completely missed it. Range level is now 8 to 9. Alright, let's finish this video off with this hard clue scroll. Can we do this one? Step 1. Completed. 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 Who's this guy? He can attack me. Don't attack me. Thank you, we got a casket. 
Promise. Who was that? I shouldn't have trusted that man because there was another guy. Anyway, we got a casket. Three, two, one, and this is where we end the video. Why do I keep getting armadillo pages? This is insane. I got the full book already. And before we end, I need to bring up the statistics that 46% of you are not subscribed. So if you're one of them, please give this uh, video a subscription. And I'll see you guys in one week. Goodbye. And of course, the bounty has increased by 20 mil, plus 10 mil, plus 100 mil, plus 150 mil. The same gay come back and donate it again. Plus 1,867,000,000. Oh my god, this guy wanted to stay anonymous. So I've blurred his name. And this is putting the bounty at 40 16 billion 664 million. This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. The account has one major goal, and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point, and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. Come on, come so on, get him, dude! 15 bill! You're the shittest hardcore Iron Man Hunter I've ever seen in my life, bro. Oh my life. Oh shit, I wasn't ready for that. Surprisingly, I do almost have the requirements for Dragon Slayer 2. We only need a tale of two cats and 70 smithing, so let's complete this quest. A tale of two cats. And there we go. A tale of two cats has been completed. And we do get some experience here. Antique lamps. Straight to her blur. It's been like two weeks since I last shaked the kingdom. Look at all the her- why do I have so many logs? Look at the herbs! Beautiful! The last requirement for Dragon Slayer 70 smithing 67 smithing 68 smithing Another Hesporic kill Can we potentially get the bucket this time? No bucket uh, 69 fletching 70 fletching 69 smithing And here it is, the huge level coming in 70 smithing, we can now make addy bars, and we have all the requirements for Dragon Slayer 2. I kinda wanna slow complete this quest. I don't wanna do this in a full sitting, just slowly complete parts of it. Here comes the level 82 farming. We can now boost up to enter the high level part of the farming guild. And we get an extra fruit tree patch right there. And Celestrus, but I don't think I have a seed for that. I wanted to do a quest and I chose a kingdom divided. Why are you here? I'm gonna make an assumption that that guy that found me is just a random. What the fuck? I swear it was not him. <laughs> it was not Pimpack that found me over there. Okay, we got the Dark Essence blocks. Beautiful. Thank you. What are you doing there? Okay, pin packed. And there we go. A kingdom divided has been completed. XP lamp, herb lore, 10k. We now have 70 herb lore. Very nice. And we got a book of the dead. It is time for me to start my Zolar grind on the hardcore Iron Man. Do you remember this moment right here? The moment where I died on my original PvP hardcore Iron Man? Well, it's time to go back. I won't get the kill. I gotta go. Oh my god, I suck. Alright, they changed spellbook to agents. Don't ask me why, but I did it. I think it's easier. Wait, what is this? I, I almost failed. What the fuck just happened? Oh no, I'm out. I'm out. Almost died again. Yeah. I'm not too good at Zulra, I must say. Okay, die, you little snake. It's almost done. Yes, it's dead. We did it. Solar scales, dragon ball tips, snake skin. Like the worst drop you could get from Zolra. But you know what? One kill count, new personal best. We have almost gotten our revenge. This time around, we're gonna get ourselves a unique item. Thank you. 
Another kill, two kill counts. Zora teleport, yay! Manta ray, okay, manta ray is very nice. Battle staff, chaos runes. All right, time to make some more recoils, and uh, the best way to do so without changing spellbook is by making these. I waste one soft clay per per enchant sapphire tab, but that's fine. Who the hell is this? Medium iron. I knew you were doing Zora. He's an iron man. I mean, he's not gonna expect me to go back now, is he? No food left as well. Toad flax. Magic seed! Yay! 8 kill count for nothing. And that is 75 strength. I had to come here and get myself some more GP for Zora because it's very expensive doing Zora with freezes. Kill count number 10. Rune arrows. Flax. Ew. I just discovered that I have the requirements necessary for the hard part of Corrin and Kebo's diary and if I complete this one, I get such a good reward. So we're gonna do this one. For this diary, we need to mine a Lovakite ore, we have to smelt an Adi bar, kill a zombie, and then we have to plant a Logavona seed at Tate Farm, then I have to return a stolen artifact, monster examine, a troll. And lastly, I have to kill a worm. And since it's much later task, I might as well stay. Boom! We got ourselves a blessing and a lamp. The lamp straight to her lore. Beautiful 15k experience. Then we got a Rados blessing number three that teleports me straight to Mount Karum. Boom! Straight next to the Slayer Master, beautiful. And I want to unlock bigger and better for superior Slayer Monsters. Very good experience. And it's been unlocked. And one final thing which I have unlocked, which I don't really need now, but I will eventually need it. Ash Sanctifier. What this does is that it automatically buries demonic ashes. So that's like free prayer experience without having to pick it up. Warm Slayer task has been completed for 12 points. Ash Sanctifier, there it is. 71 Fletching, 72 Crafting, 66 Slayer. Ooh, a Rune Kite Shield. Task completed, 12 more points. And 82 Woodcutting while editing, 93 Thieving. All right, plenty of money in High Ox. And then we can go back to Zora. We got 1,200 Blood Runes. That's enough for a few Zora kills. The streamer Nish is currently looking for me on stream, so I'm gonna troll him and make him think that he had a chance to get me. So, um, oh, there's, oh, I wasn't ready. I was talking to Twitch, oh my god, I should've paid attention. I should've paid attention, that was the engineer right there, man. First kill back in a while. Zora teleport, very nice. More Zora teleports, thank you very much. Battle staffs, thank you. Zora teleports, nothing. Death runes. Seventh floor cooking, nothing, nothing. More Zora teleports, 20 kill count, nothing. And we got a casket, give us god the eyed body, chaps, or boots. Ooh. No, I got baited. I got baited. I thought it was two god the eyed pieces. It's what's one, and it was the braces. The braces are totally useless. Hard casket. Sarah plate body. Oh, high up. I'm gonna high off that. I need plenty more pineapple pizzas for Zora, so I come to my kitchen in my POH and pick some flour. And look at that, 92 pineapple pizzas later. Just testing my luck with one barrel chest. Just one. And we get nothing for nothing. And I decided to complete another slave task for 12 more points. Whoa! I was slow. I must have saw- Wait, he splashed! He even splashed with full ancestral arcane! Oh my god, I was not expecting that. The Scarab Slayer task has been completed. What? Why someone- What are you doing there? And that's another anchor task completed. Uh, chaos runes and new logs. Manta rays, EA. Time to do the best slayer task in the world. Steel dragons. I'm just kidding. But we have a chance of getting a visage. Oi! We actually got it! We got dragon plate skirt. I've been wanting to get a pair of tank legs forever. And since I didn't get one from Barrows, I figured I might get one from Steel Dragons and... Dragon Plate Skirt completed! A task completed. I'm gonna start doing something for the people hunting me, which they might actually like. I'm gonna start running around in full tank gear with a very low magic defense bonus, so in case someone tell blocks me, there's a high chance it doesn't splash. 
but I will only do it whenever it makes sense, you know? If I'm gonna range a boss or something, I'm not gonna bring tank gear just to do it. So Pimpack Ralph who splashed on me with full ancestral is probably gonna be happy with this. Oh, hello. Twisted Med is here. So Raids 3 Thumbs of a Mascot is coming out in two days. I wanna play it on release on my main account, so I'm buying splash runes so I don't XP waste while doing Raid 3. Whoa! Man, he's still here. Oh my god. We got a blood shard. I can decide between getting myself a bond on the account or high off this for 120k. And I'm in desperate need for money right now, so we're gonna high arc the blood shard. Please chat, don't hate me. It's gone! This guy has been following me through every single world and he's super annoying. So I am going to DH bomb him. No! <laughs> he killed me! <laughs> 85 hit points, almost 95 combat as well. Raids 3 is today being released, so I'm gonna be splashing, and I'm probably gonna get 87 magic as well. Uh, I got heavily addicted to Raids 3, so now I actually reached 89 magic. I got 3 levels just by splashing. Jesus, I was addicted for like 10 days, just non stop, 20 hours per day. Raids 3, oh my god, I'm such a nerd. Managing miscellanea, collect resources. Plenty of herbs. I want to be able to kill vampires, so we're gonna unlock that. Who the hell is this? Does this guy have an AGS pick? Wait. That's so awkward. I had 13 more to kill. And that's gonna be the final elf archer. Killed. The more points. 160 tasks in a row completed. And there we go. Another steel dragon task completed. We got a solid 70k. It doesn't sound like much, but it's a lot on this account. He followed me! No, but he actually- Oh my god, he's trolling. Alright, the factory shall begin. We are out of mitral bolts, so we need to start smithing again. And the grind is over. 4,500 mitral bolts. 1,000 bolts, 72 fletching. That's gonna be 76 strength, 95 combat, and we have plenty of cash now. Let's go back to Zora. 25 kill count, 8 teleport. Dragon bones, okay. I'll take dragon bones. I'm getting so low on supplies. Calcut seeds, very nice. I'm gonna walk in. 1000 chaos runes, nothing. Another Hespora kill, do we get lucky here? Papaya tree seed, I'll take the papaya tree seed. 83 farming, beautiful. 35 kill count, solar teleports. So I made 500 emerald necklaces and I'm gonna sell it to the store and there's a guy here who potentially has an account for me. So here we go, we gotta make some money. Wait, he had an account and I don't have a teleport. All right, we made 455k. Uh, I have a gap, okay, nice, I have a gap. He had no chance of killing me. <laughs> he's got no run energy. Man, he's free to play PKers. What's going on? And that's our entire cash egg gone for 900 blood runes and 500 difference. This is not the efficient way to doing Zolra. Uh, kill count number 40. Big kill for battle staffs. Right, I'm slightly drunk. Uh, I shouldn't have done Zolra when I'm drunk. But we got some manta rays, so it was worth it. Alright, I'm going to bed. Okay, hear me out. I've done a lot of Zora now. I know I almost died when I tried the Ivan Staff at Zora. But we're gonna try it again, because I've gotten a lot better now. So, maybe I can save a lot of GP by just doing Ivan's Blast now. Okay, I did it! With the Ivan Staff! Let's go! We got teleports! Nice! That's our first Dragon Halberd, and an Elite Clue Scroll to go with that. Thank you. Wow, someone was actually waiting there. I have officially surpassed 10,000 Zolar scales uh, in my bank. It's gonna be very nice when I get a blowpipe or the Serpentite helmet. Just shuck them all in. Oh. 
Oh my god, I almost got deboed. It was a debo spec into a dragon throwing axe. Max hit is 4848, also known as 96, and I have 85 HP, so. All right, fellas, this is gonna be the last kill, 50 kill count, and we are officially on the Zolra high score. We did not get lucky. We did not get lucky at Zolra, but we did get 50 kill count. And this is all the loot here. So if you all want to comment that I died to Zolra once again in the comments, feel free to do so. And you may be wondering how did it actually go with the Dragon Slayer 2? Did I complete it? Did I not? Well, you will have to wait and see in the next episode. See you guys in one week. Goodbye. And of course the bounty has increased with 50 mil plus 20 mil plus 25 mil plus 5 mil plus 15 mil plus 805 million. Putting the bounty at 15 billion 584 million. This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. The account has one major goal, and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point, and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. Oh no, I'm out, I'm out. Almost died again. Yeah. The goal in today's episode is very simple. Dragon Slayer 2. And th this room in Dragon Slayer is so... What's this? Alright, I guess we got a fight. The quest helper plugin is making this part so easy. Oh my god. That was so easy with the quest helper plugin. Thank you very much whoever created that. The thing I don't like about this quest, you always lose so much supplies in the inventory slots. So now we're gonna build a rowboat right here. Takes half of our food. Gone. Dude, this guy is so strong. I think I underestimated this fight. I think I need to bank. Oh my god, it even says right in this wiki page. Do not underestimate this fight. And that's exactly what I just did. We completed the puzzle and we got our first dragon piece from Dragon Slayer 2. Oh, we got a second piece. Dragon key piece number two. Give me the pizza piece. There we go. Thank you very much. Dragon piece number three. <clears throat> now we only have one piece left to get and that is killing Vorkat. And I'm a bit scared. To make killing Vorkat as easy as possible, I will need to imbue this solve amulet for a 20% boost. And there we go. I believe that's the fight completed. Give me the Tarn's Diary. Lair of Tarn Razzlor has been completed. <clears throat> so I believe if I use this Tarn's Diary on this, we're gonna enchant it to solve Amulet E. We're gonna need a total of 320 Soul Wars tokens to imbue our solve Amulet. And since Soul Wars doesn't work anymore on PvP worlds, we'll have to go to a non-PvP world and turn private off so no one gets angry at me. So um, if you wanna cancel me for this, that is totally acceptable. We now have 330 points. We can now trade Nomad and imbue our Solve Amulet. Confirm. Beautiful. Solve Amulet EI completed. That thing can one hit me. Very scary. And there we go. The Vorkat boss fight has been completed. We did it. So I assume we're gonna use this dragon key on this big door. Little fun fact, the Rune Dragons was packed with bots a few years ago. So a lot of players came to PvP worlds to kill Rune Dragons. So we got a lot of PKs over here. Why do I keep falling? I saw a Jimmy video where he took off his boots and he stopped falling. So we're gonna do that. Okay. Alright Jimmy, thank you. Oh, fuck it. Okay, I believe I've reached the big ship. This is our first checkpoint. Let's kill all the dragons and we can go bang. Okay, I'm actually scared of this. I, I did a practice run on my main and I died from that fireball. <laughs> so we're doing this with precaution. New cutscene. Nice. All right, just Galvik left. I'm actually going to teleport and then we go for Galvik. A quick boost up with the botanical pie and then we make range potions. We got three now. Rubies. I need you to do well here. We are either getting this kill or I'm dying. Yeah, I got my food. I gotta teleport. 146 HP! And uh, yeah, I, uh, it's, I don't mind. I'll do it on a high risk, high ping world. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. Thank you! Finally a ruby hit. Took first. Nice, Ruby. There is hope. Just good RNG, nice.
No way. Fuck. Fall! Why didn't I move? I didn't move. I didn't move. How did... Oh, I'm so def... I am so depressed. I didn't move. Had I not hopped from high risk world, I probably would have tabbed. Because of the 100 ping. Oh my... I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I died to PVM once again. So I'm looking back at the clip of this stone freeze attack and it feels like I clicked away in time but it probably didn't register because I was playing on a higher pinged world, 120 ping currently. What do you guys think? If I was on a lower ping world would I have moved in time, yes or no? Uh, I also looked back at the teleport, I did not teleport in time, I was dead no matter the ping. And people are gonna ask me why I didn't practice Galvik before going in. I did practice multiple times on my main account. However, I never got caught by the stone freeze attack on the main, so I didn't know what to do when I got caught on the hardcore. I didn't know it froze me for that long. Hello, it is C Engineer from the future, and I'm not ready to give up this account just yet. I have a 15 build bounty I wanna give away to one PK, one winner. So I either continue this series until someone has PK'd me, or I get an infernal cape. We gotta start off by re reclaiming everything. I'm, I don't know how long I will be upset, but I will probably be upset for a while. Okay, one of the hunters says there is a dragon impling at Draenor Telspot, and I'm gonna blindly trust him to not kill me. Oh, he's there. He's right there. He could actually TB me. Oh, he's humble. All right, can we get some dragon bones? We get lucky for once. <laughs> Someone found me. He's got no stats. He's got no stats. <laughs> is it okay if I watch this? It says. The thing is, I want to respond, but I can't because then I'm going to leak that I am an Iron Man. I'm dead. Uh, so I'm just going to get the 90 range and then teleport out. We got 90 range. Beautiful. Yeah, we still have a 15 build bounty, so I'm not gonna give people free chances, but I'm gonna stick around for a bit in like, in some occasions. I am ready for Galvik once again. It's looking like this. We switched up the diamond bolts to dragonstone bolts. Hopefully it's a bit stronger. Double spec, nice. That's a lot of rubies so far. Why did I have not have this good RNG in my last attempt? I dodged it this time. Why am I so good at dodging it now? Dead? 3 HP? Oh my god, we did it. The attempt after we died. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, Galvec, sit the fuck down. Sorgot, sit down. Die, 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 die. die. Okay, I'm supposed to spawn outside of Bertho. With a huge delay, yeah. So if like this is a good spot for someone to camp actually. If someone camps here after the Galvic fight, you know, uh, I'd most likely die because I have no supplies. You know what? I may not be a hard crime and but I'm actually really happy to complete this quest. Uh, I mean really really happy. Thank you. Dragon Slayer 2 has been completed. That means we can now enter this area. Yes. Okay, I can't I can actually buy a cape somewhere. There we go. Mythical cape has been completed. Cost me 10 kgp. Look at that. Beautiful cape. Teleports me to the mythical guild. Very, very nice. All right, Vorkat, I am back. I mean, look at the supplies. That's 120k in high Oaks. I didn't know this, it was this fun doing endgame PBM. Yeah, I'm saying that until I, you know, I go dry on something. So for now, we're happy. Oh, I'm TB'd. Oh no. I actually got a gap. I actually got a gap. Wait, did I get a gap? <laughs> See you later. The question is, is it still out there now? I offices. Oh no, I typed. He knows I'm an Iron Man now. Wait, I'm still TV. Oh my god, right. Okay. 
He can't kill me though. Well, maybe he can. Alright, we're gonna kill Vorket anyway. Oh my, we got it. We got the Vorket's head. 13 KC. Thank you. We are very lucky here at Vorket. Thank you very much. We can now upgrade our Avas accumulator to something new. Very nice. Alright, here we go. Ava. Ava's assembler. Very nice upgrade. Look at it. Look at the blue backpack. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, we get plus two range strength. That's actually really good. Upgrade completed. We're back to Zora. We're gonna smash out this boss real quickly. I just want to get that blowpipe. Maybe even serpentine visage. Wow. Why, wait, why, why, why did I even teleport? I can easily tank it right here. You know, after this episode, you know what I'm doing? I'm turning player indicator off. Another dragon halberd, 150k high elk, and some manta rays. Dragon medom, okay. <laughs> and twisted metas here. I really need my potatoes. Oh shit. Oh no, he's back. I'm gonna tease that noob. Tease that noob. <laughs> Alright. I, I took him on the long route. Wait. Wait. He doesn't have a volley, does he? Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're done. He got his tank test. I teased the noob a little. I actually misclicked the bank. Oh my god. He was waiting there. And he splashed! Uh, he's probably not still there, right? So, we're going in. <laughs> he splashed again! 70 kill count, no items to show for. 820k, my entire cash deck goes into the kingdom. We want raw fish as well. I don't care. I'm going for the Zora. I don't care if I'm TB'd or not. He splashed twice. Unlucky, mate. Oh. What's that? 75 kill kill. I thought I got something. I actually thought I got something. I didn't get anything. I've decided to unlock Water Bird Island Teleport. This is for Vorkath. I want to kill some more, actually, even though I have the backpack. <laughs> How did I die to work yet? How did I die to PVM twice in a video? <laughs> oh no, this is bad. Thank god we keep playing until I PvP death though. Lost 100k because of that. Oh my god. He splashed again. What? I got 255 runite bolts. I didn't think it was this good doing hollowed and we got a casket first elite casket good luck three two one yeah. like one kill that's all i get and then someone's waiting there can you stop give us the fang and we're gone here oh dragon bones and that's 90 kill count that's all rough still got a nothing there is the dragon oh a magpie as well all right we want dragon bones three two one dragon stone amulets huh 90 magic all right kill count 99 we got an item <laughs> but we got the worst one uncut on x same drop rate as the tanzanite fang ah uh. All right, this might turn into a, a fury one day, but we're gonna need 90 crafting to make a fury amulet. Probably the worst item I could have got out of the four different uniques, but I'll take it. All right, this will be kill count 100 and the final solar kill and the back to back. Uh, we get that dragon zone, but 100 kill count, quite a nice achievement without dying on the hardcore iron, on the iron man. There is a huge level 80 cooking. We can now make sharks without boosts. We got plenty of sharks in my bank. Hard casket, 3, 2, 1. Nothing. Mm 
Oh wait, they waited all the way there. I'm getting a lot of dragon medals. Poor Cat is the best guy ever. He drops food. I got 120 man rays from 3 kills. Alright, we got a medium cash cat. Nothing. We got another hard cash cat, 3 to 1. Narda teleports. I'm actually gonna use them. Thank you. <laughs> Double magic seed. Alright, that's cool. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. I killed him. There's a berserker on the ground. Easy PK. Easy game. Yeah, I could have died. <laughs> Yeah. Finally, we got some Zolar teleports. It's been a long time since I've seen those. Ooh, I could have. I could have potentially died there. I'm not sure. Hey, he got another chance on me. He just specked me. Will that hit? Oh, that. Oh, it got nailed. Nice. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Is the Venom gonna kill me? I got nothing though. I got... The Venom killed me. Are you trolling? It's good that I am just an Iron Man. I can die to PvM and the series goes on. As long as I don't die to PvP, it's fine. It's totally fine. I really want to get just one more unique item, but it's really hard with all the PKs camping Zolra. There we go, 84 farming, and we got a Hespora seed. <laughs> he had full ancestral everything! This guy says, Dragon Imp south of Alcarid Mine World 560, if you want. I'm gonna blindly trust him. Oh, there is a dragon airplane. He spoke the truth. Dragon bones. Yes, it was worth it. We got dragon bones used, and that's six to one prayer. Six to two prayer. I got seven thousand swamp tars from Zora, and it's giving me so much herblor experience. So now I'm seventy-two herblor, and I can boost up to stamina potions. That is pretty cool. All right, hundred and fifty kill count at Zora. I'm getting tired of this place, and we get a dragon medal. And that's another Hespori kill. Any buckets? No buckets today. Alright, it is time for me to sell my Graceful and finally buy some Amulet packs for stamina potions. We are making our staminas for the first time ever. How many are we getting yet? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And there is one quest I want to do right now, which I've been postponing for so, so long. Monkey Madness 1. I think it's really funny that I completed Monkey Madness 1 after Dragon Slayer 2. Not many people do that. And there we go. Monkey Madness has been completed. And after completing Monkey Madness, we can now buy a Dragon Scimitar. Huge, but I'm now fully broke. 5k left on my account. And now that we have completed Monkey Madness, we can finally finish off Recipe for Disaster for the Barrow's Gloves. Alright, don't accidentally eat this and use it on the monkey. 10k agility and 10k cooking experience, beautiful. I believe this is the kill, yep. That's the recipe for disaster completed. Cakes, we got a lamp and there's someone there. But this means we have now unlocked Barrow's Gloves. However, I'm too poor, I can't even buy one. I sold some stuff to the store and now I can buy myself a beautiful pair of Barrow's Gloves. Look at that, a nice little upgrade, very, very nice. And I think that is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. Uh, we are still gonna grind Zora. Like, that's the main point. I want a blowpipe for Infernal. And then I'm almost done. Then I feel like I'm almost done. Despite me dying and losing my hardcore Ironman status, I still have 15 bill GP to give away to a PK, so I'll be taking a lot more risks now. And the biggest change moving forward, player indicator will now permanently be turned off. So that means my reaction time will be much, much slower. And I hope you guys still want to watch me. And to all the PKers out there, now is your last chance to PK me and win yourself 15.584 billion GP. Good luck, gamers. 
This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. After recently dying to Galvik, I have decided to continue playing the account until I either complete my goal of obtaining an infernal cape or die to a player. My private is on at all times and player indicator has been permanently turned off. And if you are the one to kill my Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. There will be two major display differences moving forward. Firstly, in the top left corner you will be able to see my KD ratio in PvP, so when I eventually die to PvP, it will showcase one death. And secondly, we're going to play with the fake hardcore Iron Man icon until I die to PvP. I believe it's gonna give you a better viewing experience. And now that I play without player indicators, I can barely see the scouts here at farming skill, but there's always scouts here. I have been trying to get a strange lockpick from the hollowed sepulcher, uh, but I haven't gotten one yet. But we got hundreds of hollowed marks, and with that, we're gonna buy a hollowed grapple. And that's 64 agility. Look at this, 1700 total. Blood Vault Slayer task completed. 180 Dagonauts as my next task. Maybe I should just go and do Dagonaut Kings. So I don't like this cave because if someone finds me in TB Smear, I'm pretty much dead. Ring of Life as the first skill. For those of you who don't know, that's the same drop rate as the Berserker Ring. No way. I got the Dragon Axe. <laughs> oh my god, I got a Dragon Axe from Dagonauts. Nice. <gasps> oh my god, we actually got something. We got a Seer Ring. We got a Seer Ring and an Axe in 25 kill count total. Oh my god. I killed this one and then we're done here. Man, I'm actually lucky here. I didn't expect it. Alright, we're putting private off so we can imbue this ring in a non-PVP world. You can't do it in a PVP world anymore, so. And there we go. 51 minutes later, we got 260 points and we are now imbuing our Sears ring. This simple ring gives us plus 12 magic attack and defense. Very, very nice. I just have to use my dragon axe, right? Whee! 50 Manta Rays, thank you for it. I mean, I'll take the Dragon Plates card, 150k High Elk, thank you very much. Oh, this is what I want. The Dragon Bolt's unfinished. If I ever get to the stage of the Infernal Cape, I'm gonna need these. This is gonna give me so much increased DPS. After dying to Galvec in the last episode, I also died to Vorkat. And as a punishment for dying to PVM, I'm gonna increase the bounty to 16 billion, paying from my own pocket. And every time I die to PVM moving forward, I will increase the bounty even more. Alright, let's open this casket in 3, 2, 1. Oh my god, is that the lawnmower 4.0 from Manscaped? And that is 7-7 seven, seven strength, 96 combat. And that's the greater demon task completed. I'm not going to get a new slayer task from Neve. He actually splashed. He splashed the TV. <laughs> I never thought I would get a prayer level from Hollowed Skeptic Cutter, but here we are. 63 prayer. And there we go. 65 agility, very nice. 74 fletching. Pure bolter. Who's that? He bullied me! <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ, I, I, I need to stop teasing them. And that is weekly tears of goodies for 45 room crafting. <laughs> oh another dragon plate skirt. We are once again rich on money. Alright, we're gonna buy another hollowed sepulchre reward, hollowed symbol. This vampire dust is so annoying to get, so this is gonna halve the amount of dust we need every run. Okay, I wanna try to do this quest, uh, the Great Brain Robbery. And there we go, the Great Brain Robbery has been completed. One thing I really like by completing this quest is this one extra herb patch I get. Uh, you need to complete more than elite areas to use this farm patch. I take that back, I, I regret completing this quest. And we got another hard casket. What's this? <gasps> oh my god, we got we actually got lucky. <laughs> we actually got lucky on this one. Dragon Spear has been completed. Drop rate to get this Dragon Spear is 1 in 325. We got that in 48. The special attack to the spear is very useful to escape PKers if they happen to TB me. Man, ever since I died, I've been super lucky on RNG, on drops, on everything. Uh, we rarely get these levels, but there we go, 91 range. Dunder Druid is my to go to when I need Wine of Zamorax for range potions. And there we go, we got range potions for another week. Elf task completed. Alright, I started skipping Slayer task and there we go, 68 Slayer, we're doing some shinning here at the Skeletons. Bronze Dragon task, completed. 
Another Slayer task completed. That's another Slayer task completed. I started doing Conor Slayer for this, Brimstone Key. The Brimstone Key has a 20% chance of dropping food resources, which has been my biggest struggle for when I do bosses like Vorkat and Zolra. 144k cash, okay. Dude, I'm rich. There we go, another task completed. A few minutes ago I was super rich, but now all my money is back to the kingdom. Look at all the maple logs, fletching experience, and seeds, very nice. I decided to do some agility, and that is 6 to 6 agility. Oh my god. Oh, someone was actually waiting there. No shot, no shot. How do you, why do you wait there? Out of all places! Oh, I'm so tired! Uh, yeah, I think that is enough um, agility for now. 37k left for 67. We got a dragon and plink coming in. Nice. Ooh, summer pies. That's actually really good. How many brimstone keys are we gonna get from these blue dragon tasks? That's one. I have never, ever, ever seen this blue dragon area before. Who's ever trained here? I don't think no one's ever gonna check all the way down here. And that's the blue dragon task completed. And we got two keys coming in. Any raw fish? No fish. No fish. Another key. No fish. No fish. Look at him. <laughs> I'm gonna act like I didn't see him so I can continue this later task. This is a masturbating. Let me finish, he says. No, you cannot. He's dead. This is the guy that scouted me at Blood Vels. It's two hours later. And he just said blood vaults not for sale. <laughs> Location not for sale. Oh my god, he do I just need two blood vault kills. Uh, they have three people here. Oh my god, he knew I was gonna do temple trekking. Oh I'm mad for the last two slayer experience. There is speakers just everywhere today. First solar kills in I believe this is like two weeks since I did once did a sword kill. Rune battle axe. Spirits... Uh, can't use it. 73 herb lord. Three more levels until I can boost up and make Sarah Bruce. 3, 2, 1. Nothing. 2, 1. Nothing. A teleport you can't put in your house on the Lunar Spellbook is the Khazar teleport. It's actually really useful to getting to Janel, so we gotta make these tablets here in the Lunar. Another level coming in. 9 to 1 magic. We rarely get these levels, but it's very nice to see. 7 to 6 fletching. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew someone was waiting there. I just felt like someone was waiting there. There we go. First rune dragon kill. That was hard. Rune knight. Oh, not even worth the drop. Killing rune dragons on my level is actually the worst. Uh, I'm losing so much supply every single kill. I'm never coming back. My DPS is so low. Not worth it. <clears throat> Alright, this was a disgusting slayer task, but I'm happy it's done. Oh, look at that. Guess I'm not doing this task anymore. Another key. No fish. Three, two, one. Nothing. I thought that was a peak here. <sighs> oh my. Who put a scout at Brimhaven Dungeon? I'm gonna get this guy killed. I think he went to the toilet. The scout is dying. Come on. One more hit. <laughs> 78 strength. It's chest day. Oh, there we go. 87 hit points. And there we go. 67 agility. Another level. Nice. Okay, this is the first time I've ever gotten a superior. No imbued heart, sadly, but a lot of slayer experience. 70 slayer. A beautiful level. Give us raw fish. We're over drop rate for raw fish. Bellis! It's been a very long time since I did Zora. For absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. 62 construction. Uh, this guy says drank an imp at Drainer if you can make it. Can I trust people? I think I can trust him. 
Oh my god. I can never trust him again. He gave me a dragon impling before. That's the fake Impy. That's not the real Impy. For those of you who are confused, Impy is a hunter who's given me plenty of dragon implings before. Very humble guy. And the other hunters used his name to get me to a location. So that's not actually the real humble Impy. That's the fake Impy with very toxic peakers hunting me. Another resource is collected. All my money is gone. If this guy who capped me at Zolra is here in Edge in free to gear, I could easily fast gear and maybe go kill Zolra one time. We're gonna do that. And from that Zolra kill, we got absolutely nothing. Too many peakers around, so I just wanted the AFK. 83 wealth cutting. Thank you. Look, here is the real Impy. He's just mining here. I know how to find him. His name starts with an I instead of a low cap L. 82 mining. Oh. A peeker here. Oh, that's bad. 77, fletching. Another key. No fish. <laughs> I got a log. And we're going to 392. And we teleport away. Oh, another Zolder kill. Dead to my recoil. And nothing. I'm dead. I'm dead because of Zolra. Good fight, man. Because I was grinding for Zolra. And someone was, of course, waiting there. Oh my god, Boogaloo gets the kill. Boogaloo, Boogaloo, Boogaloo. Good fight, man. Good fight. I, could, I couldn't find the. Oh man. Oh man. Ah. Uh. I, I was trying to get to the charter and I almost got a log. I'm died I died two episodes in a row. This is just dying to PVM it wasn't that bad, but dying, you know. Dying to PvP finally, it's it kinda hurts. It kinda hurts. Oh that's the end to the series. That's the end to the series. I don't know why I couldn't log. I thought I had the 10 seconds. And it wasn't just anyone who killed me. Oh, it was Mr. West Ham, one of the best peakers in the game. I'm sorry to all the viewers who I have disappointed. Uh, I know you wanted to see me get that Infernal Cape. I wanted it as well, but the series ends here. Good game. Well played. Well played. All right. Hans, 72 days. We arrived here 605 days ago. I can't believe that's how the journey ends. It's such a good account as well. First of all, since I died, let's turn off this fake Iron Man icon. We're now officially an Iron Man, even in PvP. And we got one death kill count on the le top left corner. And I, the thing is, I don't have much to show off this time around. I barely did any barrels, just got my tank piece here. I got a Onyx, I got a D-Act, and I, I got the Seer Ring. Eh. So from now on, moving forward, I don't really know what to do. Alright, there he is, Mr. West Ham and the account that killed me, Boogaloo Jr. We're gonna trade Boogaloo, just in case he's on two accounts. Uh, I believe Boogaloo, that is the correct name. 16 build bounty collected by Boogaloo Jr. Killed me by the Charter to Zora. Kinda ironic. Congratulations, whatever happens now, it's off my hands. Uh, what do you guys think in the comment section? What is he gonna buy with this money? Anyway, congratulations and uh, my final words. Dying on my hardcore Iron Man. Completed. The end of an era. But there's so many interesting statistics I want to share with you that hasn't been shared in the series. First of all, there's been two main discords that's been hunting me. And over the course of my hardcore journey, a total of 35,000 messages have been sent in these discords which I got access to after dying. That's a lot of dedication for a few amount of people to try to kill me. So yeah, I gotta give a big thank you to all the hunters who have ever hunted me. You are the reason my series became exciting.
Just to mention a few names that's been hunting me throughout these two years. Impi, Ando, Wittu, Pascal Fetisi Twins, Ralph, Pip, Bounty Rum and Pimpack, just to mention a few. I've seen some crazy strategies to try to get me, especially from, I believe it's Ando and Pimpack, who's come up with some of the greatest strategies. Even Pip has one of the best strategies. I, I just want to show you guys this clip Ando recently made. He was pretending to be fishing and he had a full TB gear switch in his inventory, but he was just too slow to react so he never went for it. But that would have been so funny if he actually got me like that. Alright, this one is pretty funny, but I don't know if it's true. Apparently someone had set up an alarm in their house, so whenever I logged in, there would be an alarm set in the entire building so they would know I was online. But I don't know if it's true. Oh yeah, here in the background you see my account, Hardcore Ryman account, Scout Zone, just shilling. I play this account just for fun sometimes, not making any videos on it. And maybe one day I'll start making videos on it. Uh, the return of a hardcore, but not anytime soon. And there is so many more strats I still haven't told you about. Uh, hopefully I will have use of them in the future. And also Pimpact, my duo hunting partner for the last two years, he, he's asked me to edit his hunting hardcore Iron Man video, which would be one of the biggest hardcore Iron Man hunting video ever made. Uh, so if you made it this far, let me know in the comments down below if you think I should edit that video. And of course, congratulations to West Ham and Ericsson for being the two people who actually killed my hardcore Iron Man. And of course, congratulations to Scrib, Pip and Pimpback for theory, for theory crafting uh, with them for the final kill. With that being said, Q the outro one last time.